Hello, and welcome to Critical Role with me, Sam Regal. Uh, everyone else is away in, in various places, so I'm the host for tonight. I'm running a, a one-off, a one-shot with my friends. I hope they're my friends. <laughs> you? Um, we have... Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I have lots of announcements, and it's up to me to do them all, so I'll dive right in. The first one I'll need your, all, your help with. Tonight's sponsor for Critical Role is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. Star Wars Battlefront 2 releases tomorrow, the 17th of November. It features a new single-player campaign where you can play as Aiden Versio, commander of the Inferno Squad, an Imperial Special Forces unit. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Multiplayer mode allows you to battle across all three Star Wars eras, fight side by side with your favorite characters, and experience the thrilling dogfights of, uh, of Star Starfighter battle. Um, and this is where I need your help. Some of the awesome things you can do in the game are so cool, they require sound effects. Like, for instance, you can hurtle between the rooftops of Theed in a speeding Starfighter. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Flying sound. <laughs> As Darth Maul, you can raise your lightsaber <laughs> and slash yeah. through armies of clones. You can also play as iconic Star Wars villains and heroes, including Emperor Palpatine. That's better. Or Chewbacca. Uh, Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, leave it up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One tomorrow, November 7th. Get it! Okay, next announcement. Critical Role D20 sets are currently sold out. Merchant, Merch Lord Arcade tells us they should be back in stock within a month. Okay, next. The art book. It's okay. It's okay. There's Everything's so many okay. Announcements. <laughs> Usually we, we spread this around, but no, none we, of we you. Can, we can Do you not yeah, trust us to read around. these pieces okay. of paper? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, sure. No. Oh, no. oh, boy. H, I'll read, read starting from art book there. Starting from art book, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Uh, art book! <laughs> Both standard and deluxe editions available in the Alpha and Geek and Sundry store. The deluxe edition is going fast, so act now <laughs> while supplies last! <laughs> or you will regret it for the rest of your goddamn life! <laughs> no, right, here you go. That is what it says, actually. Wow. <clears throat> oh, this is way Episode <laughs> 71 to 85. Of the Critical Role, I don't know why I'm doing that. Critical Role <laughs> podcasts have been released into the wild this morning. Make sure to check them out on iTunes, Google Play, and criticalrolepodcast.geekandsundry.com. I don't think I'm in those, so don't, like, no rush. What? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> the Critical Role podcast, I'm assuming that's what CR stands for uh -huh, uh -huh. in this context, is now available through the Amazon Alexa. If you have one, simply ask Alexa to open Critical Role and get started. If you don't have one, go get it so you can listen that easily. It is available mm -hmm. on Amazon Echo, Echo Dot, Echo Plus, and other Alexa-enabled devices. No, wow. Alexa, not Critical no. Bowl. Not Critical <laughs> Bowl. No, Alexa. God <laughs> damn it, Alexa. <laughs> Issue number three of Critical Role, Vox Machina Origins, comes out November 29th. Make sure to check it out on digital.darkhorse.com or Comixology. Nice. Christmas uh, For those of you who don't like to touch Christmas your title. comics or turn the pages with your fingers. Yeah. Uh, if you are at PAX Unplugged, <laughs> Make sure to go see Talis and Liam, Matt, and Marisha. They will be doing a panel in the main theater tomorrow at 1 to 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's... added the p.m. I did add the p.m. That yeah, is the afternoon. It, I, I almost can... 100% swear it is not 1 to 2.30 a.m. Okay. <laughs> but, but we'll see. I can't stop you from showing up at 1 a.m. But, but then, did you get the end this part? Oh, and then, and then 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., maybe, in the Q Hall, they will be doing an autograph signing. It's going to be really exciting, and you can say hi to them, and then they'll say hi back. And they're all lovely people. And that's... I do all of my autograph signings at 5.30 in the morning. Hashtag Force Gray finale in NYC, which I'm assuming is New York City, on Saturday, 11-18, that's November 18th. Matt, yeah. Joe, Marisha. That's, you're just literally reading what's there. I'm literally reading what's there. <laughs> New episode of Madness. 
came out today on projectalpha.com. Wow. Matt, wow. see, you left that for the Hatter. That's good, that's good. Oh, that's that's good. That was so, oh, we're already perfect. in sync. This is gonna oh, be man. so awesome. Yeah. Do the thing when you throw you the paper. Oh yeah, yeah I know, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna hurt somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, you can't hurt Steel. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> um, okay, so uh, that's the announcements. Do you guys have anything else you would like to add or <laughs> plug? I would like to announce that you are doing a great job, Sam. Yeah. So we far. believe yeah. in you and we're so excited. Half the job of being a good boss is no how to delegate. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you know, uh, no matter no matter now. what goes down from this point on, I, I think we've. I think this. Is, I can <laughs> call this a success. Uh, I, I'll just go quickly around the room for people who don't know. You find people. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in chat there's going to be links to your Twitters and all that stuff, but this is H. Michael Croner Hi. over here, a funny man. This is Noel Stevenson, a funny lady. <laughs> this is Molly Ostertag. Uh, this is Sophia Not Sarah. <laughs> Um, oh, we're, we're oh you guys are also funny people. You're also funny people. Uh, Amy, Amy Vorpal and Yuri Lowenthal, also funny people. And uh, funny looking. They're all here to help uh, play a game. This is only my second time ever dungeon mastering, so uh, forgive me if I suck. And I think we're ready to dive into into tonight's episode yes! of Critical Role. Yes! Welcome back, everyone. Hey. Welcome to the Tonight's Show. All right, so we'll just dive in. Like, welcome to the Tonight Show. <laughs> welcome to the Tonight Show. I'm your host, Johnny Carson. Uh, all right, we're just going to dive in um, and see how this goes. <clears throat> Once upon a cruise somewhere in the seven seas, a peaceful three-masted ship sways toward... Fuck. <laughs> transported for like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a peaceful three-masted ship sways toward the horizon. Below deck, the staterooms are empty, save the banquet hall on dining deck, which glows with chandelier light, buzzing with excited guests. The decor is frilly, tables adorned with flowers, hors d'oeuvres, drinks, and life-size ice sculptures, showing naked couples locked in romantic poses. An okay. eager crowd huddles around the dance floor. Cruisers of all ages and backgrounds, humans, elves, dwarves, even a giant. And among them are you all, formerly clad, wearing name tags and presenting your best posture. You suddenly see a hulking 10-foot monster with sunken red eyes and a ferocious, toothy muzzle. If you saw him anywhere else, you would probably run, but somehow his pink leisure suit and cheesy smile erases any hint of threat. Everyone follows him with expectant, happy expressions. I forgot to hit play on the music. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> he walks to the center of the dance hall and addresses you all. Welcome to the Storybook Love Singles Cruise. I shall be your cruise director aboard the SS Public Domain for four amorous days and nights. My name is Beast. And as you may have read in my fairy tale, I know a thing or two about finding romance in unexpected places. <laughs> He glances over to Beauty, a gorgeous young woman in a ball gown who laughs politely and curtsies back. Roar, am I right? <laughs> the crowd chuckles politely. <laughs> yep. 
The purpose of this cruise is simple. You are all single on a quest for true love, and I will not stop until at least one couple finds their storybook happy ending. Think it can't happen? Well, have you ever heard of the old woman who lived in a shoe who had so many kids she didn't know what to do? She met her husband right here on this <laughs> ship. Some of you have cruised with us before, so you know the drill and all of my corny jokes. Ah, Hansel, Gretel, good to see you again. Easy on the gingerbread tonight. Aladdin, still stealing hearts, I see. Oh, big bad wolf is here, ladies. Hope you didn't wear red dresses. <laughs> uh, I kid, I kid. <laughs> We'll be dining and dancing at sea for another day and then arrive on Pleasure Island, where you'll go on romantic excursions, culminating in the famous hot coal walk. But first, we'll start the cruise with a fun getting to know you exercise called speed dating. We'll pair you up according to those questionnaires we had you fill out and uh, give you 90 seconds to meet and see if there's any chemistry. If there isn't, no big deal, there's plenty more chances. But if you do sense a spark, let me know and we'll pair you up again. So let's get started. Can, I, can you guys all roll a d20 and tell me what you've rolled? I'm an eight. Okay, okay. Okay. 18. Oh. Wait, say that again. 18. Okay. 13. Okay. Nine. Huh. Anybody who knows me won't be surprised. Two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Does one of us just die? Yes. <laughs> you know which one. Uh, okay. Let's get started, shall we? The first pair shall be Peter Pan and the Queen of Hearts. Not me. Uh, Peter Pan steps forward, small, lithe, half-elf, handsome, with a very eager expression. Uh, also, the Queen of Hearts <laughs> steps forward, a fierce, hulking woman. She cracks her knuckles and grips her dented royal scepter. They face together. Uh, all right, everyone, I'm going to give you 90 seconds to just ask each other questions about former relationships, uh, goals, desires, pet peeves, just getting to know you stuff. It's all up to you. If you'd like, I, I gave you some sample questions. If you get stuck, if you get stuck, but you don't need to use them, just in case, right? Uh, and the clock will begin. Holy shit, I need a timing device. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just count in my head. <laughs> that stupid rabbit right here. You have a phone with a timer on I guess I do, right? You can just count out loud push if the you clock like. Button. The clock button, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a stopwatch. Okay, got it. Okay, ready? Uh, let us begin the clock now. I'd like to take charge here, as I am ready for anything. Do you prefer the strong women? Uh, yeah, I would say I'm really into strong women. I, uh, I, I do very well with strong women. Uh, strong women everywhere love me, you know? Uh, I'm very charming, everyone finds me very charming, and I keep kind of stealing glances, I'm very distracted, clearly. <laughs> stealing glances at, uh, at Wendy across the room, who, who I've realized is here, Ooh. and um, trying to appear. Engaged. Well, who the hell are you distracted by? <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm here. It's just. It's just us two. We're the only people in the room right now, girl. Like, what? Tell me about yourself, as in, um, how you will die. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever think Some about such things? Some of us are as good as others. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, how, that's a serious game. Yeah, how, um, how fucking dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I, shall, I shall live forever, and if I, if I do ever die, I will be the owner of all of the kingdoms in the whole land, and I will die of old age well after you, my pet. You know, I really like that in a woman. A woman who never dies, that's, I also <laughs> intend to never die, because mm. I, uh, I'm never going to die. I just, that's, I believe that. Mm. Uh, what, what was your last relationship with a very strong woman? I have myself dated many, 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 many strong women. Don't worry, I dated, uh, 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 Many. And that's time, everyone. <laughs> uh, excellent, excellent. So that that seemed very I think festive. We it off. Yeah, yes, yes. So we'll talk later and see if there was any chemistry I'm or spark. Conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go to the next pairing, shall we? That was excellent. Uh, the next pairing will be the Hatter and Wendy Darling. Just two young singles on a cruise looking for love. The Hatter steps forward, a tiny halfling, a little bit loopy with big poofy hat and wild bloodshot eyes. 
Wendy is strikingly beautiful, with dangerous dark features, blood red lipstick, <laughs> and a wolf fur cape. <clears throat> All right, I will start my timing device <laughs> and ask away. Did you kill that wolf yourself? I did. Oh my god, that's so cool. You know, my, my, my spirit animal is a fox, so I really don't care about wolves. Yes, I've only killed a few foxes. Oh. Also friends, both. That's that's also cool. Mm. That's also I haven't cool. seen you here before. No, this I've is been my a few first times. Time. Really, it's quite a lovely experience, I have to say. What keeps bringing you back? Just is it you know. <laughs> no, did you taste them? No. Well, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I simply I just like new experiences, and there's always a very interesting cast of characters. Sometimes people who I'd rather not be here. Anyway, what is your best or most terrible memory? Oh, I my just most, looked at the sheet, just wondering. My, 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 my best and my worst memory are, are pretty much uh, one and the same. Really? Yeah, I, uh, I was, uh, you know, talk about uh, romantic things. I was, uh, I was being romantic uh, with uh, a couple of friends of mine in a portable hole. Several. And several. I like the sound of that. Yeah, you know, we thought it would be fun, <laughs> but there's only so much air in a portable hole. Don't have an orgy in a portable hole. That's that, my advice. That would be from me to you. Um, unless you're really into, you know, like. Uh, yeah. Then, then it's uh. it's kind of and we were so you know it worked out. That that's why it was terrible. We almost best. died, but it was amazing. So that's mm. that's why it was the best and worst. I think I like you. <laughs> I think I like you. Interesting. All right. Well, that's time. Ooh, I think we have a potential match here. Excellent. Excellent. I'll just write that down. Okay. And our next match uh, for the evening will be uh, Scarecrow and Goldilocks. Please come out to the table. The Scarecrow stands six foot six, is lanky, wobbly, and stuffed with straw. His eyes are a little crossed. Goldilocks steps forward, a strong young human girl in a pink dress. She belches as she steps forward to meet her match. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I will start the clock. And please, leave your hearts and minds open to new adventures. Go. Uh, hi. Uh, do you currently love anyone, or are you open to loving someone new? I'm totally open to loving someone new. Cool. My last relationship ended t so bad, he was just not just right, so. Um, oh, who was he? Oh, you don't know him. He's, <laughs> I don't really want to get into it. Okay. Um, but anyway, that's why I went brunette now. So. Oh, I, this looks good on your head. Thank you. Your head looks good on your straw body. Thanks. I just <laughs> sewed it up, so I'm wearing the hat to, to yeah, cover up hat. the new seam. Huff. What is that? Huh? Oh, this is a brand of Scarecrow hat that's super popular in oh, you this town that I've been Yeah. Wow, what a sponsored Scarecrow. I'm pretty nimble and shit, so I do okay. like skateboarding and stuff when I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's a good use for your floppy body. Yeah, it's hard to get, it's hard to get work when you're flammable because you can't work in kitchens and shit. Do you run hot? Uh, no, I have no body temperature whatsoever. <laughs> but if well, you run I cold, hate it too hot and too cold, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of my standards for just right and just be open. I'd be open to like maybe having a fling, but I don't know. I'm not really That's sure. That's great. I'm honestly, I my last girlfriend was a swarm of flying monkeys, <laughs> and so I'm super open as well. And that could be fun. No. <laughs> Objectively, no. <laughs> Because even if you're connecting with one, others are, are over shitting on you. Hey, some people are into that. I'm not. I'm absorbent. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was excellent, everybody. Listen, congratulations on getting to know each other. Uh, we're going to continue with other couples, and they do. You guys go back, have uh, more drinks, sip on your cocktails, etc. While you're all being matched up in different pairs, the rest of the room is going on speed dates of their own. Sleeping Beauty is paired up with Jack, but he kept, keeps talking about the, his beanstalk and she dozes off. The cute little hunchback at Notre Dame tries to get in wor a word in edgewise with a very bossy Mary Mary quite contrary. And then um, little Miss Moffat hits it, hits it off with Humpty Dumpty. It's great. At the end of it all, the beast returns. Okay, well done, everyone. I tried speed dating when I was younger, but my dates would always just scream and run away before the clock started. <laughs> right, Beauty? So uh, he, he turns over to Beauty, she forces a smile and waves. 
Okay, now go refresh those cocktails. We'll have more romantic activities in a few minutes. And if anyone sensed a spark of chemistry in that last exercise, come over and let me know. I'll be by the bar. As the beast leaves, the guests mill about, refill their drinks over at the bar. What would you guys like to do? Um, keeping her eyes on Peter Pan to see if he's watching, Wendy walks over to the beast um, and says, uh, hello, handsome. Oh, uh, who, me? <laughs> I'm, I'm taken, but thank you. Oh, I know. I just wanted to let you know. I think the hatter is quite lovely. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. So that's a, that's a potential you match. You can put that down as a check, okay. definitely. We will schedule an excursion, maybe, with the two of you later. Love it. Um, yes, let me write this here so I won't lose and, it. And um, I put on the form... Pan is here? Peter Pan is here? Yes. I, I, I requested that he not be here on the well, floor. Well, I can't, I can't. Uh, we tried to reschedule Peter for another cruise, but uh, he had a thing, apparently, so he <laughs> needed to come on this one. And I, who am I to turn away a customer? Don't worry, Typical. we won't pair you up together. We'll try to keep you as far apart as we can. We're sensitive to exes on this vessel, and everyone here is just here to have a fun time, including Peter. All right. If you'd like me to have a word with him, I can. Just, just. Or a message you'd like oh, me to. It's fine. It's fine. I can, I can handle him. All right. Here, she, take a drink ticket yeah. on me. Oh. Just to. She takes it in and strides away to the bar. All right. Excellent. <clears throat> uh, I'd like to approach the Queen of Hearts. Sure. Go <clears throat> ahead. Hey, do you currently love anyone? Are you open to loving someone new? I, I, I need some advice. What? I I I don't currently love anyone, and I'm looking for the new king of my kingdom. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> uh, yes, but look, I'm hoping I know that I'm a perfect woman, and but it seems as though the men I'm interested are wandering eyes. Do you have any advice? Should I be myself or should I fem it up? <laughs> Why do you, what do you mean you're literally attracted to wandering eyes? No, no. I feel like no, you should date I, people the, with whole bodies. No, I and, see what you're saying. Uh, Semantics are important. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't catch on to stuff good. You're doing great. I just knew the men that I want to date are little scrawny yes men. But the ones that they are interested in, well, they seem a little smaller and daintier. Should I? <laughs> well, I will say that when you did that movement, I did become very aroused, <laughs> which is hard for me because I don't have blood. Is it very hard for you? Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. So this is good. I, we weren't even instructed to, and yet. We made a connection? <laughs> you got a vein coming out of your face. <laughs> uh, I would like to approach the bar. Approach the bar, all right. There is a, a half-elf bartender behind the bar, uh, a, a nice, nice older gentleman. Uh, hello, may I help you? Yes, I don't know if you just heard this conversation behind me, but I absolutely need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, Wendy looks over to you because she's at the bar too and says, already. Oh, yeah. Um, question, they were included on the trip price, right? It's uh, all you, you can drink? You get uh, uh, just standard rail drinks like ale and mead, <laughs> but if you want anything... What about um, Cristal? Chris, Cristal, is that? Uh, that would be an, uh, an, a premium beverage that you would have to pay additional. I'm a for. premium person. <laughs> I right. got you. Thanks. All right. Well, it that... can be hard on these things. I know. Does your drink ticket drinks? cover Cristal? Uh, oh, it? you have a drink ticket. I do. Yes, ordinarily it would be right. two gold, but Here yes, I'll take this. And Very good. Go. Mm -hmm. That's right. He hands you a drink. Thanks. Well, I have to get her a drink now too, so you can just put that on my tab. What would you like? Oh, uh, just a wine. A wine. Rosé. A rosé. Thank you. So we have a lovely sparkling rosé, or...? <laughs> yeah, yeah, your top shelf. Sure, top shelf. Oh, top oh, shelf. oh thank he you. goes and gets off a dusty bottle and blows so. it off, pours you another glass. So your ex is here? It's a bit of a nightmare. That <laughs> blows. <laughs> the men here are literal monsters. I don't know if you noticed. I mean, some are literally monsters. <laughs> I mean, I made sure that Prince Driving was not on this boat because that would be awful. Oh, did you and him? Yeah. 
Yeah. Not right. <sighs> what's Peter? What's Peter doing? Uh, Wendy looks over to glare at him. Just standing, kind of, you know, having a drink. And every t- uh, there's some women standing near me, and I'm pretending to be involved in the conversation that they are involved in, but they do not. They're not talking to me. And I'm just checking a pose and looking charming. Yeah. As usual. <laughs> He's not that cute. Don't worry about it. You know, I was into him when I was, like, a kid. So were we all. Yeah. Mm. You grow up. <laughs> I know. It's sometimes you have to grow up and just sort of, you so know, I, become I see, an adult. I see you both glance over to me, and I'm like, okay. And so I kind of slide up to the bar. I'm like, oh, hey, you you said your name was uh, Goldilocks? Oh, yeah. oh, Wendy, you're here, too? I didn't even see you there. Wow. All right, Peter. We don't have to play the little game each time. What are you talking about? I, I was literally on the stage doing speed dating. Awesome you definitely saw girl. me. <laughs> hey, so what's your deal? Like, like what's up with you? Wow, that's a, this is encouraging. This is an encouraging look I'm getting right now from you. Do you have a drink ticket? <laughs> uh, for you, I have so many drink tickets. How's not, your crystal? Not sensing it's the delicious. tension in okay. this conversation <laughs> at all. The scarecrow walks right into the middle of it and talks to Wendy. Hi, do you currently love anyone and are you open to loving someone new? Huh. All right, look. Always open. Oh, but very In the cool. middle of something, you could just, you know, maybe just like play cool. What? Hey. Well, I don't have blood, so I have to because I naturally run very cold. I'm always the temperature of my air. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that like some sparks are really flying with you and the uh, the Queen of Hearts. In fact, so many sparks, I was like a little worried that you I'm not a big sparks burst guy. into flames. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe don't go over there. Then. You're right. You're right. That was a bad metaphor. Don't oh, do that. Okay. How are you doing? Confused. Yeah. Yeah. Same. <laughs> always. Just, oh, me too. You seem cool. You seem cool. You want to hang out? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, let's yeah. go for a walk. Yeah. We're going for a walk. <laughs> All right. Bye. Well, I'll ask you about your love life later. <laughs> there's a little, uh, there's like a little side deck off the banquet hall that you can kind of see the, the rolling waves and stuff if you'd like to go outside or you can stay in the banquet hall. Like, look at the rolling waves. Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, I'm mostly into ladies, but I'm also into dudes. What about you? Are you into dudes at all? I just, are we I just hanging out? We just be buddies. <laughs> you know, it's whatever you want. I'm we're sorry. On, we're I, on the singles cruise. God, I am batting a thousand tonight. <laughs> I, I, you just seem like you'd be down for anything. Like, you'd just be a really good listener. I really am. My bar is so low these days. <laughs> um, I got a lot to work through. But I, you just seem like you're just like a really big heart. Thank you. <laughs> it, I'm missing other organs, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty much running yeah, on like, heart these like days. Yeah, like like what other organs are you missing? Brain. I'm so interested in that. Wow. Brain. Really? I yeah. had no idea. I would not have guessed that at all. That's I'm actually so interested. The most high functioning, non brain equipped thing that I, can I know. I see that. You know, you say that, and I totally see that. Hey, just so do I, me a favor. Is Wendy looking over here at all? She's pretending not to, but she's like side-eyeing you cool. very hard. Yeah, all right, awesome. So, you know, let's uh, let's, let's keep talking all about right, these so beautiful they, they women. Walk towards the, uh, they walk towards the window on the porch. Yes, definitely. Oh, I just was about to say, I go over to the side of the ship and puke from this conversation. <laughs> but um, I wanted to bring Wendy with me, and then I don't. I was like, Oh man, that sounds really awful. What you got, what you went through. It sounds like it was a long time that you were together. That sucks that uh, he's here. You know, it's fine. I'm very, I'm very past it. I've had a lot of adventures, a lot of travel since then. How about Whoa. you? Any well, um, Prince Charming. Yeah, it's a bad ex. Yeah, yeah. I've heard he's a real dick. Uh, as they talk, um, the Mad Hatter is just mingling about, I, I imagine. Listen, people people don't notice me because I'm so short. Yes, <laughs> and actually... I can pop up at any time. Uh, actually, uh, sure a very so tipsy big bad wolf is sort of staggering, staggering across the room, knocks clean into you, doesn't say sorry, just kind of keeps going. Uh, he's seven feet tall, he's loud, his breath reeks of cherry brandy. And he's walking across the room towards Goldilocks. Do I see that happen? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Goldilocks. What? Goldilocks. Something's coming. What? It's coming. coming. What? What's coming? It's me, baby. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, okay. you know. Let's I, just, I'm going to ask, like, on a scale of one to ten, how good of an opener do you think that is? That is, uh, you know, I don't even know what an opener I'm is. Humming. That is just the way I talk. <laughs> yeah. No, what? no, I'm, that's, that's me. That's, oh. Oh, see, see, I don't... Do you think that's appropriate was... for ladies? 
Do you think you would ever get someone say the queen of hearts with yeah. that kind of mouth on you? It works on dudes. I don't see why it shouldn't work on ladies. Uh, 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 uh. Just then, the uh, the big bad wolf interrupts your conversation and says, Goldie, baby, what gives? I invited you to my birthday party last week. It was a kegger, no show. What's oh, up? You're too good for the big bad wolf? I'm allergic to beer, but I heard you liked red, so, you know, I just thought I'd be a little, uh, yeah. a little, um, <laughs> tease. He puts his paw on your shoulder oh, and kind of goes no. in, goes in close. Where's my reaction? Shield? Sure, you have a reaction. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, All right. shield. Okay, we're gonna cast shield. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will roll to see if I beat Shield. Mm, uh, well, what, what is your spell DC? Hold on. Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Eleven. Uh, no, I fail. <laughs> so uh, the the big bad wolf knocks straight into the shield and doesn't quite understand. He's kind of drunk. He tries again. He just keeps hitting this invisible wall. He's like, oh. What the, what the fuck? Go, I'm just trying to talk to you. I'm vegetarian. What, what, is, what does that have to do with anything? Eating helpless creatures. Come on, baby. I could. No. I could make you howl all no. night. Come no. on. All right, fine. She, he goes one more time and hits the the wall. You know what you need, Big Bad Wolf. You seem a little tense. Big Bad. Oh. No, no, no. I'm. I'm. I'm this is. I'm, I'm helping you out here. Oh. Yeah. 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 You know what you need, Big Bad Wolf. You need a massage, and I use my massage cantrip. Oh. What? Oh! I mean, I can only really get it as calf. I think, I think that's message, but I'll allow it. <laughs> message, massage, whatever you want. Sure, sure. So, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> He's crazy, this guy. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows what spells come out of this guy? What's a cantrip? Uh, it's, a, it's a type of magical spell. I don't know any of that. <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, and it's a it's an easier spell to cast. He has one called message, but he, uh, in his craziness, has reinterpreted it. It's just the it. way I pronounce things. It's a message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the big bad wolf suddenly feels uh, tension relieving in his in his upper yeah. upper back and lower neck, and also your voice in his ear telling him, what are you telling him? <laughs> just relax, baby, just relax. What? Oh, this is fucked up. Uh, oh. He retreats. I'm he, on the Lido deck! He's freaked out, he, he, leave, he leaves in a, in a huff. All right. Hey, yeah, thanks, Mad Hatter, for using your uh, special massage skills. That's a oh. good cantrip. Oh, you're, you're welcome, I was, I was just hitting on him. Oh, cool. I'm sorry, was there? No, man, go, go I... get it. I think he's also in the Lido deck. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, would you call yourself a tiny man? Oh, oh, I am definitely tiny. <laughs> Nobody has ever said ever once that I was tall. That is very interesting to me. I knew, I thought you were in a, at least a partnership with a hare. Uh, oh, yes, I, you know, that guy, I hate that guy. That guy, he always wants to know what time it is, and he always talking about time, and I really don't care about time. I really don't pay attention to time. I would say that I live outside of time. Well, I like I like that in a tiny man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I am I am I am I am a tiny man, and you are a big woman. You uh, know shit. <laughs> I mean, maybe we should get together. You know, I've, I have I have dated far bigger people than you. Oh, and some really? and some creatures. Oh my! Well, I'm a human, and I like I like my men small and agreeable. I can be agreeable. No. Oh, yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the audience hushes as the beast tries to get your attention again. Uh, all right, everyone, all drinked up and ready for the next exercise. <clears throat> Good. Not understanding that an announcement's about to happen, I walk up to the beast. <laughs> okay, sure. And go, hey, I just wanted to let uh, you know really quick that I think I have a uh, potential match with Peter Pan uh -huh. and Goldilocks and the Queen of Hearts. All, all right. And we just haven't met yet. Oh, hey man, do you are you currently in love with anyone? And would you be in, oh, open to loving someone we can, new? We can do this later <laughs> if you, if you, you want. You don't have a match with me, just to just so you know. Yeah, I didn't say just you. Put that down. Back off. It's put mine. it down. All right, I can see the drinks are flowing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Henrik, go easy on it from now on. Now it's time for our second big event. It's time to learn the official dance of Storybook Love Singles Cruise. 
the electric slide. <laughs> and who better to teach a clumsy oaf how to dance than my own bride? Here she is, the real animal of our relationship. Beauty, take it away. Okay. Beauty rolls her eyes at his stupid joke and strides onto the dance floor. Okay, listen up, you scrubs. The electric slide is the most alluring and easy to teach of the slides. There's only five <laughs> steps you gotta remember. I need a volunteer. Who's it gonna be? Uh, oh, you, Goldie. Yeah. All right, get up here. Okay, first step. You do the grapevine to the right. One, two, three, four, and tap your foot. Okay, roll an acrobatics oh, check. <laughs> roll an oh, acrobatics. Boy. Acrobatics skill check, ability check. Okay. Oh, man. Oh god. Let's see. Uh, it's uh, eight. Okay, plus? Plus, plus uh, uh, two, so it's a ten. Okay, so you fail. <laughs> uh, you, you, you try to do you try to do the move, but you kind of go the wrong way. You're on the wrong foot. You stumble into beauty, uh, causing Sorry. you both to stumble. Sorry, now it's okay. It's okay. Let's just try again. All right. Then you grapevine to the left. One, two, three, four. Roll another acrobatics check. Oh God, it's another eight. <laughs> Okay, you stumble into her again. Oh, it's worse. Really yeah, I tried. Her dress rips a little. It's awkward. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's inappropriate. I'm so sorry about your dress, Val. I did, you're really great at dancing. I don't mean to step on you. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna. Um, if if you don't mind, we're gonna just move on to another uh, helper. Uh, if, if that's all right, please uh, please just go go back down there, and and, and I'll get somebody else. Anybody else want to try? Hey, I am tiny but lion. <laughs> yes, you yes, small we're, man. We're tiny enough. I'd love to see you. Perform. Come on over. Come on over. All right. The electric slide is very easy to do. Children can do it. All right. I am the same height as a child. Great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you first grapevine to the right, one, two, three, four, roll an acrobatics check. Uh, 18 plus three. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So uh, you all watch as the Mad Hatter seems to already know this dance by heart. <laughs> he goes right, he goes left, he goes back, he goes forward, he's got hip <laughs> movements and swagger. Wow. He does a little thing with his hair at the end and, Ooh, and blows a kiss enough. to the audience. I'm excited! to meet you! <laughs> <laughs> the audience is enthralled, they applaud. Uh, as the class goes on, everyone's having a good time learning the, the dance, and suddenly, and without, quite without warning, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh, music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, the ship, which had been gently gliding through the ocean, lurches to one side, knocking glasses off tables and causing some of the ice sculptures to shatter to the floor. Oh. Is this working? It's working, right? Yes, okay. The music is still so pleasing. I don't know. Yeah, I, there's calming. so much I, fucking music But I feel like something here. really bad is happening. Um, yes. A crack oh, echoes no. through the dining deck. Beauty and Beast both seem concerned, surprised. A moment of silence, everything seems calm, and then boom! Another larger explosion rings out from above you, rocking the ship violently to one side. Everyone, please, roll Roll your d20s for a dexterity save. Oh, dexterity job. save. Oh no! I failed. Grindy, no! What'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, nine plus <laughs> one. Okay, so ten for you, yes. Go on, Noah. Uh, that is a twenty-one. Okay. One. Okay. Uh, nineteen. Sure. Twelve. Uh-huh. Six plus three, is it? Is it the modifier? Nine. Nine. Yeah, okay, so Hatter and Wendy both fall to the to the floor, um, and, the and uh, <laughs> Wendy actually falls into some broken glass, <gasps> on the ground, and you, you take one hit point I do. from some cut. Uh, Can it be like a cool little thing? Sure. On my face? Yes, it's yeah. on your face. Yeah. It's pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah. No, but Wendy, oh, I'm pissed off. Um, the explosions above oh, grow. Your perfect complexion. Oh. <laughs> the explosions above grow faster and more intense. Shouting and footsteps can be heard above deck. Screams of pain. Just then a sailor, one of the crew, face bloody, runs down the steps into the banquet hall yelling, Beast! Beast, we're under attack! The skipper's been badly injured! Beast says, attack by whom? I don't know, but they're flying the skull and crossbones! <gasps> Pirates, in these waters? Okay, everyone, stay below deck for your own safety. Beauty, you too, Beauty protests. No, I'm coming with you! Oh, no, stay here, says Beast. I can Beast. deal with pirates. You I must take care of these before. people. Uh, no, I, I, I can't risk your lives. You're my paying customers. Please, stay below deck. He darts upstairs with the sailor. Oh, you know, 
I think um, this is part of the thing. I think we can also date the pirates. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone so interferes with the chance that I might find love tonight, they shall meet the end of my bloody scepter. <gasps> I, I, I am not, I'm half raging. I'm not quite there. I'm half raging. I'm half half raging. raging. How hot are these pirates? <laughs> you haven't seen any pirates we can't yet. Deal with pirates. What if they're undead pirates? Ooh, even better. Right. I, don't, I, I didn't so. see that. So one. hot. Nice. <laughs> no, I'm not ideal. Seeing Beauty standing alone, worried about her husband, I approach. Hey, you currently love anyone? Would you be interested in loving someone new? Uh, I'm I'm bleeding and, and cut. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I pull some of my stuffing out of my hip and I apply it to the uh, cut on her head. Oh, actually, that that kind of feels okay. Roll a medicine check. What, what, what die do I use? Uh, with? Just the d20, and you add uh, your medicine ability. Eight your plus skill. two. Okay, so ten. So yeah, that feels good. The sailor kind of. It blots out some of the blood, and he feels weirdly better. I'm super absorbent. Wow, that's thank you, thank you, strange man. I, Give it back when you're done, okay? It's soaked in blood. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm. Pr I'm very moist inside. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't get infected. Uh, oh, we all be exchanging liquids tonight. Fluid body. Calm down. Fluid body. <laughs> Another shot fires. A cannon blasts through the side of the hull on oh, into the geez. banquet hall, splintering chairs and tables. Uh, hold on. Yes, it hits and kills Hansel. <laughs> Hansel, <laughs> Hansel, oh, Hansel is so dead. Right now. That was a small man that I had my heart set on. The, the cannon just takes his head clean oh, off. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Seeing Gretel standing alone near Hansel, I approach. Hey, you really love anyone? Would you be open to loving someone? Now? <laughs> She's just screaming. Oh, She's my bad. I, 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 I pull aside Scarecrow and say, "Let me, let me teach you something about when it's appropriate to talk to a woman." Okay, cool. When, when is yeah, it appropriate? Just, uh, not when her brother just died in front of her eyes. I'm cool. starting to think these pirates aren't very sexy, you guys. Uh, or the, the princess in the pea uh, is screaming. Screaming bloody murder. She hasn't been hurt or anything. She's just overreacting. Uh, the rest of the ice sculptures all smashed to the floor. You notice the hunch, hunchback of Notre Dame, this kindly old man, has fallen to the floor. He's writhing in pain. Um, Oh, is he shit. small? Is he smaller than the average person? <laughs> <laughs> he, he is. He's smaller. He's smaller. Okay, Sorry about the music. Um, he's he's foaming at the mouth, convulsing. He seems to be having some sort of medical attention. Okay, I, I, I oh, go no. up to him and and, and, sh and shake him. Shake him. Yes, okay. I, it does nothing. He is still convulsing I violently. Slap him. Okay. Now, <laughs> Uh, he, he, that does not seem to help him at all. He's definitely having a heart attack. Oh, shit. Uh, can, can we try a medicine a medicine check on him? What would you like to do, CPR? Sure. I would, yeah. I would love to CPR him. Because Are it might you be the proficient? only kiss I get all night. Are you proficient in medicine? No, that's, but I'm crazy, so. <laughs> I, I step up and say, hey, I'm not a healer, but do we have one here? Yeah. Uh, the Mad Hatter is like, the Mad Hatter is like somebody who stayed in a Holiday Inn last night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm told that my songs are very soothing, so I would love to uh, use my healing word on uh, this this convulsive. Oh, man. what would you like to say to I, him? I to him or to him as he listens. Oh, okay. And um. I come in. I like join the embrace. I'm like, hey, buddy, hang in there. It's all gonna be okay. Here's my song for you, oh. little dying man. It's gonna be okay. Just improvising here, you yeah, know? Yeah, no, that's great. That's yeah, great. Dulcet tones. The, uh, the hunchback of Notre Dame uh, so, sort of comes to again suddenly, hearing the sweet, kindly music of Peter Pan and feeling the warmth of a, of a bosom pressed against his face. Maybe he's, two bosoms. <laughs> <laughs> he, starts, um, he starts babbling to you in French. He speaks no English. <sighs> Um, but he's, it seems that he is very grateful and now very much alive again. So Yeah, so you know what? It would have been great if someone had not talked me out of my Comprehend Languages spell. I really could have had oh. something here. Je parle français, en fait, c'est ça suffit. Je peux parler avec... Oh, shit. Où est l'autobus? We left the buses back when we left the shore. Dans le rue de Victor Hugo? Tango, Tango, Espanol. <laughs> he, 
he, he seems okay. like he's in frail health. He can't talk very much. She kind of passes out. It, it seems like you should just leave him alone for a second. To... Until a plan is I organized, have... I lay under him to give him a soft place <laughs> to rest. I think that we all want to seduce this hunchback. <laughs> I can come over and tap Peter on the shoulder. Hey, hey, I'm healing a gravely okay, injured you man. Did, okay, I know. Did you see me do that? I know it's awkward. I yeah, did you did. It was. It was really hot. We know how to deal with pirates. Can we just you maybe deal with this situation? Because we both want to have a nice cruise, and then we can go back to ignoring each other on this very okay. nice cruise. Wait, wait, Peter, I'd like to say I might be the queen of hearts, but uh, you might be the king. Oh, <laughs> you uh, saved him yeah. from his heart attack, you see? You see? Do you see what I said? I do. I, do. I, get it. I see what you're laying down here, and I if like you it. You know what? I love a funny woman. If and you a want big a tiny woman. man, he's literally a child. Based on that, that's those. untrue. Okay, I'm uncomfortable I'm with that implication. I'm smaller than those children. Um, I'm just gonna put that out there. H. I, I am a grown man. Yes. I am fully legal. H. Make a perception check. Roll a roll a d20. Okay. From under the hunchback. <laughs> uh, perception twelve plus. Uh, two, 14. Okay, okay, so uh, uh, out of the si side of your eye, just uh, in the melee, you see through the hole in the w in the hull that was caused by the cannon fire, you see uh, 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 the edge of a pirate ship through uh, some cannon smoke out there. I go, oh, fuck! And I just let the, the hunchback oh. drop on the floor and go over to look. What's his name? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so peering out the hole in the wall, uh, you can see uh, a sleek black, uh, cutlass? Is that what they're called? It's a, a sleek black pirate ship sort of moving <laughs> around. No, schooner. I don't know anything about boats. I don't know anything about boats. It's a cutlass. It's oh, the boat that's called the cutlass. Tonight, tonight, Sam's gonna be laying in his bed with just <laughs> nightmares of boats and not knowing what they're called, just going by his books. I know the schooner, the, and that's the name it. Name of the ship is the cutlass. Sure. Okay. okay great. There you go. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> but, okay. A uh, sleek black pirate ship, sort of, uh, it seems to be coming about, and you can see mm. movement on the deck. It seems like some cannons are being aimed towards you. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. Um, also, Goldilocks, roll a perception check. Ten. That'll, that's enough. Well, so uh, yep. there are a bunch of ice sculptures have broken. There's lots of water on the floor, but mixed with the ice, you, are, you feel warm seawater on your feet. And realize that your ship is taking on water. Put your hands um, on me, Hutter. <laughs> hey, guys, I think that uh, that warm water is uh, leaking into our ship. Although I'm happy to know that we're in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. This is not the. Yes, Titanic. always looking for a positive edge. We so should get some floaties and just continue the party. So it's like going down into, into a jacuzzi. They're about to shoot us again. <laughs> Wait, okay, I want to go get a look at this pirate ship. Can I Can I do that? Yeah, sure. Roll perception sure. check for that. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. check it out. Okay, oh, that's so. actually pretty, I got like a 22. Oh. I got the exact same. Okay. Hey, okay, right. like just let me it pass does. this. Come on, man, come on. Here, right over your shoulder. Uh, it's an imposing pirate vessel um, uh, with black sails, dark wood, sleek and sturdy, with rails made of human bone. What the fuck? It's got a dozen brass cannons ringing the hull and it's below too decks. Many cannons. Emblazoned on the bow are the words, the Jolly Roger. Fuck. Peter and Wendy, you both recognize this ship instantly as belonging to Captain Hook. My other ex. Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he does not sound very jolly to me. Yeah. You know, he's not, actually. Yeah, what happened with you two? Wendy, what did you roll? I don't want to know. What? What did you roll for a perception? I got 22 also. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, Wendy, through the smoke and the chaos, you notice that the pirates running around on the other vessel are much smaller than you expected. You recognize them as Tootles. Slightly, Nibs, Curly, and the twins. It is the Lost Boys, and they are preparing to shoot again. What would you like to do? This is yours. Wait, <laughs> that's oh my you. God. Those oh, are yours. My <laughs> friends, do they like me? I don't remember. I should go talk to no, them. No, you probably abandoned them. No, I thought in, it was like, really a Chili's cool. or something. And they still want to be my friend. I'm gonna go talk okay, to them. Okay, go deal with that. Okay, how do I get over there? Um, can you fly? fly? Totally. T t the hole that the cannon made. Fly. The hole that the cannon made is about yay big. I'm oh. you know, a little larger than that, not a lot larger, <laughs> sure. but. Uh, Would you like to try to squeeze through the hole? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll. Uh, hmm. Do you know any other I'm gonna, mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, you, you hear more screams of pain now coming from above. Ah, and okay, I 
I don't uh, do a lot of People running pressure. on deck. You can hear things rolling above you. I'm gonna go up there, maybe, where that stuff is. We should okay. all go up there. Hey, hey, let's go up where the uh, the yes. water is not. And before you we do anything to your friends, all oh, they all very small. <laughs> They're very small. Oh, my heart. They're literally children. Oh, my heart. I don't know how the Neverland magic is working. They might be children. I am not a child. I, I myself. I shift next to the Mad Hatter. I shift next to the Mad Hatter. I shift next to the Mad Hatter and I go, let's get up there. And also while we go, do you love anyone? And are you open to loving someone new? And while we go up the stairs, like, tell me more about your fetishes because you've got some really interesting things. <laughs> I like being the mummy. Is there a say? Are there other <laughs> instruments? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I have a whip. I have a whip. A whip. A whip. How do you? A magical whip. Three old yeah. whips. Oh, oh, yeah. Listen, Three don't get in a relationship where they want you to be their mom. That is my advice. I would like to, you. to be in, in a relationship <laughs> with someone who wants to be my mom. Be brave. Oh, okay. I just want to be in charge. Like, like, I'm gonna go and talk to these pirates, but also like call me. Yes, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, Peter, Pan, Peter Pan dashes in his slight way across the dance hall uh, to the door to the... Uh, there stairs? Or is it there, there's a doorway that Beast disappeared through uh, to go up to the uh, to the deck. You try the door, the door is locked. Fuck <gasps> that son of a bitch. Not on my watch! Okay. And I'm going to scepter my way through the... Oh, you're going to hit the door. the door. Okay, uh, roll for an attack. I think it's time to rage. Um, okay, raging so, against so, the door. Th yeah, that's the last of it. Nothing stands between me and a, at least ten tiny men. <laughs> um, uh, so that will be, oh, will that, oh wait, I get advantage if I'm raging. Uh, right? Don't yeah, I? yeah, advantage. you've used your bonus action to rage, now you're raging, you get advantage, I believe. Ye on on, on strength using strength, yeah. that's right. My reckless. Okay, so that's even better. How about a 16? Sure, you definitely hit the door. <laughs> Roll for damage. Okay, uh, ooh, solid eight on an eight, so that's uh, 13. Okay, the door splinters open uh, and, and is knocked clean off of its hinges. You, you all see the queen exhibit just a ferocious amount of anger towards this door, and it explodes into splinters. The, pa the path is clear. You may climb the stairs to the deck. I just rock I, hard as a man with I, no blood can be. <laughs> I just stand there going, yes, go! And I, like if they, if I can let them go before me, I just want to relish in my glory of Pretty having. You <laughs> said I was mad. Okay. Yo, we're hot. coming back to Everyone's this. Okay, like, I'm gonna go up there now. But like we're coming back. To As this. I pass the Queen of Hearts, I just give her a little like back of the fingers brush on her hip. Ooh. Just a little flirty. Classy, classy, <laughs> not not pervy. Initial, classy. initial oh. contact. Is it hip and not butt? I'm, I'm, I'm raging. So I will, I will elbow them. Okay, all right. roll for an attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm raging, I can't, yeah. I'm, I'm she, in a frenzy. control yourself. I'm in a oh, well, how, uh, that's advantage, so how's a, oh, even worse, a, a nine doesn't. That does not no, hit. No. So she tries to elbow you, but you, <gasps> having no bones, just sort of noodle your way uh, away. I totally take it as a sign. I go, <laughs> I just keep going. I run out the door, but right through her legs, like right under her skirt. Because you're, you're a wee man. Because I'm, because I am a wee man. Sure, do, do make a, a, an <laughs> acrobatics check. An acrobatics check. <laughs> Uh, 18, uh, oh, yeah. three, yeah, Plenty. 21. So you, uh, you, you just do like a um, risky business slide <laughs> right between her, her legs. Oh, look, look, looking, looking up as I go through. Uh, yeah! What? Does he see anything? Uh, do I have to roll for that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's wearing I mean, under there. I, mean, I, don't, I didn't think about this. Are you wearing so bloomers? Yeah. I am not. I'm wearing nothing. I'm wearing absolutely nothing. All right, so you see. Ooh. I'm wearing nothing. You see what you see. I see what I see. <laughs> That's my secret, y'all. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, are you going to head up the stairs here? Yes. Okay, who else is going? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. so Wayne's just. just going. going right up. Um, yeah. All right, well, let's I'm get this out. This is a crudely drawn map that I drew because but, I'm a crude drawer. But still, I feel like I was there. <laughs> That's awesome. Like the atmosphere is really good. You did a really good job on this map. Yeah. Okay, Mad Hatter's first. I love first these long blue birds. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are coming out this Some patch in the middle. Mad Hatter friends. will be first. <laughs> oh, um, who's next? Oh, wow, uh, you have me. Me. You. Give me next. Peter Pan is next. Oh, I'm so oh. cute. Wow. 
Uh, we'll say when Wendy is close okay. behind. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Um, the queen is still downstairs, right? Letting them all go. Yeah, she is. And then uh, we'll just say Scarecrow She's and rage uh, yeah. this is Goldilocks yeah, come out behind. And you guys are looking. Cool. Um, <clears throat> and you've seen already that you know it's there. This is the pirate vessel <laughs> coming around oh, for another so cool. attack. Um, Those are the Lothboys, your men. Oh my gosh. They're tiny. They're, They're so lost tiny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Lost men. They are getting ready for another cannon shot. Oh my limbs! Okay. <laughs> uh, everybody, shit, shit, shit. This is the hard it's all part. Happening. Okay, roll oh, no. for initiative, everybody. Yeah. Okay, roll a d20, add your initiative to it. I'll roll for the boys. Okay, okay. I'm a 16. <clears throat> I am an 8. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, yep, 16. 8. Yes, keep going, Four. Wendy. Oh, sorry? 4. 4, oh, great. No, no. I'm an 11. Uh-huh. I am at 4. Uh-huh. I am also a 4. Oh, I shit. I thought I was <laughs> certainly going to be the lowest, but no. <laughs> That's sort of what I do. Good job, everybody. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, why do I always do this to myself? I have 12 people to keep track of. Okay, okay here we go. Um, so, who goes first? You know what? Uh, yes, but you were last to come up the uh, the uh, the staircase. You will get to go this round, okay. but because you've never played D&D &D before, I'm going to let someone else go first. <laughs> oh, I got a great opening. <laughs> All right, great. The, you know what? Go for it. Yeah. If you, if you so, okay, so how far? How how far is it to the edge of this ship? Uh, these these squares are all five feet. So you are <coughs> standing about 5, 10, 20, 15, 20, 20 25, 30, 30, 30 feet from the edge. Okay. I move right to the edge of the boat. He's super fast when he moves because he's got these I can travel 40 noodle feet, right? legs. Wow. Yes. Okay. Like and the first thing I do is I just menace this motherfucker right at the edge Ooh. over here across nice. the water. Uh, you're going to use your menacing action yeah. uh, to try and intimidate. I just, want, I just want to send some fear out there before the shit gets started. <laughs> okay, uh, shit, I don't know how menace works. Hold on, let me look. <laughs> Where's your fucking character sheet? Uh, queen. It, it, it's a, he's got a roll for it, for sure. So roll a, roll a... D20? Oh wait, no, it might be... I think it's intimidation in this edition. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Slow fall, fully blows. I should Menacing. really know this stuff. <laughs> Instead of attacking, you can scare one creature, intimidate versus uh, insight. Yeah, in mm. oh, intimidate. Oh, so it's just intimidate versus insight. Yes, yeah. you're right. Okay, so roll your okay. d20. Add so plus five, 20 I think. Plus, so I get 25. Oh, shit, he's done. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, he rolled a boy. one. Nice. <laughs> uh, so yeah. he is uh, he is Classic scared slightly. of you, and uh, on his turn he will he will probably run away from you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, just to be out of the cannon blast, I'm I'll move to two. Put this on him. So we know that he is now intimidated. Oh, uh, I have fear. And then uh, uh, just just to be uh, not totally in the blast radius, I'll move back ten feet. Okay. So two spaces. Right there. That's some good that was right a there. good first, first ever, ever attack. Yeah. Good job, H. Hey, thanks for the yeah. claps, you guys. Yeah. Scarecrow, man. Okay. Uh, next up him. is. Oh, and I forgot one thing. My oh. guy has a. I, I can unsew a part of my head when I menace, just to show <laughs> the molding. Oh God. Hey, inside like of it? my Damn. skull, yeah. <laughs> And then I quickly like, stitch it up and put my hat, my my branded hat back on. <laughs> um, great. So yes, uh, Toodles is scared out of his mind. Yeah, he's shaking Toodles in his boots, boy. and he's a little kid too. So you just scared the shit out of a little kid by showing him your monstrous, Good. moist insides. Don't try to make me feel bad about this. I love it. <laughs> that was my strategy later. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, by the way, uh, Scarecrow is a monk, for those of you who care. Uh, I care. I Nibs is going to make an attack. Um, he's going to throw, he's going to use a sling and try to hit um, the closest. Nibs is this one, by the way. He's trying to uh, hit the closest person to him, which is Scarecrow. So he rolled a, a f uh, 13. What's your AC? What's your armor class? 13. That hits, right? Yeah, okay, better thank you. <laughs> I don't know nothing. Uh, okay, and he hits you with. Three points of damage. Damn it. Should, do I write? Could take it. Do um, I write this down? <clears throat> oh yes. So you have a hit point maximum there. It's a, it's a little number. Where it's, do I keep track? Noel, show him his hit points. Probably in 
Your hit points are, it looks like here, you yeah. have 23. So subtract so three. Minus three. Uh, slightly is going to go next. Oh, he is, uh, this one right here. Ah! He's going to throw his, he's going to sling at you as well. Um, no, uh, yes. You know what, he's just out of range of you. So he can't, he can't do anything. He's just going to move closer. He's going to move up here. And that's the end of his turn. He's not going to attack. Uh, Goldilocks, you're up. So the farthest I can move to get close to them is, so I'll use my movement and yes. get as close to them as possible. Okay. You can get right up to the edge of the show. So my thunder wave is only in a 15 foot cube, So, but they're thunder not, wave. that's, uh, they're not You would not, not be it. able to hit any of them with thunder wave. Hmm. But it sounds awesome. Well, <laughs> now that I'm here facing them, I, uh, I, well, I feel like right Thunder Wave has a range. It might not. It's 15 feet from self. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's not It's not going to get them. Does so, it have to land on the square, or is it the distance in between? Because if you went diagonal, you could go five It times. would not do it! OK. <laughs> I, know. I, I don't know anything. I'm just asking. <laughs> No scarecrow. <laughs> Do you have anything you can, you can, uh, if you cannot strike or use your action to attack, you can also hold your action mm. and say, I hold my action until uh, they are in range. Yeah, I'm going to hold my action. Okay, so you're going to attack them when they get closer. Yes. To, all right, great. That ends your turn. Uh, next up is Toodles. Oh, so he is crying. Tears are streaming down Toodles' face. <laughs> Don't he, feel bad for him. He Why turns and us? runs, runs in fear, trying to get as far away from you as possible. He's freaked out. Okay. Can we Toodles. clarify? Are they, <laughs> huh? are they children? Oh yes. Uh, okay. if you, uh, yes. Sorry. 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 No. It's, um, I just wanted because we're they are the lost definitely. boys, straight okay. from Neverland. We're definitely adults, though. Right? Peter Pan is definitely over eighteen years for old. For sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the yes. lost boys are children. Okay. These are right. children. They cool. are eleven and twelve years old. <laughs> no. And um, On this dating cruise. actually, it's so those two those. Uh, it's going to be Peter's turn next. So Peter, you Age is merely a number. you notice something <laughs> about the boys. Something seems different about them. Uh -huh. They were always rough and tumble kids, but now they seem deranged, filthy, dirty, wild hair and eyes with ripped clothing, no shoes to speak of. Some of them are missing teeth. Okay, so where's like the closest area that I can get to that has like s some like. Like okay. barrels, like stack of barrels, anything that I can kind right, of go me, behind, sorry, but pay, be fairly close. Picture for you. So, um, uh, actually, roll a perception check. You just came out on the ship. Mm, not great, like a eleven. That's okay. You could, you're right next to stuff. Yeah. So um, these are masts. Mm -hmm. um, this is the uh, the place on the ship where you steer. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hell? The poop. The help makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Good. Yeah, We're calling it's, it's a help. Let's get raised, torn apart by boat enthusiasts. It's a raised <laughs> platform. Uh, there are some lockers over here, boxes and, and uh, crates over here. You also seem to notice there are two ballista Ooh. that, can, oh. that yeah. can fire things. That sounds like and good. there is a there is a cannon. Uh, there are two cannons over here. So how far away am I from this ballista? Uh, you are. It looks like thirty-five ish feet from this one, and maybe a little less to that one. Okay. All right. Feet maybe. Uh, so what's this red 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 thing here? Uh, that you notice is a, a gangplank. That's what they they use to load and unload the ship mm. uh, at, at at port. So it's a long ladder, very long, and okay. it, and it unfolds to about uh, fifteen feet long. I don't see much of a use for that. So well, you don't yeah. need to get to the gangplank until later in the night. Yeah. <laughs> ah! oh! oh, that's oh, that's sorry. That was something totally different. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Oh my. <laughs> Your enjoyment of that joke was as good, if not better, than the joke. <laughs> oh, way better. Oh, oh, um, okay, I will let those two do their thing. Um, I'm going to go to this. Can I make it to this mast uh, n nearby the ballista? Uh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that you one. can swing around here. I'm sure. going to go over there, kind of hide behind it, okay. and I'm going to shoot a message cantrip at the closest boy. Okay, that. I believe is uh, slightly, yes, slightly. Okay, so I shoot a message cantrip. I'm like, yo, dude, what the fuck? Like, shrug emoji, fire emoji, explosion emoji. 
skull and crossbones emoji. <laughs> okay, so I believe with message he can reply as well, it's right? It's me, Peter, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he hears in his yeah. in his ears magically Peter's voice saying to him what gives, what's going on, uh, and uh, so this slightly. Uh, he replies to you because you can do that with message, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, not massage. Um, uh, he can you whatever. reply with massage? He replies by, by okay. saying, um, "I can." You hear in your uh, in your ear, "If we can't have Wendy, no one can." Fuck. <laughs> All right. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do for your turn? Can I do anything else with my turn? I don't know. Bonus uh, action. Or something? You can say something. I did with my message. Oh, okay. All right, well then that's yeah, your turn. Uh, it'll go to twin number two, who doesn't have a name. <laughs> uh, he's going to ooh, roll very well and throw his, uh, or uh, do his sling at you, Goldilocks. No, no. Uh, this is a, ooh, it's a 20. It definitely <gasps> hits. Oh. And it hits with, ooh, five points of damage. Sorry, lady. That breaks. I guess, I guess we can't. Use our shield again. Uh, sure, you can use a shield as a reaction, right? Yeah. Is it once per, what's um, it say? I c oh, wait, I'm not going to use my shield because then I can't use my thunder wave, right? I can only use three per day, so I don't know how long this night is going to go. So I will take damage. <laughs> okay, great. So I can so kill them later. Are you so saying Mark, all this in character? <laughs> I, I, yeah. Yes. Mark, That's what I'm doing. Mark five points off your health. I thought I was crazy. What is she talking about? <laughs> um, and twin number two, uh, uh, twin number two is just going to run down to this cannon and uh, continue to load it. Um, that brings us to uh, Peter went already, right? So now it's all the fours. Wendy, Queen, and the Hatter. Who wants to go first? Sure. So, yeah. What? Yeah, what? To move this along, yeah. I'll say you that. Can the go, ship you can go. You can go. You Come closer yes, and shit. move around to here. No, I'm good. I'm very well. Okay. They're preparing to fire. Does Goldilocks get a, her prepared action? What? Does Goldilocks get your prepared action? Oh, yes. Does, so, yes, they are now within range. range. Thank you, fellow Sweet. DM. So, you can attack them if you want to. Go ahead and do your attack. What was your attack? Um, it was the Thunder Wave. And who would you like to target? Them. <laughs> <laughs> so you can probably hit both of these fellows. It's a, yeah. I mean, fifteen. How? Where's that guy? It's a fifteen line? foot that could, cube. Okay. Yeah. So what about this back one away. here? Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm starting so, from there. So you could you could do this sort of cube right here okay. and get both of I those mean, young men. I mean, I feel bad. Can don't I feel try bad. They're children. Talking to them first. <laughs> they don't feel bad. Uh, no, you can't talk to them because you are holding your action. This is all you can do. All right. I'm a thunder wave. Uh, yeah. Okay. There you are. Oh, Out of nice. Goldilocks, uh, she she opens her mouth and a loud thunderous sound cracks out of her uh, out of her mouth, just making a, a blast of thunder that hurts everybody's ears. What the fuck are you doing? You're destroying our love boat crew. <laughs> <laughs> it's piercing it's and. Not uh, and they will roll, fail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one of them succeeds, one of them fails. Uh, Thunder Wave is what, 2d8? Is that right? Yeah, 2d8. Okay. So roll 2d8. And then they're. Okay. Just do that. Fuck, two. Uh, and roll it, roll it again. You're going to add these together. Two. Okay, so that's <laughs> four points of damage. Um, can I, I'm going to use um, my lucky and, and re roll. Oh, I get three lucky three times sure, per day. Sure, you can re-roll one of those. Nice. Worth it. <laughs> ah, two again! <laughs> two again? All right. So lucky they both take four lucky points of damage, and dancing. this one is sent ten feet back. Ooh. Yeah. Um, all right, excellent job. Let me mark off their yeah. damage. Uh, okay, next is Curly. Right, he's the one who hasn't gone. Have they all gone? Oh, yeah. Curly hasn't. He's this one, right? Shit, I can't remember. They all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to roll and attack you, Goldilocks, because you just attacked one of his friends. You should have given them, like, it's like anime rules. Like, everybody needs a different color hair. <laughs> you know, when it's I like. Didn't make these <laughs> goddamn minis. <laughs> They're all basically drawn the same, so someone's Goldilocks, got half a face. He's just rolled a 19. He hits you. Oh, yeah, I use my shield now. Shit. You do. I use okay. my shield. Oh, well. That's. Uh, that's plus five to AC, right? Mm -hmm. So he does not hit. Uh, he, he slings a little rock at you. It just barely misses you and clatters across <sighs> the deck of the ship. You are fine. Um, 
Okay, sorry. Queen of Hearts and Hatter have to go. Um, so I, I'm only, I'm in a You haven't gone yet? Mm-mm. How did I skip Wendy? Four, no, oh, we okay. Have, we got four. Okay, good. They're all yeah. equally shitty at rolling. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Whatever. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. Ooh, it You're sounds welcome. like there's so much happening up there. And I, and I run up the stairs, um, kind of look around, see where all the action is. Mm-hmm. Um, head, is, if I can, get to at least the, the, uh, the, Edge of the boat. I'm a 30 foot speed. So. Well, it, you took 10 okay. feet to get up there, okay. so uh, you can get right about there. Okay, awesome. Uh, then what I actually will do, yeah, that, that's it. I just yell at them. Mom is home! Oh, ma! She's so you, uh, As soon as you say mommy's home, uh, the closest one to you, Nibs, smiles and says, Mommy? Uh, all right. Uh, if only last matters, this is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> is this fucked up? Um, okay. Yes. As you're all on deck now, you notice uh, the, the chaos and carnage uh, around you. Your vessel is not designed for fighting and has suffered badly. Two of its three masts are, uh, are broken. Uh, the deck is riddled with holes. Oh. It's, on f- it's on fire in one place. Which of the masts? Oh, shit. Wait, our, our Am deck I in the fire? Right? Uh, I'm to light I will write you. Mask, I will draw you fire. Where is it? Ah! Where's my pen? Ah! Fuck it! All right. This. What do you need, Sam? This is on fire over here. Oh, fire! This is fire. This mast is gone. This mast is damaged. It's just damaged. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just fire to really immerse us in the situation. Oh wow! The water's on fire! Um. All right. Um, let's see here. Oh no! Most most of the crew is uh, is injured or dead. There's a dead guy over here. There's a dead guy over here. There's a dead guy right here. Um, All the knives and forks from Beauty and Beast. <laughs> Beauty and, and the Beast alive. Uh, you don't see. Uh, actually, roll a perception check. I want to look for the Beast. I got a one. I don't see. It. Okay. Anyone else want to take a look? Blink while you look. Got another two. Awesome. Yeah, two. Okay, you guys look around for the beast anywhere in sight. You do not see the beast. Do not. Oh. <laughs> um, I did forget to open my eyes. Uh, you, Goldilocks, do notice that there is a lifeboat right here, but it has been severely damaged oh, in the really? attack. There is no lifeboat right there. Um, uh, okay, uh, some of the crew had light weapons. They're scattered around the ground. Um, there's also these weapon lockers over here that uh, that have different things in them. Um, let's see here. Uh, yes, okay, top of the round. Um, or these two, I don't. Oh, sorry, you sorry, you haven't gone yet. Someone sorry, I keep yeah, skipping I you. Go, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Do you have something or I? I go, go, okay. Go, go. Um, Wendy, uh, Wendy steps forward, um, seeing the Lost Boys and kind of like rolling her eyes, especially at the one who was like, "Mom," and um, <laughs> uh, she's like, "Let me see if I can remember how to do this." And she turns into a giant eagle. Oh, Whoa! Shit. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. That is so Red's cool. Massive I love it when wings. She does that. All right. Um, she's a, a large beast, which is very big. It's maybe not Ooh, quite as big as a dragon, but. To you. <laughs> Yeah, it's as big as a dragon. It's a big eagle, she and she um, leveled up since the last time I saw you. And uh, tries to. She is trying to basically grab the boy who's on the cannon and just put him into the water. So your action was to, to use. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So you can fly over there. I don't think that you can also grab. You can get over there and turn into. You're right. It's an action. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Their so reaction I just... to this should be shitting their pants. <laughs> yeah. 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 I use my action Maybe to like turn into a huge them. eagle and just hover over the boat. You're hovering. My wings okay. blowing <laughs> air in everyone's faces. Bye, guys. Doing so good. good. Bye. This is awesome. Oh. 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 That's too high. That's I love one of those cool. birds that you can like balance on your finger. Oh, oh no, she's it. dead now. Stop. I'm drowning. So you are she's floating fine. That in. is so Smaller cool. Smaller one. Awesome. Okay. That's actually awesome. one of Floating Christmas. above them. Yeah. Probably yeah. not that yeah. high either, but whatever. <laughs> it's done. Um, <laughs> really I mean, what? Cool. <laughs> okay, that's your action and, and your movement. You good? That's it. Okay, That's Hatter. all I got. She's just up there. Uh, now. Oh. I would like to, I think, uh, I think I might be able to do it from where I am, but if not, I might be able to get closer. Um, I would like to uh, try to sleep some of them. <gasps> oh. 
Because that's what I do. Sure, sure, sure. I'm boring. Uh, no, I'm going to sing them a lullaby oh. and uh, and sleep as many as I can. No, it's no, nine, no. 90 feet. Absolutely. So. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll, what is it, eight, uh, 5d8s or something like that? Oh. To find out how many hit points but of sleep you of, cause. Of, of sleep I can do? Is that... Is that how it works? Shit. Yeah, that's all right. No, I know. I should know. I was just looking at it. Um, Let me look. Let me look. There's so many spells. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, 5d8 totals how many hit points. Okay. Uh, where, are my, where are my d8s? That, yeah, I got one. Here. Guys, by the way, uh, a little legal hey, note here. Yeah. Yuri is portraying a character knight called <laughs> the Hatter. He's not portraying a character called anything other than mm -hmm. the Hatter, oh, which would be property of Disney. Like, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Any other character? Uh, the hatter. Yeah, he's the crazy yeah. hatter. Yeah. <laughs> he's the goofball <laughs> cap wearer. Because <laughs> yeah. we're all we're all on the SS public domain, guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, you would think. 24. 24. 24. 24 points of hit points. <laughs> so you can wow. pick. Thank you. Uh, you can pick four of those guys to sleep. Pick them. Um, wow. How about uh, the, 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 the four that are closest to me? Uh, where are you? You haven't moved. So that's yeah. these four? So that's. Or, the cannon boy. Or the, 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 the that are closest to me physically, me, okay. the person so who they, is not oh, the Hatter, yeah. but who is so also the Hatter. All, <laughs> yes, all yeah. Fall yeah. Okay. That's no how sleep boy. works. There's no save. I'm scared. That's right, um, no save. Yeah. No save, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, they just fall asleep. Ah. Fucking fantastic. <laughs> right? That's how that works? Oh. Yes. Sure. They're yeah. all, yeah. They're all within great. 20 feet of each great. other? Yeah. yeah. I think that's how it works. Oh, I don't care. That's great. how it works. It's great. Really <laughs> okay. Amazing. That was amazing, that's Hatter. Amazing. Thank you. That was amazing. Wow. Thank you. Sometimes. I know. I am attracted to all of you. <laughs> um, you were I didn't even have to use Charm I... Person on you. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, yeah, you notice that as the, uh, the four of the Lost Boys just kind of you know, get all sleepy-eyed mm. and curl up into a little fetal position and go oh, to wow. sleep night-night time. Oh, a tiny man like who is good with children. <laughs> 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 okay, that brings us to the top of the round, right? Yeah. Uh, no one is awake to fire their cannons, so they do not. Um, but the one who's left, who's actually, he's, uh, he's up a bit on, on lookout. Uh, he's one of the twins. Uh. He yells uh, to you, Wendy. He says, uh. Wendy, Mama, we miss you. Come back to Neverland. Ever since you and Peter broke up, we've nobody to take care of us. We don't know how to cook, bathe, brush our teeth. We're getting sick. Curly has the runs. <laughs> <laughs> you also notice that above the twin uh, on that mast is Captain Hook's severed head. <laughs> Uh, just sort of oh, stuck to the top of the mast. Oh, <laughs> a gruesome effigy of the madness that has befallen the boys. Um, he, uh, uh, let's see here. The, it, the ship is still moving a bit. It's drifting um, because the guy who was piloting it is now asleep. <laughs> um, all right. And uh, uh, let's see here. Bit a bit a bit a bit a bit of. Um, oh yes! Just then, you realize that your sh your ship is starting to list severely to one side. The waterline has shifted. One of the injured sailors calls out, "Oh gods, we're sinking!" What would you like to do? If we're at the top of the round, it's Scarecrow's turn. Um. <laughs> Remember when you said you were super absorbent? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point. I think we got to take this fucking ship. Um. Most of them are either scared or sleeping, right? <clears throat> yeah. So I. I'm gonna move there. Now, okay. So I have I have an an action, an attack, and 40 feet of movement, right? Correct. Wow. Okay. So, so you can also yes. you could jump. Uh, you can you can use your action not just to attack, but you can do things, use objects. Okay. So. So this is 15 feet. This. Ladder? Yes, it is 15 feet long. So I, I'm i going to just shove, hit this ladder, shove it straight out, and try to get it 
to briefly dock onto the other ship. Okay, roll a strength check. <clears throat> Sixteen plus two, eighteen. Oh, yeah, fuck yes. Ooh. So you knock it, and it goes, oh. and there is a, cool. it's wow. sort Scarecrow. of stretching, wow. uh, it's skidding across the, the uh, uh, their deck, because uh, their ship is still moving a little bit uh, right. in relation to yours, but there is a temporary bridge there that you can use Each, to okay. Two it. for two for applause on your D&D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody else got applause. That's okay. okay, and so I want to get this guy out of commission. So I, I use my movement to move right to the ledge of their ship. I cross, I cross the bridge, and I land right on the ridge of their ship. Okay. And I look up at the man at the top of the. He's a boy. The, He's a the tiny boy, child. The boy at the crow's nest. <laughs> and I stick my fingers in my mesh face, and I pull it sideways, oh, and I God. scream up at him. Oh my God. And I use the fire my. Has spread, oh God. <laughs> and I use my menace again on him. Okay. Uh, great. That is an action. You roll versus uh, insight. Twelve plus five, seventeen. Seventeen. He rolls a natural twenty. You try. Oh, you try to oh make him go berserk, oh. and he looks down at you through the cannon smoke and the chaos. He can't even really get a good glimpse of you, so it just mm. fails. Okay. <laughs> there is a severed head on the mask. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I can't it's feel scary. anything anymore. My scary mask face isn't worse. Yeah, yeah. Also, dude's seen some shit. Yeah, also, yeah, the, the, also the drawing of my character is like the sweetest fucking guy you've ever seen. Oh man, I sure wish that I was watching this right now so that I could see that. That well, must be so great. Maybe someday you'll be able to look oh, it up. Wow. Okay. Come on. Um, in, uh, in order to make it harder for this guy to attack me, I'm gonna move right up against the pole. So I'll move, I'll use the last of my turn to move like right up just press up against it so the ability for him to shoot something down yes. at me is just a tough angle. Yeah, we're still being romantic on this. You just pressed yourself up against his pole. Oh. I'll fuck anything, man. <laughs> I have another platform, but oh, oh. Jesus. Oh, forget it. <laughs> just imagine He's up there. Yeah. He's up yeah. a bit. Okay. Ah. Here, great. Uh, oh, that's fine. Um, okay. Oh, oh, wait. Look at that. Hey, look at that. Whoa, oh, what yeah. on earth? Oh, that's crazy. Here we go. Is that high enough? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Okay. Nice. Um, <laughs> Okay, uh, that's your turn, Scarecrow. Next is uh, Goldilocks. I am so impressed by a guy who takes charge, even though he has no idea what he's doing, and ends up being really, really sweet to the rest of us. So we're gonna go in, <laughs> we're gonna move closer, as close as we can to... The to, bridge? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. So I'm on there. Yeah. I'm gonna use. I assume I don't have my weapons on me. I wasn't carrying them in the ballroom. Oh uh, no. I, I'm gonna use my bonus action to summon my crossbow. Okay. <laughs> Great. So and then out of I'm, nowhere, a crossbow appears in Goldilocks's hand. Boom! Got my crossbow. Got awesome. Gonna aim it up at the last. Mm -hmm. The Child. last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we're not aiming to kill, we're just aiming to... As you aim, you notice that this one also has glasses. Oh, oh no! Kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> kill him. And little, 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 part, little part of hair right in the middle. Oh. Yeah, but, trust with that. but I won't kill him with my crossbow, because my damage is Well, like... let's find out. <laughs> Shoot away. Cool, so I'm gonna take this. This one? Uh -huh. D20. Roll a D20, yeah. add your attack okay. bonus. So it's a 19. <laughs> okay, sure. Plus four. Great, so Talk roll for game. damage. That definitely hits. So damage is then. It'll say right next to the crossbow. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll and probably be a two again, so we'll see. It's a two. I think this one's oh. Ooh, okay. screwed. Two, two plus and then something. Two, two plus, two? plus two? two is four. Okay. Is that enough? So I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to kill him a anyway. Cross, that's okay. A crossbow bolt. Slams into his shoulder. Okay, that's good. He screams out. Ah! He's fine. But he's still alive. He's, he's just pretty he's badly just hurt. Just... Um, that was Goldilocks. It is now the scared one's turn. Does he get to resist? Shake off the uh, the menace, right? He does. I think he does. I think I'm going to say he does. Okay, do it. And he rolled very well. He is no longer frightened of you, Scarecrow. Uh -huh. um, and so he's going to turn around and come back towards you, Scarecrow. Uh, the one on top is like injured. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, but I don't think he can use his action because he used it to shake off the effect. Um, at least that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> and next is. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, the guy that you just sh 
No, it's Goldilocks. No, we did that. It's the guy you just shot, Twin Two. Um, <laughs> he is going to shoot back down at you, Goldilocks, because you're right there. And he rolled a 12 to hit. Does my shield last in this all of this combat? Uh, one round. We're at the top one, of the second round, round, so no, it doesn't. So he rolled a 12. Did he hit you? With your AC of? 16. So no, he no. throws a rock at you. The rock misses you and goes into yeah. the water behind you. That's okay. the end of their turn. Uh, Peter Pan, you are up. OK, so I'm going to uh, run. How far away am I from the edge of the ship? Oh, boy. Um, well, from this edge of the ship, you're about 20 feet. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And from way over there, I don't from know, From just the edge of the, sh like, uh, uh, thereabouts. The one right right to the, yeah, there. Here? Uh, yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. OK. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to take a big running start and I'm going to use uh, my jump spell to leap onto Ooh, the other snap. ship. Nice. Okay, that yeah. just works, right? What is it? I, I it's a it just a works. long jump. I think I can go pretty far, uh, yeah, like sure. up to like 48 feet. So. Okay, so we see in slow motion Peter Pan. It almost looks like flying. Mm -hmm. oh. He takes off into the air, oh. just kind of does this move, yeah. looks back at you guys to make sure you're watching, does a little bit of a flip and lands three three point landing, super cool, <laughs> on the deck of the um, ship. That's okay, cool, so man. who's this, who's this <laughs> child who's uh, passed out near me? You see it. Um, that's that's either. <laughs> That's either <laughs> Nibs or the first twin. Uh, a bunch of, yeah. All right, I, I'm gonna uh, tie that one up. You're gonna tie that one up? Yeah. Okay. I have some rope or whatever, right? Yeah, I have sure. some rope. Uh, yes, you pull out a length of rope. Hold on one second. Um, do -do 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 do 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 I'm looking up sleep. Um, yeah, I got that. When does it? When does it break? A minute. A minute. It's been significantly less than that. Or if they've yeah. been affect, affected, right? Is I think it, it's, it's if, be if, if they if they get shaken awake, or Slap. if they get attacked, uh, very yeah. very gently. So he's so he's and, he's still asleep. You tie him up. Tie him up. He, he is now uh, he is he is now tied up. And <laughs> yeah. able to move. Great. Good job, Peter. Uh, that's an end of your turn. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Wendy or the Queen or the Hatter. Who wants is to go? Is the boat still moving? The boat is still moving. Yes, okay. but just ever so slightly. The the bridge seems to have slowed it down a little bit. So I'm I'm still raging, and I uh, see the enemy in sight, and I run forward and attack, melee attack the mast that the tiny man is standing on. <laughs> You're gonna hit the mast. Yes. Okay. Get him down here. <laughs> I mean, what's I, your, what's I'm. Movement? It's thirty. Okay, yeah, you can just just get to the mast and <laughs> you you hit oh it hard. God! I said, "Mummy, some give me a hug." Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do two attacks because I can bony bony action. Um, what? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, whoa, whoa! Go back. What's that? I can I can I can take a bony action. And I can frenzy and I get a bonus action. Uh, no, I can take I can take a melee attack as my bonus it's boner, action. Boner, boner. Yeah. My, it's, <laughs> okay, and they're ooh, they're both at advantage of so 19 and 16. Yeah. Okay, so um, the low I hit the lowest one would be a 21 to hit. Yes, that hits the mast. Okay, so I have I have two hits that hit, and uh, that's a. A 12 damage and mm -hmm. another 12 damage. Oh, wow. That's 24 points of damage to the mask. Okay. She hacked. What are you hacking with your scepter, right? My scepter! So the scepter is causing huge chunks of wood to fly out of the mast. <laughs> the whole thing is shaking. It does not collapse. However, let me just check. Ooh, this fucker. <laughs> um, uh, uh, twin number two up there at the top gets shaken off of the top but manages to grab on with his natural 20. <laughs> and is holding with his, with, he's got a, a bolt sticking out of this arm, and this arm he's holding on, he's still up there, he did not fall off. You prevent out of love! <laughs> so that is a resilient I, child. Yes. Yeah. Can I um, flap over and just grab him? 
not attacking for damage, but just sure, like your grapple. Like a, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, Wendy Bird. Oh, 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 I'm coming Wendy too. I want in on this. And grabs the child. Roll for like a grapple. Okay. I guess. Can he get disadvantage? Oh, of course. He's got okay. one arm and he's well, using the other to hold on. Okay. Okay. Damn, I only got a nine. It I am very strong now. Do you want to borrow some dice? Uh, I got nine. Uh, you know, it, you roll with advantage instead okay. <laughs> of him rolling with disadvantage. Eleven. <laughs> sure, that's enough. He's he's like this. <laughs> no, you're I know. a giant he's, eagle. He's, he's fine. Yeah. You pick him up. You've got I him in your claws, but you're not claws. causing him any damage, right? Now I've just got him in a, a grip. Okay. Yeah. Uh, great. And so the, um, then I'm gonna go land on the the prow of the boat. Okay. But sort you of know keep him. Terms. Ooh, I know. Oh, the prow. prow. Yeah. Yeah. Boat term, she called it a ship the way it's supposed to be called. Yeah. <laughs> there are thousands of people out there going, it's not a boat, it's a ship. <laughs> Slightly to port, the port side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. And then I sort of, I sort of like protect him with my claws so that oh. uh, the queen can't get him. All right. Uh, <gasps> the Hatter. The crazy hatter, what would you like to do? I would like to uh, run across the gangplank because it seems like this ship I'm on sucks. Sure. <laughs> I got none of us are checking Boom. to see if these dudes are alive. No, they're fine. <laughs> this they're guy's fine. on fire. Yes. Right. Sorry, probably, probably dead. Fine. A lot of other people on this cruise. Look, they stayed below deck. Hatter, would you like to do anything trick? else? You can see one like combatant time. who's out on the on the deck. He's over here, and you can also see. This guy in the eagle's claws. But it would take me, uh, let's see, the, I will get, I will uh, cast a firebolt Ooh. at the guy on deck. Kids. Okay, yes, you can yeah, kids. just okay. see. Um, okay, go ahead and cast your firebolt. I <laughs> uh, you think you roll a spell melee attack, is that right? Is it, is a, it, uh, on your is spell sheet it should say. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. So that's what you add to your roll. Spell attack bonus. Uh, Seventeen plus four. Yeah, you so. got you hit him for sure. Roll for four. damage. Four, uh, and it's a d10. A six. Okay. Um, <laughs> that guy dead. <laughs> I killed the child. Oh, God, I killed the child. <laughs> He's unconscious. He's unconscious. So, uh, so a, a bolt of fire. Wow. A bolt of fire comes out of the Mad Hatter's. Body <laughs> and boutonniere, <laughs> out of his boutonniere. Out of my, out of my boutonniere. Uh, oh a my bolt God. of fire streaks across the ship, striking the child dead in the heart. Oh my God. He looks stunned for a second and then collapses dead or at least Wait, which one was severely that? unconscious. Right now, there. can I do a reaction here oh. based on the fact sure. that you just shot fire by a, a giant stack of hay? <laughs> sure. What, 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 what reaction? I just turn to the mad hatter and I go, what the fuck, man? What the fuck are you thinking? Do you not know any non-flammable spells? I mean the line of fire, dude. I thought we were cool. I, I squirt water out of my boutonniere on you. <laughs> I know. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Man. <laughs> uh, that was the Hatter, Queen of Hearts. You've gone. Wendy's. Wendy's gone. Everyone's gone. It's back to the top of the round. This is totally disarmed the situation. So, so Scarecrow, yeah. it's your it's your move. But all of them are sleeping, dead, or incapacitated. Um, oh you do God. notice that this ship is starting to move away, and this is starting starting to uh, the bridge is starting to collapse. Sorry, this is you, Peter. Um, and you, you probably have a second or two before the bridge just falls and you fall into the water. Scarecrow, what would you like to do? Oh, oh. you're already on the boat, so as ship, so you're okay. Um, okay, there's only a second or two la- left. I'm pretty strong. Yeah. I, I'm going to try to, in one motion, pull this whole uh, wooden, just swing this whole wooden <laughs> uh, ladder onto the boat. Okay, and so you, you run over plan. to the yeah, gangplank yeah. and pull it as hard as you can, trying to Don't get your friends oh, on board oh. the ship with you. Roll for strength. 12. 12, okay, you definitely pull it, <laughs> but it gets oh to God. about there and then falls into the water. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Goldilocks Bye. and Hatter oh. uh, roll dexterity saves. Is that a Ooh. cricket in the studio? Good, pro- probably. Yeah. Always good for a sound stage. Yeah. What'd you get? Eight plus three, 11. Okay. 17 yeah, plus nine. two is 19. Goldilocks Goldie holds on easily to the gangplank and watches as the Hatter slides <laughs> by her. That's what I get for <laughs> killing a child! <laughs> I reach out. Uh, you, you, you needed to hold on for yourself. You can, I'll, I'll say you can reach out with your foot 
And Hatter, you can uh, make one more uh, acrobatics check to, acrobatics see, to see if you can grab onto the foot. Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you don't even know what I roll. You don't even need to know what I roll. Her slipper has salt water on it, and your hand just slides off, and you are now in the water. Okay. And the ship is still moving. I mean, this, yeah. Guys, it's the Caribbean, so don't don't, don't cry for me too yeah. bad. Yeah, so that, this, this was now. Call me. I get one action and one attack, right? So that was an action. You get action. one action. I get one action, so I can't. And you get a bonus action where you can hit someone with your hand because you're right. a monk. Right. Mm. But that's but that about doesn't it. help. Sorry. Oh, sorry, dude. I'm trying to help. <laughs> oh, hey, I appreciate it, man. I do. Uh, um, okay. Are we still in initiative? We are, we are still in initiative because okay. there's that guy. Um, it is not his turn. It's Goldilocks's turn. Um, I wasn't ever feeling like I wanted to be a mom, but upon seeing a child get killed, my maternal instincts <laughs> oh, kick in. And I'm like, God. you are a horrible human being. Or, or hatter of the crazy <laughs> variety. Wow. And so I don't know if I want to save you. So, Fair enough. Wow! Can, is there Fair any enough. way to heal the ki dead kid? <laughs> you would have to climb back onto the ship first. Okay, I'm gonna climb back onto the ship first. Sure, uh, that'll. And go, I'm gonna approach movement. the kid. So you Mommy can knows. probably get to about there, um, but I don't know what your healing powers are, Goldilocks. It's very little. You I'm don't have snake. any. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can <laughs> say <laughs> nice things you know, to him. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Uh, I don't want to talk to the dead kid. Oh uh, you God. can you can use all of your movement. Uh, you can use your action, your dash action, to get all the way to the kid, and now you can talk to him. Hey, if you just hold on, I might have a healer friend. I don't know, but I hope you had a good life. This is you're not gonna have anyone else read you anything. I'm real bad at this. Um, you're a great kid. You're not gonna have anybody else read you anything. <laughs> I hope you're. Okay. Be okay, <laughs> wherever you are. The mad hatter, uh, the crazy hatter's a real dick. Um, definitely not gonna date him. Don't worry. I'll try to turn as many women as I know against him. And uh, uh, you, you should have had a better life and got education. So and as you as work. you say all this to this young child, you can see out of the corner of his eyes. Just blood is just dripping out of his eyes because he is super dead. Oh, are you alive? No? Oh, I don't have great charisma or anything either, so I can't. That's it. Okay. I'm done. Yeah. I just keep muttering to the child to try. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, okay, that was uh, Goldilocks. We're to, we're to the twin who is currently grappled. He's going to try to ungrapple. Ooh. Ooh, he rolled a 19. Oh my gosh, he keeps rolling like a beast. Yeah, so oh. what's your strength, uh, Wendy? Grappled. Yeah. Um, uh, right now it's 16. I think he breaks oh, your grapple. He wiggles his way free. Yeah. He's free and he's gonna. I'm distracted by the murdered child that I, he's I gonna know. He's run away. And he's my friend. This way. As you guys say what you want, oh. say what you want, but that one child is gonna kill all of us. <laughs> as that child runs away, he runs right past Goldilocks. Goldilocks, as he is crossing in front of you, you have an attack of opportunity. You can hit him <gasps> as he goes, if you'd like to. Or, or hug um, him. You, have a can you, you can or choose to deal some dual damage, which so knocks him unconscious. Yeah, I would like to not kill the child. I would definitely okay, like to. roll for an attack. <laughs> we're, we're getting so much shit for just killing one. One. Okay. okay, so as he runs by, <laughs> he gets hit in the back of the head, falls down, it's also say, unconscious. It's safer for you this but, way. But not, but not dead. Okay, all right. I can't get you now. <laughs> okay, uh, at this point, the, uh, the gangplank has fallen away. The ship is still moving away. We're on to, that was... Goldilocks, Peter's turn? Wait, um, do we do Peter? Peter. I haven't gone yet, no. Okay, go for it, Peter. Are there, uh, is there like a, a like a life preserver or anything nearby that I can see, or some rope? Uh, there's definitely rope. There's, mm -hmm. uh, the, the main like sheet link? is hold, is, uh, is dangling down from the, the mast. There's also coils of rope on the, on the floor that I'm you gonna, can get. I'm gonna take some of those coils of rope and I'm gonna toss it to the, the hatter. Okay. Uh, and I am going to use my bardic inspiration Ooh. to give him 1d6 to any ability check he might uh, try to make. Okay, so uh, Peter Pan either life. speaks or sings or plays Hang his... Hang on, dude, I got you! The words are so inspiring that you get an extra d6 dice 
that you can add mm -hmm. onto your next role. That to you my next to. role. Yes, because you feel so inspired by Peter Pan's words. Can, can I, I, I know I'm in the water treading water, uh, but can I cast a spell or am, are there, am Sure, I... it is now your turn and yes, you can, you have an action and a movement and a bonus action. Uh, I would, uh, Misty Step is actually a bonus action. Sure, man. Can I use my bonus action yes, first? Yes, yes. Um, and I'm closer than 30 feet away, For sure. it appears. So I would like to misty step aboard the deck, which so is, right which is sort of like the electric slide. <laughs> so, so before Peter Pan finishes his words of inspiration, oh, poof, oh, Mad ha man. I'm sorry, the Hatter <laughs> is standing right We're next to Peter. We're all going to jail before the end of the night. <laughs> yeah. Looking, uh, thankfully, gratefully, into Peter Pan's eyes. Mickey just kind of kicks through this right over here. Oh, he said Mickey. <laughs> Just a guy I know yeah. named Mickey. Sure, Stop sure. being so goofy. <laughs> oh, he just burst through this wall with a gun. <laughs> um, is, do I do I have time to get over to the uh, the, the kid whose life is draining away? Um, or I mean, that's uh, he's clear across the ship. You did cause it, so you know that he is is suffering. You don't have time to get all. The, uh, yeah, we're we're out of initiative now. The fight is over. I mean, so he you can have six extra points if he wanted them. Whatever, it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. So uh, yes, uh, right. things are calm. Everyone's either asleep or dead. So you can take a couple turns and walk over there. Uh, yeah, next to him. Okay. So 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 I go over to where the, where the kid is lying and I I sing him a, a, a lullaby as he as he goes. Is there a sp particular spell attached to that lullaby, or is it just a nice song? It's just <laughs> I wish I had healing abilities. I, I it's just a song if to if help him. Out of it, would you consider this a short rest? Uh, you guys can take a short rest. A short rest would be like I'm, 20, 25 oh. minutes of, yes, Molly? Oh, can I? Sorry. Yeah. I, uh, uh, Wendy, as as you're getting pulled out of the water and going over to the kid, she turns out of the eagle form and like runs over to the kid who got killed, I guess, like as you're singing a lullaby, and she like shoulders you aside. <laughs> Um, down in the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she she uh, uh, leans down and, and picks up the kid and uh, casts a cure wounds on him. Oh, okay. I don't know if that'll do anything because he's dead. But um, yeah, yeah. Cure wounds is what one d eight plus three or something like that. It is yeah one d eight plus spellcasting ability. So yeah, he's dead. <laughs> well, I'll just give it a shot. You know. Okay, ro Go just roll it. roll to see if. Luck shines on you. Um, Ooh. That's, that's a, a nine. Okay, so, uh, oh, for the amount of healing he that got? the amount of healing uh, that he had. I, the kid coughs. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a, it's a, someone just see your heart! On, and buddy. passes out again. Okay, okay, is this a short rest or not? Uh, short rest is 25 minutes yeah, long. Yeah, you have to take, <laughs> well, we can take some time. Sure, yeah. Do we have to wait so many passes? He's very faintly breathing. His pulse okay. is almost at a standstill. Someone else would have to do something very quickly in order okay. to save him. Okay, anyone, anyone, uh, anyone, anyone, anyone can act here? Anyone, anyone can act, yes, we're out of battle. I start playing it. my pan pipes okay. uh, beautifully. And seeing as it is a short rest, any friends who hear my performance, they regain 1d6 HP. Okay, so oh, you're, wow. you're planting, uh, you're playing a, a, a jaunty ditty a or a, a beautiful a, like ballad? Like a, a really poignant tune. Okay, you know? so it's Enya <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah, okay. like Enya meets Wonderwall. Sure, like, <laughs> sure, <laughs> really sure. Really inspiring. Uh, so why don't you roll a d6? Oh, I do that. Yeah, okay. just once. All right. And everyone within four. everyone within earshot gains oh. four hit points because of the beauty of the oh, pan flutes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. The boy comes to. He seems to be. He seems nibs? to be just okay. Yes, like nibs. nibs. Wait, no. Nibs. Was this slightly or nibs? I just made it up. I just made one up. <laughs> slightly, slightly was the dead one. Yeah, no, this is slightly. 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 Yeah. He was only Sorry, slightly. Sorry, nibs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's looking. He's All right, I'm taking off you guys. Nice to see you. He's looking real rough, but he is alive. Blood still covers his face. No children um, shall die. He today. also, you notice, he stinks. Like they all stink. All these sleeping boys just have the worst body odor. They are unkempt, wild eyed. Um, the crisis is averted. Can I tie Calm up settles the over the ship. any of the other boys who are sleeping? Can I just tie them up real quick? Tie them up? Soon, yeah. Right? Only one sure. Minute. Yeah, just yeah. tie them all to the mast. Sure. So we'll just, now nah, we don't need this anymore. Yeah, yeah. They're all tied to the mast. No, tied to the mast. 
All, all in a, in a circle, Honest. just like the, the Peter Pan. What Pinball. the hell are you guys doing? Uh, do you want to wake them up? Well, I think they wake up after a minute, right? Oh yes, so, so a minute has passed. Yes, the they all, all come to. Up. They're all tied up. Um, yes, so go ahead. Um, what what the hell are you guys doing? What are we doing? What are you doing? Why did you two break up? It's been like eight years. <laughs> I know, but in Neverland, they time moves differently. Question. We never Why grow we up. up. We just These want your... a mama. I can't. But she's. What? what it's, you? it's your turn to shine. I it cannot is. be a mother Look. to these smelly, stupid, idiot children anymore. Well, look here. Here's your new mom. Excuse me. I I do uh, in a relationship want to be the mummy. Oh. Uh, uh, were any of you interested in having a sexual relationship? <laughs> <laughs> I like I like grab her and pull her back. I did not. Yeah, I put my hand over your mouth. Uh, one of the kids starts crying. I say, listen. I don't know, kids. I don't know. Problem is, mothership. No, <laughs> it is. Yes, this is not the Jolly Roger anymore. This is the mothership. <laughs> I say, get away from the mothership. No, I say, I'm not doing anything wrong here. I say they're twelve. <laughs> they're very small and very smelly. They're very stupid. Oh, I can't. Find an adult. Person. Okay, 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 Please. guys, guys, guys. What's going on? Why Why are you doing this? What, like, what happened, man? What we happened? We just need someone to take care of us, and ever since you broke up, Neverland's turned to shite. Look, when did I... Is this a kingdom I could acquire? You have to believe to get there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys need a dad? Because I think I'd make a great dad. <laughs> you killed our friend. Right. Right. He's right. a lullaby, he sang. Oh, oh, right. He's really good at lullabies. That's right. That's right. Look, Wendy and I were just, we're like wild horses. We have to go our separate ways. But if she wanted to get back together, you know, I would be okay with that. But like, if not, Are I would be okay with that. Are you saying that there's a chance that you might be able to get Look, back together? I have lots of other options. Look we at all these people. Our relationship fell apart because we had seven tiny grubby children hanging onto us at all times. I'm not ready to be a mom. Well, you know. So it was our fault? Yes! <laughs> yes, it was. I, I, uh, I interject and say, hey, I think that that's a really bad foundation for uh, six or seven kids, however many were on this boat. I keep losing track. But, uh, on a side note, let's direct our attention elsewhere. I want to roll a perception check to see if, if who. Go ahead and roll. I feel that the lifeboat was taken by someone mm -hmm. who might have known this attack was coming. So I roll a uh, 16 plus. That's great. That's OK, fine. as you glance around the ship, you glance back to the old SS public domain. You catch the final glimpses of the stern of it as it vanishes beneath the water, sunken. Uh, debris. Oh, wow, that means a lot of people died. De <laughs> debris litters the open ocean, but not a single survivor is visible. Wow. <laughs> uh, oops. Wow. You do spot, way in the distance, a small lifeboat <laughs> carrying a figure, a large figure, furiously paddling away from the wreckage. You also notice um, that the uh, the helm of the Jolly Roger is just spinning back and forth, pilotless. Your vessel is drifting aimlessly in the water. Ours. You have yes, you have no direction. What would you like to do? I want to go drive it. Okay. As a lifeboat. Go drive ahead. The boat. Uh, go drive up. The boat. So Peter's going to go up to the helm, mm -hmm. take it, like... and roll a survival check, please. Can I get advantage since I probably steered a boat before? Have you? Yeah, sure, you've can. stolen. Done everything. Sure, all right, great. Advantage. Why not? <laughs> oh well, it, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I, I don't do it probably. Well, what would you uh, roll? It's a survival. Where's um? It's the bottom. That most. is a uh, nine. Sure, man. You straighten out the boat. Yeah. <laughs> That's I got it. This. Don't worry, you guys. are going straight. I'm gonna I, do I, this. I want. I want to check out the the captain's quarters. I okay. Go. I walk over to the the door to the captain's quarters and I open it and okay. I do a. I just, do a fucking look just around. Just do an check. Investiga <laughs> uh, investigation <laughs> check. Noel, will you point to investigation on his page? It's uh, thereabouts. Investigation. Oh, uh, plus zero. Cool. Plus zero. <laughs> Twenty. Okay. I see fucking everything. Yes, you do. <laughs> I can see is that a... time? 
a natural <laughs> 20. Okay. That is fingerprint. Um, great. So you look around the room. Any sign of food or clothing has been picked clean. Also, a lot of the paper has been just uh, ruined. It seems like they've been using some of the navigational maps to wipe their ass after they oh, go oh, number two. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so a lot of the paper is gone. You do find, uh, you find one Not piece so of- Not so sad that I killed one of them now, huh? You find one piece of paper that looks really interesting, but it's all ripped up to shreds. Oh. <laughs> I gotta do a puzzle, that was a dude. It's in two you pieces. Oh. Oh. oh shit, that part's all together. Thank you. Oh. Wait, is this one of the ones that they used to wipe their asses, or what? I guess oh, it's, oh it's my covered, God. I'll, I'll help you it's help It's covered us. in fecal matter. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it is definitely covered in fecal matter. Okay. <laughs> There's oh, more. No. One fell on the floor. I love fecal matter, guys. I'm not putting puzzle together. I think you're doing great uh, as a, uh, as a, uh, as a DM, in. but stop throwing the puzzle pieces on the ground, Sorry. okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, also, H, you find a couple of items. Oh, sick. In there. <laughs> Are there guns? Uh, Whoa. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, <laughs> you find these two things uh, in, the, in the ship. And then, uh, Noel, Peter, as you are steering the ship, uh, you notice that if you were to tur turn about 30 degrees to the right, you might be able to intercept that lifeboat. Oh, I do that. Okay, roll another survival okay. check with advantage. <laughs> Ooh, that's much better. That is a 20, not that. Okay, so you definitely pilot the, the craft easily, and as you approach the lifeboat, you see the, the large form of the beast furiously paddling away from the action. What would you like okay. to do? Uh, I'm gonna use my firebolt to blow a hole in a ship. You're gonna attack the beast? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking attack the beast. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Only his boat. Sure, right, sure, sure. Yeah, at the go boat. ahead. Uh, roll attack? for an attack. Yeah, that's right. Um, you do, it's your roll a d20, then okay. it's plus two, and then plus your dex. Okay, so that's a plus lot. Six. That's a 20, uh, 21. You definitely hit the ship. Yeah. Uh, roll for damage. The boat. This is a boat, not a ship. It's I, boat. I know it's sailing fire. terms. <laughs> you know. Fire you're just, you're just trolling. <laughs> Hang on. Is that Belle is anywhere to be seen? Belle does not exist. Beauty exists. Oh, beauty. The public domain oh, character. Right. Beauty. <laughs> wow. But as you, but as you, say, see but as you say Belle, Belle the hunchback right. goes, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You do not see beauty anywhere. Uh, okay, so that is a seven. Okay, so uh, his, uh, the front of his lifeboat explodes with magical fire. He, you definitely got his attention. He turns to you and says, Oh, oh, are you not a pirate? Oh, please save me, please save me. We were being attacked. Um, I throw him the rope that I was gonna throw the hatter sure. and Mitzi stepped out sure. of it. Uh, it takes a couple minutes, but he uses the boat to climb up and get on to the deck with you. You guys are, I guess you found the scarecrow and you're helping him put this puzzle <laughs> back together, this piece yes. of paper. Sorry, yeah. At right. any, at any moment I get a chance, I brush my fingers across <laughs> the hottest fingers. Oh my! But I pretend that nothing is happening. I, I look yeah, over and I see fingers. I see the Queen of Hearts using my move on another guy. <laughs> and a single dry, dusty tear rolls down my um, face. Hey, just, I, I'm just perceiving that I think some of your pieces go to his and his go to yours. Oh, that's confusing. Okay, that, that's what why this was so goddamn hard. <laughs> you must have gotten mixed up in my bag. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be great. No one yeah. um, okay, ever uh, avoided this say. situation. The I'm beast, just like perhaps by using separate bags. Yeah, 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 totally. Like uh, the beast uh, approaches uh, Peter and Wendy and Goldilocks, who are standing <laughs> on the deck, and says, oh, am I pleased to see you lot. Let me assure you that you will all be given refunds from the Storybook Love Singles Cruise Limited Liability Corporation that's in the good. form of credits you can use on future cruises. Oh, damn it. <clears throat> uh, I go, cool! <laughs> um, we, what, what, are the pirates alive? Are, are, are we, are we okay? Are we safe? Did you kill Beauty? Were Did you done I? with that relationship? What are you talking about? Did I kill, I, I don't where have a pirate your, where ship. Where is your wife? I don't know, I, I left her at the ship with you. You took the one lifeboat and sailed away from the sinking ship that you own 
with your wife on it. You wanted us to believe Dude, in it, true love? I I was just And you I left was your true love to die? This is the least romantic situation I could have. Like you gotta look out for number one, you know? I was love. I was I, I I didn't know what to do. I, I was frightened. My men had all died and I, I I apologize. I didn't mean to put you in peril, but I had nothing. Your wife! I, Do you die? Is she okay? okay? To cast no. Zone of Truth. Zone of Truth. Go On ahead. What is that and what does it do? It makes him tell the truth <laughs> okay. to me right now. Uh, your spell casting DC is what? That is a 14. Okay, hold on. I'm looking up. I also don't know how to use this no, spell. No, it's okay. Well. Let me find the beast's <laughs> stats. <laughs> You said 14 was your, uh, yep. and it's versus Charisma Saving Throw. Mm-hmm. Okay, what did, what did you say it was? 14. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you cast the spell, he looks at you oddly. His eyes seem to shrink back for a moment. Mm-hmm. And then Together, he looks you at know. you again harder and says, what are you trying to do to me? Are we all uh, in the zone of truth work. area? I would like to, Hang on. Because I think it's an area effect, so are we all affected by yes, it? Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, I guess so. I think, oh, man. I'm just. So then do you have to say the range is, The range is 60 there. feet, so we have to roll a charisma saving throw, right? Yes, charisma saving throw. Okay, but you do too. Yeah. Mm. I love how I, I accidentally got rid of half of our players. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I love puzzles, Sam. <laughs> Too many games. This game is important. Wait. Wait, what? Does this count if I can use my jack of all trades to add half my proficiency bonus to my ability check? Does that count as an ability oh, check? No, it does not. That Come is on. that is, no, can you I, cannot I, you I cannot add it to a to a spell casting ability. Yes, what, huh? I want to roll a perception check on beast. Just an insight check. Yeah, right? Insight okay, check. roll a d20 and add your insight oh, yeah, to that. Insight check. 18 plus Where's my, don't put my literal, well, left hand. Yeah, you got it, you got it. So you can tell that uh, he is not telling you the whole story. Can I ask him a question? Sure, you can ask him a question. Was your, rela- Captain, did, um, was your relationship oh. troubled before this cruise? Oh, we're missing a piece. Unfortunately, yes, it was troubled before the cruise. I was looking at this, this voyage as a way to mend our, our broken bonds. We have been spending a lot of time apart, and actually, this is the first, the first cruise that she's agreed to come on in a long time. We I, just, I was hoping. Go, Holy fuck, you guys! We just found what? out why. We put, uh, th- we put together a bunch of shitty pieces of shit paper, <laughs> and it's a letter. It says, "Dear Captain," and then we're missing a piece. Soon we can be together, and we can play hooky <gasps> all night long. Love, beauty. I have no idea what that means, you guys. You can read? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, like, I know basic sounds. I'm not gonna add fucking so meaning to them. They are color coded. Wendy was affected by the Zone of Truth spell, and she just leans into the beast and she's like, Sounds like your dead wife was cheating on you. I suspected as much. Uh, I thought she was cheating on me, but I thought that we could reconcile our differences. I had no idea who it was. I had no idea it was Captain Jeremy Hook. He gets around. Wait, no, his head is on a mast. Where? Right there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, it wasn't him. I assure you he was there during the whole attack. He did not attack our vessel? No, the kid's dead. That head used to kiss your dead wife. Oh god! Oh, wait, are we sure and about also that? Also, me a few times. Whatever. The beast. Also, uh, we are the missing. We are missing a weird. piece. Well, yeah. the, she did use the clever pun, hooky. Yeah, but you don't know who it is. It's Captain, and then the initial is missing. <laughs> the uh, the beast vomits over the side of uh, of the deck. His oh, his skin. Play hooky. That is. Right. That is yes, sort of a... yes, if. if, if Let's say I were to flirt with Captain Hook, I would make the exact same joke. <laughs> <laughs> I would like. Uh, the beast is just vomited. You can see his skin oh. is ashen. He he drops to his knees and starts sobbing into his hands. I would like to use detect thoughts on the beast. All right, uh, let me find out how that works. <laughs> I want to detect his thoughts. Okay, uh, I will see what you, I got to roll against that. You are marking I, off all your spells, right? Uh, 
I am. Yes. Sure you are. Mark, you know what? Right, we should totally firebolt the beast. <laughs> that is a cantrip, so I can have many of those. Yes. Um, okay, oh, you... I did choose very useful spells for my top okay. tier spells. They were not battle spells. <laughs> um, okay, yes. Uh, well, you can, you can send, okay, so you can, you hear a voice inside your head. It is not your own voice, it is the beast's voice. The beast uh, is saying to himself, my God, I can't believe after all these years, she was cheating on me with him. He's such a fucking asshole. <laughs> the way he parades around with his big ship and his little little helper man, Smee. What a fucking asshole. I should have killed him when I had the chance. That's all you hear. Interesting. If you would like to probe deeper, you can. I'll do that. How do I do that? Uh, as, <laughs> as an action, you just say, I want to probe I deeper. I want to do that. <laughs> no, you have to say I'm okay. going to probe deeper. Uh, I would like to probe your, deeper. Your, your, <laughs> your spell DC is but Right 14. as she's about to this probe right deeper. This is to probe yes. deeper. I, I shove Peter Pan to the ground. Hey, what the fuck, man? Okay. My face cool. is wild. I suddenly say, did you make fun of me for not being able to read? <gasps> no. I don't no. like it when people call me stupid. I would never do that, man. Oh, my I bad. I respect you. My bad. I was just stating a fact that the note is color coded. Okay. And it, it's beautiful, a beautiful note. You did that. You put okay. that back together. You did just such don't a everybody good ever job. fucking do that, okay? I would never. Don't ever fucking do Yo, that. Yo, I am also not that smart. I understand. It's okay. true. That's she. That's right. I take a right. break. I go to the uh, other side of the true. ship and I just lean over the edge. <laughs> Yo, hang in okay. there, buddy. I believe you. Peter, in you. right before he pushed you, you had heard the beast. Uh, say, uh, in, in his interior monologue, you had heard him say, I know what I must do now, and it will be glory. And that's all you heard before uh, Scarecrow pushed you over. <laughs> how long does Zone of Truth last for? Uh, let me go back to the Z I'm just section. wondering how long I'm in that situation. <laughs> I go over to Scarecrow. Who else is in it? It was it just, I was you in passed. the Zone of Truth. Oh, really? Well, no one's asking you anything. I mean, I didn't, what What am I rolling? Roll Ten charisma. Minutes. Roll of charisma. Just roll d20, add your oh God. Charisma, charisma Negative one. Save. Oh, 15, I'm 14. Okay, her spell Wait. DC is 14, right? So that affects you. Mm -hmm. So you oh have God. to tell the truth if someone talks to you for the next okay. minute. So it says that it's a 15 foot radius, and until the spell ends, a creature that enters the spell's area for the first, oh, for the first time, never mind. Okay. Forget it. I had an idea, but it didn't work. That's so great. Fine. It's okay. Oh, him. yeah, you did. You have to roll. What? Just roll a d20, um, add yeah, your charisma okay. save to see if you are telling the truth, which he always is, guys. 15. <laughs> here's a, here's a hint. He He's always. He passed. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, the crisis is averted. Calm settles over the ship. Um, uh, so you found the thing. Beast is crying. Um, what would you guys like to do? You're, you're drifting the, at sea. I go up to the scarecrow who seems alone. He is alone, um, and I put my I put my arm around you. And I say, did I detect a showing of strength back there? I just don't like it when people say that I'm dumb. But you did stand up for yourself. Yeah, I get tired of that shit. Well, I might I say that I did not expect that to come from a pile of straw and refuse. Thank you. I put my hand uh, over her hand onto her shoulder, and I just kind of nod my shoulder, and then I look out at the ocean. And then I, I come up because I'm in a zone of truth, and I'm like, and I have to say, I thought that was really hot. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, <laughs> the beast um, composes himself, wipes the tears from his face, and says, I, I, I don't know what to do now, but uh, we must get to a port. Uh, from the looks of this vessel, we don't have any provisions. Um, we can't possibly go back the way we came. The, the trade winds will, it will take days. Might I suggest that we continue on to Pleasure Island, which is just a half day's journey, and when we get there, my my uh, my employees will be waiting for us. Food will be there. Medical attention. We can do something with these disgusting children. All about 
It's called Pleasure Island. Yes, <laughs> yes, we'll go. Island. Let's go. Right. Yeah, yeah, no question. Why don't you go take a nap? Yes. And we'll drive the ship to Pleasure Island. All right. Wendy, Wendy, I gotta talk to Peter. you. Peter. Okay. Look, it just seems like we can't escape our past, no matter where we go. Okay. <laughs> yes. We have so much history together. That is true. I'm actually trying to talk about something else here <laughs> for the first time ever. In the form of six or maybe seven grubby children, our history keeps coming back to us. This is specific to our backstory and okay. not the other fairy tale characters on this cruise's backstory, and that is convenient because I have read up on it. What do you need to tell but, me? Okay. The Beast is not telling the whole truth. Uh, he was surprised by the fact that um, his wife was sleeping with the beast, but uh, he Captain he Hook. You, uh, that sorry yeah. yeah is what I meant. I know it's He's hard. I know it's hard for you to imagine Captain Hook with other people. I I don't like. <laughs> it. I know you have I a weird. Don't care for that. Okay. Thing with him. I really don't like it when people pay attention to people who aren't me, but. It's not I about know. that. I'm just okay. saying he knows and he's gonna do something bad, and I think he wants to go to Pleasure Island to do it, and. Uh, I, he's like he didn't know about the affair, but he knew other stuff. And I don't think he's up to anything good, and we should be ready. Well, but why would he be trying to get us specifically? I mean, I mean, maybe he's not. Maybe we're just like on his ship. I really like but... the idea of Pleasure Islands. <laughs> it's something in the Look, name. Wendy... I don't know what it is. It just sounds like. Guys, Wendy, Good. Peter, I think you have a lot to work out with each other. I just want you to know that I am a licensed therapist. <laughs> <laughs> and I would be happy no, at I'm any trying. point. She's always doing this. She's always doing this. She's always doing this. She's always saying these things to me. And it just it makes me feel bad. Peter, I think you just need to I think you just need to talk on even terms in the same room together, and I think we can work through this. Maybe on Pleasure Island. Okay, look, <laughs> I look, like the idea of Pleasure Island. I think that we should not go to Pleasure Island. As much as I love pleasure Let's and also islands. Might I jump in here and say you came from a land called Neverland. Pleasure Island might also be named Always Land. And so you had a shitty experience another place, perhaps a differently named place might have a different experience for you. She's clearly a therapist too. Uh, Gold Goldilocks goes to look for a popcorn maker and maybe some other drinks on the ship just to watch. <laughs> I the unstitch uh, a pouch that I keep on my belly, which is where I store my ten days worth of rations that I carry with me. <laughs> I go like, it's kind of covered in like moldy old straw, but if you guys are hungry, I got all these rations. Do you have popcorn? Yeah. <laughs> I go sit next to. You. Okay, as you all sit down to dine in this. Out of my stomach. Yes. <laughs> as he, so as the he's right now? feeding, the beast is taking a, a rest in the captain's quarters. You guys are all on deck with the boys. Uh, Scarecrow is pulling food out of his chest and feeding it to you and to the boys. Everyone's taking a nice break and relaxing. The sun is slowly setting in the horizon. You guys have figured out the general direction of, of where to go um, using the bits of maps and also Beast's knowledge of the seas and being there before. He, sa he said before he uh, took a nap that it would take maybe 10 or 12 hours to, uh, to get there. And uh, so as night fades on the ship, uh, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Stay tuned can at the I, break for yes, yes. You I want to go. I want to go lie down next to the beast to take mine up there. Okay, great. Um, uh, stay tuned in the break. There's going to be a giveaway, so uh, so watch that. You guys will all go outside and have a little beverage or whatever. We'll be back in five or ten minutes with more fun on the high seas. Hooray! Yes! Get the PS4 Pro Bundle. PlayStation. Hey, Critters. As always, thanks for supporting our shows. It's time to give away my wood for the week. This week's gift from our friends at Wormwood Gaming is this. Poisonwood Personal Dice Tray. And the code word is fairy tale. Remember, only to type it once or you will be disqualified. Forever banned. Just kidding. Good luck. Congrats to the winner of my wood. Thanks for watching and stay turnt, my friends. <laughs> mm. Okay, if you're receiving this, I'm in the apocalypse. 
and you're watching Thrashtopia! Thrashtopia is the only show in the wasteland that has Whitney, weird technology, advanced AI friendships, incredible sound effects, very special or very scary guests, heavy metal, cool art, your past coming back to haunt you, apocalyptic educational videos, and uh, a lot of other cool stuff. <laughs> Whitney! Remember that talking to a camera is not an appropriate substitute for real human interaction. While talking to a camera may feel like speaking to an actual person, in reality, you are alone. 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 I know, but you had such a good run. You should be really proud. Oh, thanks for everything, Danny. You're welcome. I'll see you later. Well, I guess I could take this off now. How long have you had that thing on? I don't know, like eight months? Where have you been? I was in the Nine Hells. I was being chased by hellhounds and, and pit fiends. The Night Hags. They still haunt me. Oh, you're back now. I missed the critical role finale. Yeah. Oh, finale went great. I'll show you the video yeah. later. How? Matbot. Matbot? Beep, bop, boop, boop. How would you like to accomplish this thing? Everything's uh, fine. Fine. I missed my wedding. Uh, oh my god, Marisha's gonna kill me. No, one of the Matbots filled in. It was pretty great, actually. I'll show you the pictures later. Matt bots? Matt, Matt bots? Beep bop, beep boop bop. How do you want to do this? Everything's okay. Do you know what this means? <laughs> My life is ruined. No, we can do the best GM tips ever. You and me hosting, oh, it's gonna be amazing. Oh! <laughs> From Burbank, California, it's GM Tips Live with Matthew Mercer and Satine Phoenix with Amy Vorpal, Ivan Van Norman, Jason Charles Miller, Dr. Megan Connell, Luke Gygax, TJ Storr, Rudy Rutenberg, and your hosts, Satine Phoenix and Matthew Mercer. tea leaves, sharpen that katana, and prepare your defenses. I'm Becca Scott, and this is How to Play Legend of the Five Rings, the card game. This two-player living card game by Fantasy Flight Games pits two feudal clans against one another in a military and political fight for honor! We'll be playing with the base decks today. Their card rosters are listed on page six of the rule book. No chewing on the rule book. Uh, your dog might eat it. It's the lion clan versus the crane clan. That's a crane. First off, setup. In the player's play area, we have a dynasty deck set to the left, a conflict deck set to the right, and a starter deck made up of five provinces and one stronghold. The player chooses which province to place their stronghold on top of and slides them both above the dynasty deck. The four remaining provinces go between the two other decks face down. Lastly, we have the honor dial and the honor pool, made up of the starting honor listed on the stronghold card. 
The first player is determined randomly and takes the first player token. The other player gains one fate from the fate pool. There you go, kid. Next, players place one card from their dynasty deck face down on each of their four empty provinces. Then they draw a starting hand of four cards from their conflict deck. Special note, after placing dynasty cards and drawing the starting hand, players each get one chance to mulligan any cards they don't want. After drawing to replace them, the discarded cards are then shuffled back into their decks. Gameplay occurs over a series of rounds made up of five amazing phases. We've got dynasty, draw, conflict, fate, and regroup phases. The dynasty phase. Players, in turn order, reveal the face down cards on their provinces, which are not in play yet. Next, players collect their fate, the main resource of the game, equal to the fate value on their stronghold card. Still in turn order, players may alternate opportunities to either play character cards from their provinces, trigger in-play card abilities, or pass. The first player to pass gains one fate and forfeits their opportunity to act for the rest of the phase. But you still got that sweet, sweet extra fate. To play a character card, the controlling player spins fate equal to the card's cost, located on the top left. That card is then moved to the player's home area in front of their provinces. This character is now in play and ready. A ready character is placed vertically, while a bowed character is turned sideways and considered used for the round. After a character is played, its controller has the option to place any number of fate tokens from their pool onto that character, which will keep them in play longer. Once the controller decides that, the empty province is refilled by a card from the dynasty deck Face down. Both players have passed on these actions. It's time for the draw phase, which represents the scheming and plotting of the clans. First, players secretly select a number between one and five on their honor dial, and then players reveal their selection, and whomever chooses the highest number gives their opponent a number of honor tokens equal to the difference. A tie means no honor is exchanged. Finally, each player draws conflict cards equal to their honor dial selection. Yeah, this is what plotting gets me. One thing to note, if a player's dynasty or conflict decks ever run out, they lose five honor. And then they shuffle the corresponding piles into a new deck. Next up, the conflict phase. Each player gets the opportunity to declare and resolve two conflicts in alternating turns beginning with the first player. Each conflict is identified in two ways, by element and type of conflict. The element chosen from the five options of water, air, earth, fire, and void determines the ring effect, which I'll explain in due time. The type of conflict can be either military, shown in a character card in red, or political, shown in blue. To declare a conflict, the attacking player declares the type and element, then takes an unclaimed ring token of the element type and places it on an opponent's province. A player cannot declare an element if that ring type isn't available. Then the player selects which of their ready and in-play character cards is going to participate in the conflict by sliding them forward. Next, the defending player declares which of their ready characters is assigned to defend in the conflict. The defender can choose not to defend if they wish, saving their character for the next conflict. Players then take turns using action abilities and conflict cards to gain the upper hand. Starting with the defender, each player may alternate actions, including passing, until both players have passed consecutively. Action opportunities include playing a character or attachment card from their hand by paying the card's fate cost. Characters come into play ready and attachments latch onto characters, providing bonuses and additional abilities. They may also activate an action on a card in play, whether it's a character, attachment, or from a province. They can also play an event card from their hand by paying the card's fate cost. Lastly, they can pass, and if their opponent takes further actions, that player can still re-enter the sequence later. Once both players pass consecutively, the conflict resolves. Add up the total applicable skill value for all characters involved in the conflict. The player with the highest total wins, with ties above zero going to the attacker. They may resolve the ring effect of their chosen element, and each player bows all participating characters. If the attacker wins the conflict by a number of skill points equal to or greater than the province's strength, the province is broken. Broken provinces are turned 180 degrees and their abilities can no longer be used. 
The attacker may also choose to discard the dynasty card on that province, which the defender then refills. Once both players have initiated their conflicts, the phase ends with the Imperial Favor Contest. Each player counts the total amount of glory on the ready characters they control and adds the number of claimed rings on their side. The player with the highest total claims or keeps the Imperial Favor card and can choose which side is displayed, military or political, on their play area to provide a plus one bonus for that type of conflict in the next round. Next, the Fate Phase, where players remove a Fate token from each of their characters. If a card has no tokens to remove, that character is discarded to the appropriate pile along with any attachments. Additionally, each unclaimed ring receives one Fate token, and if a player selects that ring in a future conflict, they reap the bonus Fate Reward! The Final Phase, Regroup. Ready all cards out of their bowed positions and return all rings to the unclaimed ring pool. Players may optionally discard any unwanted cards off of their provinces and replace them from their dynasty deck. However, any cards on broken provinces must be discarded. Finally, the first player token passes to the opposite player and the round begins anew. The first player to break their opponent's stronghold province wins. Additionally, if a player accrues 25 honor or forces their opponent to run out of honor, they win. And that's Legend of the Five Rings. These starter decks are only the beginning. The game includes dozens of extra cards and three other clans, so you can custom build your winning deck. If you want to watch me play this game and other awesome games live, you can watch Game the Game on twitch.tv slash geekandsundry or projectalpha.com. Until next time, I'm Becca Scott. Keep playing games.
that's our show, everybody. Yay. Thanks for joining us. I just liked it when H like died at, like epically, oh, you know, yeah. like sacrifice. Yeah. It was really tragic. <laughs> yeah, I it thought it was a powerful moment. story. Yeah. 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 I'm so glad we got to be there for that. And event. that everyone got to see it. Yeah. Um, welcome back to the second half of the show. I'm Sam Regal, your host for this special Critical Role one shot with yes, fabulously funny guests. <laughs> Well, keep in mind tonight our sponsor is Star Wars Battlefront 2, available tomorrow on all sorts of platforms. And there was a winner in chat. What? Who was it? Senzu Effect <gasps> is the winner. Congratulations, Senzu Effect. That is literally the Senzu Effect. You, you win all the peppers. You won. What do you get? Like, like what? I don't know what kind, but like one of these things. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, these are. Wormwood. They got Wormwood. a little magnetic thing so in it. I like that. Roll. Roll. I didn't even realize these were in here. We, <laughs> what have you been using? Hey guys, do you know that the, oh, who opened shit. these things? It's, Open yeah. the. Yeah, they, no, they, I didn't they realize know. that either. Look, you have more I figured guys, out right we totally away. think this, this is not part of the thing. I literally was I, like, oh, look, and then there's stuff in here. I'm start Wormwood Gaming. Wormwood. Okay. As you guys had, uh, as we as we last left, you were you were on the Jolly Roger ship sailing into the horizon, looking for Pleasure Island. Um, you had just faced a gang of pirate children, the Lost Boys, defeated and restrained them, and uh, you were eating some food out of Scarecrow's chest, resting as uh, as the sun <laughs> faded into nighttime. Um, the stars peeking through the clouds overhead are just enough to keep the ship on its path to Pleasure Island. An hour goes by, two. A sense of boredom eventually creeps over the ship. Finally, the beast has, has risen from his nap and addresses you all and uh, says, friends, please, I, I must apologize for how I behaved earlier. It just came as a shock to me to find out that my my wife was dead and that she was cheating on me with Captain Hook. So it, it, I took a hit, but I'm, I'm okay now, and I appreciate, appreciate you all being there for me. I mean, you're, you're allowed to still be sad for a bit. Well, I'm, I'm in yeah, a quick turnaround. Yes, yes, I'm not a hundred. It was a short rest. <laughs> I'm not a hundo percent yet, but. <laughs> Perhaps you, d uh, may I advise you not to jump right back into a relationship? Are you? Are uh, you? <laughs> I got a little Scottish in your history there. Don't you the Queen of Hearts? <laughs> May I ask you all a, a, a rather strange question? Yes, please. By all means. The stra I love the strange questions. I, 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 will you humor me? I'm, I'm having doubts, everyone. I'm starting to think that, that love is a lie and I could use a little bit of a boost. Like a hand job? No, not like a hand job. Uh, I have mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> I also have mage hand. So oh my god! I, 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 have, I have two dicks, this is great! You can literally tear a seam and fuck me anywhere. <laughs> oh god! Oh my god. <laughs> Just saying, I'm not saying you're allowed to, I'm just saying it's an option. <laughs> Consent. Consent. Yeah. While, we sail, while we sail to Pleasure Island, before we take our rest for the <laughs> evening, could you please help me pass the time and get my mind off of things by proving me wrong, by proving that love still does have a chance? Back on the SS public domain right about now, we would all be playing this this silly dating quiz game that I invented, it would warm my heart <laughs> if you would let me guide you through it here and give me a sense of normalcy. I don't think a bunch of people from a singles cruise are the right people to show you that love is true. Yeah, Just, we, we but came you here because we believed I in you. Disagree. I disagree. Yeah, we should I find like an so old much couple. Love. I feel like I would be in love with any of these people right now. I am so ready to play your game, Beast. Yeah, but like mostly her, right? His arm a little bit. <laughs> oh. Like, I want to start kind of like, you know, soothing the beast a bit. Yourself? Yeah, The yeah, beast definitely know. responds to the petting mm -hmm. and gives you a little bit of a purr yeah. and oh, says, thank you, this. thank you, you for let, understanding. Let go, man. You, you've had a hard day. And I kind of scratch behind his ears a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's right, buddy. That's it's nice. okay. That's really it's nice. It's okay. You're among friends now. Do you just flirt with everybody? Yes. Look, we're on the high seas. Like, who knows I mean, what tomorrow might bring? Love. YOLO, yeah. man. Mm. Hey, YOLO. that was my phrase when I wanted to start. Okay. The yeah. SS YOLO. And yes, I do flirt with everybody. So, come on, enough with the judgment. Enough with the judgment. I keep scratching. 
I, <laughs> while making I love eye contact. This. I, could, I, could li I could feel this all night. This is really good. Yeah. But what do you, what do you say? Just to pass the time? I'm into the okay. quiz. Sure, sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right, here's, some, here's the rules. I'll ask a question about one of the ladies, which the gentleman, Peter Pan, I'm including you in that, can buzz in to answer. You can go either way. <clears throat> then I'll switch and ask the ladies a question about the men. Points will be awarded. The winner gets to pick a companion to spend seven minutes in heaven with. <laughs> in the romance lounge. Oh, we don't have that on this ship. <laughs> um, in the galley. We'll say yeah. in the galley of it's the, the ship. It's the torture yeah, lounge. Good. Yes. <laughs> Very so, are you ready to play? <laughs> Does it, it doesn't have to it's be. Doesn't have to be. Fair. I guess well, you I can mean, choose anyone. Mm -hmm. yes. Can you choose someone of this? I have two options who are male right now. Uh, well, we'll see if you win the quiz first before right. we get into your gender Let's preference. Do it. Uh, and uh, we are gender blind on this on mm -hmm. this cruise line. It's uh, anything goes, That's right? Progressive, very obvious. bisexual situation. Sure, going on. species, oh, whatever. I prefer Never. to think of myself as pansexual. Okay. Oh, oh wow. everybody, good night. Thank you. <laughs> he means that's that's only about himself. Oh, that yeah, is that, also yeah, true. Yeah, okay. That is actually. Uh, the real I'm going to give you a uh, an inspiration die bonus for that. So <laughs> you. on your next roll, you can add a. A, you can good. add a D6 to you your next it. roll. Yeah, you earned it. <laughs> Pun, yeah. Puns will be <laughs> rewarded here. Now that All right, men, on. gentlemen, that's the Hatter Peter. Call me Peter Pun. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to take away part. that die. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> uh, Scarecrow. <clears throat> Based on your previous answers, which lady described her last relationship as a summer fling with a mermaid? Anyone care to buzz in? Oh, anyone? I thought it was scary. Only the men can buzz in. One oh, of the men. Oh, yes. Wendy. She she fucked a mermaid while we were still dating. It Co was really, correct. really One heartbreaking point for, for me. Peter I Pan. love mermaids. What can I say? I also love mermaids, but only I am allowed to date the mermaids. Are there any small mermen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mermaids are the mermen? big ones. <laughs> <laughs> mermen are actually very small, and they just attach to their sides. <laughs> Wendy 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 looks over the side of the boat to see if she can spot any mermaids. <laughs> All right, stop, okay? I get Wendy. it. Wendy. <laughs> Clean up Goldie. the mermaids. Queenie. Oh. <clears throat> this question is for you. Someone buzz in. Which gentleman listed as his pet peeve, clocks. Vic, talk. Uh, Goldie buzzed in first. I'd say Hatter. Correct, one right. point for Goldie Locks. Men, the question was, what's the strangest place, where's the strangest place you've ever made love? Her answer was, in some random guy's house in the woods because breaking and entering is hot. Hey, Dink. Peter buzzed in first. Uh, did I? Okay. Well, you hit something first. I did. I hit something. Yeah. Uh, Goldilocks, I think. Correct. Loves Peter Pan with two points. <laughs> Ladies, which fella says that he only ever wears some leaves to bed? Wendy. I mean, we all know. It's Peter. <laughs> we know. It's obvious. <laughs> Men, which lady fantasizes about marrying a man so she can own more land? <laughs> Scare. The queen of my day. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you actually said that. Yeah, that's what he said. He's, ladies. He's got a vibe. Ladies, which bachelor said his goal was to find a monogamous relationship, but only monogamous for them, not for me? <laughs> I mean, it's Peter. Peter it's Pan Peter. again! <laughs> you seem to know Peter very know well. This, this person very well. Wow. Well, maybe I, there's I, more I, to explore there. The Wendy. thing is, if it, it only, whatever. Uh, men, which lady described her sex life as not hot, not cold, just tepid? Oh, had her. That would be Goldilocks again. Correct! Oh, what can I say? <laughs> We've got the scarecrow with two points, right? No, one point, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Hatter with seven points. Peter's got two points. Wendy's got two. Or Just four. Four. Shit, I've miscounted yeah. the points. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Wendy's got two. Yeah, I feel like Don't Wendy worry, has Sammy, we'll get to the end. One. Couple more questions. Couple more questions. <laughs> we, we got this. Women, which gentleman said his last relationship was being married to an ocelot? To the, uh, the, uh, the ocelot? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. From my guys, I hit this one, that one. You lose, lose a point, oh, Goldilocks. Oh, yeah. oh, ping wow. pong. An ocelot until he found out his spouse was cheating on him with a shark. Peter Pan. Incorrect. Oh, I got it. Sounds like something I would do. Yes, Goldie. <laughs> um, Hatter. Correct, you yes, got a point back. Like literally animals. Okay. <laughs> Fellas, which lady's ideal mate is someone magical 
or several magical someones at the same time. Oh. Wendy, what? you are on fire. I can't. Okay. Look, Wendy is I, into I the know, kinky shit. Because I came home several times in my leaf bed. There was stuff happening. And it was Three more questions, guys. I can't deny that. Ladies, which man said the strangest place they'd ever made love was, and I quote, there was a local munchkin who used to come to my, <laughs> who used to come to my cornfield and suck me off. <laughs> Does that, that count? Kind of <laughs> Goldilocks. Go what you got, Goldie? I think it's Scarecrow. I'm just gonna say Correct. <laughs> Scarecrow. Boys, which girl's ideal I mean, mate? Even though I'm not gonna win this, I feel like I just won. <laughs> I feel like I just did too. Boys, which girl's ideal mate is? A small man. Oh, <laughs> it's the queen of my balls. <laughs> and finally, ladies, which gentleman goes to sleep wearing a wooden pole up his ass? The crazy hunter? No! Oh, wait, no, no! I appreciate that. Goldie. Scarecrow. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh my god. I think I won, or at least tied for two or three. Wendy with Darling is the winner of our quiz. At least that's what I wrote down. <laughs> kind of got lost in the middle, not going to lie. Oh my god. Wendy. I think we tied. Wendy, you get to probably did. You probably did. So as ties, we'll say you tied, would you both like to go spend seven minutes in heaven, or would you like to pick different partners to go with you? Wait, there's only one galley. <laughs> right? There's a there's an ice there's an ice there's an ice room in the back that they can all see. So wait, I each of us gets to Did you pick tie? Anyone How many points here? did you have? Three. Okay, you both tied. So if you'd like to, I'll I'll let the lady go first. Wendy, you can pick a mate to ask to join you. They do not have to say yes. Come on. I think we have some stuff to talk about. Yeah, we got some stuff to talk about. I think Come you should on. bring your therapist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to bring our therapist? We you should, should bring join our us. Therapist. You want to join us? I think I think, you need, I, I think you need a therapist. With our therapist. All right, the beast escorts you to the galley and a candlelit ki a kitchen with sticky floors that smells of rotten milk. In no world would it ever be romantic. Oh, there are pots hanging from the ceilings, grease stains on the walls. He leaves you there in Ooh. peace. Ooh. I like sweep all of the like bottles and cans off the like table mm -hmm. with my arm. Is here. I know. Wait, exactly. the Hatter's with you? We have, yeah, we yeah, have. Yeah, we brought. Okay, brought there's a little there. man standing in the corner watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I just clear them. I don't do anything after that. I just okay. clear them. Sure. No, wait, you like, don't. Okay. You, okay. You're just clearing. Yeah, I just clear them just in case, you know. Peter, why don't you begin? Why don't you tell us how you're feeling? I'm feeling like. Number one, really scared of going to Pleasure Island because mm -hmm. I still don't trust the beast. I, I am, I am scared. Of, I'm, I'm scared of letting myself feel pleasure because of what that might mean. Like, mm -hmm. what do you think that says about me? How does that make you feel, Wendy? I think it's just you're just all wrapped up in your own, your own thing. Okay, just look. think about someone else for one minute. All the rest of us want to go to Pleasure Islands. I think that this all has something to do with my core wound, uh, and mm -hmm. I think that Very I really good. just Very good. not having a mother like me. I, I I think that I just really really need some stability in my life, you know. And and like you took that away from me, and what the hell? <laughs> did, did Wendy take that away from you, or did, did you take that away from yourself? It was that, Wendy. That one. No, it, that one. Wendy was the one no, who did it. No, listen to our therapist. I. Well, he said both things. He Listen didn't just to our say very one. good therapist. <laughs> he said both things, and I chose one. But always when they say two things in that way, the second thing is always the right Is that answer. true? I mean, this is the yes, first time I've been That is the therapy. rhetorical pattern. When do you get to sleep with a the therapist? I don't understand. I don't understand. You'll, under you'll get to sleep with a the therapist at, in like minute six of our seven minutes oh, in heaven, don't how worry. How many minutes in are we at? We're are we rolling there. initiative right now? We're almost <laughs> I just wish that you would grow up a little bit because we have so much past and we have such good chemistry and like we could have a really lovely relationship, but you always act like a child. Outside the door, Literally. I've taken a piece of straw and I've slipped it in the door and then I've frilled out the end of it to create like a little speakerphone. 
And I've invited wow. the two ladies to lean in and listen in. Wow. Oh, it is a very that, intense. Yeah, so rolling. A, a Be Nelly Beast is also you. there. <laughs> they were all listening. I think they're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beast knocks on the door and says, All right, six minutes left. <laughs> we could have sex like. Thirteen times right now. Oh wow! That's quick. Whoa. Just kidding. One minute left. Try to <laughs> wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Oh, all right. Wow. Okay, I gotta fit thirteen times into one minute. Right. Okay, guys. All we right, we can either we can either spend our last minute fucking, or <laughs> we could try to deal with your problems at the core. I grab the hatter and I kiss him on the mouth. Oh! <laughs> do you resist? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The kiss is Wendy, long. Wendy, this is what you've done to me. And All I right. kiss him again. The, the, <laughs> the wayfish Peter Pan grabs the tiny, <laughs> weird-looking halfling hatter and plants a long, hard kiss oh on him. He does not resist. Instead, he wraps his arms around Peter's uh, waist and brings him in closer. Tongues are slipped. Mm. It goes on for an uncomfortable 12 <laughs> seconds and then breaks. Uh. Wendy, how does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> like, slightly aroused in a weird way that I don't maybe want to address. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, fuck it. And I kiss the Hatter as well. Oh, do you resist? <laughs> no! Oh, yes. Uh, all right, another <laughs> equally long kiss. Uh, all right, okay, Descends into some light necking and it. ear nibbling. Uh, Wendy is taller uh, than the Hatter, so she has to scoop down yeah, to get, get to it. About 12 feet. Listening in, I, I just go, <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. So Should we also all be making out? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I grapple him. <laughs> grapple him? Yes. I, okay, roll, yeah, that roll an attack. Wow. Okay. And I Ooh. have a feat that makes me, I can restrain you if I'm grappling you. So this is... I'm just posing. Well, as she's doing this, I go, I'm just posing a question! <laughs> okay, not bad. A 12. Uh, I think, uh, roll a strength check, a strength save. Okay, I strength guess. save. I don't know. Well, Three. No, <laughs> you definitely grab him and okay. can do with him as you please. Okay, I um, uh, so he he just said, it, should we be, all be making out? And I am, I think a little thirsty. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I I like basically just kind of um, take my big big uh, muscly arm and I put her and I almost close my arm. It's like this. Go, go. And I and I just and I like awkwardly place myself on top of him, and 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 that's that's what it is. I I I'm not very experienced in this, oh but my arms are running around. Hold on, hold on. And I just gather up some fabric and I tie it off <laughs> with a bit of twine to create sort of a. Sort of a phallus? Sort of a phallus. Yeah, because he's, he, he's, he's just there. straw. There's what nothing down there. I just gather it up and just, like, the, sort of, like, the beast it with. Hell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Goldilocks turns to Beast and says, is this what you wanted? No, no, this is not what I wanted. This is an exploration of love. Please, please, please we don't. I, I look as scared as this. <laughs> <laughs> queen, Queen, I admire your romantic instincts, but now is not the time or place no, to force you. What are you doing, man? I, I, I'm just, I'm uncomfortable. There's other people in the room. This is, I'm trying to create a safe space here. Oh, oh it's, I'm so if sorry. You, if you guys want to pursue this, I'm not going to stop you, but please find a stateroom somewhere to do this in private, is please. This, this, this isn't what you meant. I need to feminize. I am I... so on board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Why don't you retire? You guys can take the captain's quarters if you'd like, but I, not right here. We're at the bottom of... Of, of a, a foot of stairs next to a kitchen, and we're all watching okay. you. It's kind of gross. At that moment, like I, when when he gets all intense, I just go, oh, oh, and I just roll off him, and I oh take, god, and I, big, <laughs> and I have a big sigh. Did you? Wow, that's all you needed. Oh boy. Wait, not a family show. <laughs> oh god. I just give the bees a look. Like, <laughs> is that a magic spell? All right, ma'am. And then I just head to the end of the ship. Sorry, I'm, I didn't no, no, know. No, no. I'm hey, sorry. Hey, I hope that really, uh, really like renewed your your belief in love. Is that what you were looking for? I was, but that d did not come anywhere close to renewing my. And then I go, I go. I'm glad. <laughs> and then I just, I just book it. The beast starts crying again. <laughs> it did come close though. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, thank you for humoring me, I guess. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, you're still in the galley. And actually, if you can all, everyone in the galley, can you roll a perception check real oh, quick? Oh, boy. Us? Yes. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, six. Fifteen. Six. Okay. You find I'm sorry, watching four. them. Sorry, four. <laughs> We're making out. As you watch them make out, you see, you notice behind them there is something up on a shelf that was too high for the Lost Boys to find. Um, it's tucked away on a back shelf. It mm. seems like a little vial of potion or something. You grab it down. So, like, when you do that, I sort of, like, push the hatter off me, and I'm just like, this is like, you're always distracted. I don't know. You're just always, if it's not about you, you just can't be engaged with anything. Hey, I was just, I was this just what looking I'm around. About. I found some, and I want to kind of palm this potion and then reach for the next thing on the shelf and just be like, Fruit Loops. I found some Fruit Loops. I got hungry, okay? You guys were making out for so long. <sighs> Look, I don't know how to cook for myself. I I need Fruit Loops. Uh, Wendy, as you, as you see uh, the box of stale cereal, you also see something tucked behind it a little bit shiny. Uh, you, you have this item now. Okay. Well, I'm taking this thing. Oh, all right, whatever. I grab a whole sword. Uh-huh. <gasps> I want a sword. Yep. <laughs> Feel free to use it I whenever. I reach onto the shelf again to see if there's anything else out there. I look there. at the sword. Does it do anything? Uh, if you would like to, uh, you can try to use it for something. Sure, you get this too. <gasps> oh <my God. laughs> a lot in this kitchen. I, I would nice. look up on the shelf, but I'm taking notes from our session to make oh. sure that uh, for our next session I oh, can. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you read your item just so we know what it does? Yes, I have a normal longsword, except the spirit of Amy Vorpal is inside it, and she it's talks an, to me. It's an Amy Vorpal sword. Oh, <laughs> well, that was a long time coming. <laughs> Am I wrong? It's a sword. Really? It's a poem. Oh, um, sure. Yeah. Uh, but this sword yeah. is just a, it's just a normal sword, but Amy Vorpal talks to you. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Great. What does I she look say? look at the sword. Hey, man, what's up? I, I think I, you're, you want to be friends, like, I think you're really cool. Yeah. We have the same, we have the same haircut, so. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to make out? Uh, me as like me? I don't know. I mean, no. I, you know me. I'll kiss anything. Okay. Yeah. The fourth wall kiss is being broken. Ow! <laughs> I cut my lip. Okay, oh, one hit point gone. <laughs> you, you're the best. I thought that would work out better. I'm just trying to make this asshole jealous. Oh, I, I uh, turn you so you can see it. Amy Vorpal, I know, gets it. She gets it. Yeah, kissing can be painful sometimes. Sometimes it hurts. Yeah, man. Sometimes your heart. Sometimes your face. Uh, <laughs> the, ni- the night stretches on, um, and everyone starts to feel tired and, and finds places to curl up for okay. uh, a night's slumber. Does anyone else want to do anything before you guys go to sleep for the night? I'll t- I'm going to talk to Goldilocks. Okay. Do, if I get if I get an item that's clothing, do I have to equip it, or is it just now part of? The... Yeah, you can you can put it on. Um, I put on my suspenders of disbelief. Cool. Do you? Where did you get clothing? <laughs> what, what is this? Just... Suspenders of disbelief yes, is a totally thing that totally I just made up. That's very good. Is there is it a Thursday with disbelief? Frank and Gonus's Tumblr blog. Is it? It actually is. Oh god, That's I should know that. Huh? This is a very specific DSS thing public to domain. us and to you. <laughs> Other people. Wow. It's fine. Um, so you are now wearing colorful rainbow suspenders over your burlap sack clothing. Wait, does that just mean like he Robin Williams? In, does that mean he believes no, in love No, you don't lasts? know what it does, but he knows what it does, and that's all you need to know. Okay. <laughs> Disbelief, though. Okay. 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 Yes, yeah. I walked up to you and I. Oh, Goldilocks, you seem to have it all figured out. Excuse me? Uh, You know, sometimes. Well, I I just, you know, I I think I'm coming on a bit intense, and maybe you had some advice for me. Yeah, because you got a starched collar, but that's okay. You just need to, like, let your hair, your crown's already a little wonky. It's cool. Just, like, put it to the side, be like, fun party girl, and Mm. then uh, you'll be okay. You, You like what you like. I do, but I don't know if it's suiting me well. I like the the tiny men and, and... You know, I say to each their own. If you know what you love and as long but as But how you... can I be more attractive to the small? <laughs> she is really oh. Oh, oh, singularly oh, oh. Well, focused. <laughs> I get it, I get it. There's a lot of things that you can do. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do. Name one. Well, you can, uh, you can just play, flirt. Hmm. Play and flirt and be willing to, be willing to be 
a wonderful, tall, stately woman that you are, and also get down on their level and do whatever you desire. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> if you boop me again, I will choke you, but okay. <laughs> That's it. That's my flirting style. I have a lot to think about. I'm going to do it. In bed. <laughs> all right, yeah, you I'm all going find. To, like, put all the lost boys to bed. Very brutal. Oh, I forgot about them. them. Do you... and I'm going to. I'm going to make sure the queen does not come anywhere near them. And do you, just... do you read sing... them a bedtime story? No, I fucking don't. <laughs> They're I sing, begging I for sing it. Them a lullaby, they love that's what you. I do. They you love sing them a lullaby because you almost murdered one. Right, I feel bad, so I sing them a lullaby. Thank you so much. Piece of shit. That's what I yell. At Thank them. you so much, kind sir. I. Uh, Papa. No. I speak over to the scarecrow before he falls asleep. Sure. Or reach my I'm hands. not sure he sleeps. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just staring at the ocean. <laughs> so I surreptitiously sneak my hands into his uh, uh, canteen of food and I'm trying to Okay, find roll some a chocolate. sleight of hand oh. check. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> canteen of food. It's his stomach. He's got, <laughs> it he's got, his stomach. It's in his body. Chocolate. Vorps We're show her where sleight of hand is. 16 plus. Oh. Negative one. Okay. Oh. So okay. 15. Um, roll a perception check. 20? Yes. With advantage, so that means you can roll twice and take the better roll because it's your fucking chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 16 plus 2, 18. You definitely feel her re reaching into your chest cavity. And I pull out some dark chocolate. Well, no, I, I feel her, so I, I, I grab her hand and I go like, if you want a snack, you're going to have to go in through the butt. <laughs> <laughs> can I fight him? Can you what him? Fight? Bite him? Fight! Fight! Oh, can I attack? What him? You can attack him, I'm sure. I'm going to attack him with a shock and grasp. What? Okay, go ahead and uh, what's Not your... Not through that way? You have a spell DC. Wait, no, that's a melee attack. I, I believe, because yeah. you have to touch him. Roll a d20, yeah. add your spell attack modifier of Oracle Helper. It's a 14 plus three, so you're, I'm at 17. His AC is lower than that. Yes, you definitely hit. So I roll. shock and take the chocolate and run away. Roll, roll, uh, roll a damage roll, roll a whatever, one D, I think it's 1D6 or something for the, sh the shock one thing. 1D8, uh, actually. 1D8, okay. I need, I need to borrow a D8 because my D8 gives twos. Uh, <laughs> good call. Fine. Thank you. Seven. Nice. Seven. Nice. Okay, you are you are stunned for a second as a bolt of electricity shoots from her hand into your arm and up up into your neck. You kind of spasm out for a second. She grabs your chocolate out of chocolate. your chest. I guess. If do you have chocolate in there? Yeah. yeah. No, it's all popcorn and shit. It's dry goods. I don't have anything that's gonna melt in my chest. So you get like some gorp. <laughs> And you and, and you and you use your movement to dart away. Oh my god! You can chase after her. Do I do? I do, do I, am I dealt seven points of damage? Yes. 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 Okay. Just for having gore. My snack. It's the. Okay. You didn't have to be this way. Well, seven. I run away eating this and yelling at him. It's it could very, have been different. It's a very small boat. So I just, after I recover, I walk over and I go, what the actual fuck? I was feeding you two hours ago. I'm hungry. And it's been a really- Then fucking ask me, you crazy asshole. It's been a really stressful trip. Oh, I that's a great idea. To, no. That's a great reason to reach inside my fucking I, chest cavity I, for granola. You know what I came on this boat for? was because I haven't been hugged by someone in two years. Oh. And you know what? My physical touch I is so off. needed. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I, use I, a straw point to attack four times. <laughs> what? He's a I'm monk, these use are my, key points. I'm gonna use my fit, I'm gonna use my fist attack. <laughs> Does that give me advantage as well? That's like hugging. Uh, no, you don't get advantage. It's a okay, sneak attack gonna... round. What does that do? Molly, what does a sneak attack round do? Oh, I think. Does he get advantage on it? No. You might get advantage. Sure, advantage on your first attack. Oh, okay. On my first attack? Sure. Double for, for double damage? Just, for, okay. just advantage. So you roll twice to see if you hit the first time. So for my, uh, for my attack, <laughs> let's see, so. No, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused. So, so Roll that twice. Take the bigger, the bigger one. 
for to just see whether I hit or to see. To we see whether you hit. Yeah, that was this a 16, is just, and oh. that's a 14. So okay, 16. so you definitely hit her. Okay. <laughs> um, roll for damage. All right. And then I use the d4. Is that right? D, uh, uh, yeah, right. Yes, for an unarmed strike, d4. Okay. Plus two, I think. So I get double damage for the first one? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, I got a one. Okay, so, so that's three. Two so plus that's two is, six. So. Fist plus five? Is that right? No, uh, it's after that. I think it's a one d four plus two. So you've gotten three. You've gotten six points of damage so far. You can take three more attacks. Yeah, I'm doing oh it. Oh my god. Uh, no, you have to roll that d twenty three more times oh, to see if you to hit, see if each I hit each time. Oh, yes. I understand. Okay, sorry. Okay, eleven plus. Uh, that's not gonna hit. Okay, that's not gonna hit. Wait, hurry! I see sixteen. Yeah. You have a plus five to hit or plus four. Uh, no, I'll help. Help me. What's he rolling with? Uh, uh, unarmed strike. Unarmed so strike plus five. Plus five. So you do hit. Yes, that hits. Okay, great. <laughs> what that time is helpful. it? It's 11.30 p.m. So we're still on the same day yes. of yeah. our actions yes. from the fighting? Yes, correct. So six plus two is oh, eight damage. Yeah, sure. And then I roll the 14 for the next one. So I hit on that this, hits, so that's 19. Yeah. Yep. Roll for damage. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she, she attacks me. So two plus... Uh, two plus two is another four. So, so what is that? Four. Yep, that's it. Just four. four. So I'm at fourteen. You're at eighteen right now, is <laughs> according to what you've been telling me. Yeah. Keep I think going. I'm at fourteen. Okay, fourteen. Because I get six, four, four. Sure. And then I rolled a twenty. Wait, what? That, that uh, that's gonna crit. So ro roll your damage and double it. So two plus two is so eight. So eight more. So you just took twenty-two points of oh damage. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you alive? Oh, I'm motherfucking alive. <laughs> <laughs> Minus 22. Oh Did you say? Mm -hmm. Minus. Are you there? Uh, I oh, this is where she was sleeping. I'm here. Just I'm here. on her with your horrible um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, before you attack back, um, <laughs> Where were you guys? Had you guys all gone to sleep yet? Yes, I am sleeping soundly. How are you awake? I was, yeah, yes, I was with, still with, uh, singing with lullabies to the, yeah. the children. Lost, but so you hear a you hear a scuffle and you can go to investigate, but it'll take you a little bit to get over there. <laughs> I would I would like to go to investigate okay. as fast as possible. So you're running over to the melee, Peter and Wendy. Where are you guys? I think uh, I'm laying awake, but I'm really, you know, when you go to bed mad and you're just really, really, really Okay, off. you found a hammock, you're just kind of rolling, rolling, rolling there. Very stiff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've gone over and I'm, I'm, I'm scratching the beast again. Oh, he's asleep yeah. and he's loving it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go and ahead. I hear, I hear the sound, but I'm just like, eh, that'll keep. That was a surprise. Uh, yes, okay, go ahead, uh, Goldilocks, and attack back and if I you care to. And I was to say, after this, I go like... What? What? Like? What is that? Like it's like a big hit. I don't want to kill her. I don't want to kill her. But like you almost only just did. I know. But she, she like she like woke me up. Oh damn! Shock it. attacked me. So I just wailed on her. Yeah. Now I'm like it's so, like it's yeah, like a yeah, bro yeah, in a bar. You took time to run across the other side yeah. of the ship and to, then you wailed on me. You defended I'm yourself ready. for reaching into my body for fucking granola. You made a creepy comment to her. Hungry. Yeah, after she had put her okay, hand in my body. It is bottom. Goldilocks's turn. He just wailed on you with these floppy arms. You got hit every which direction. You don't know what's going on. Goldie, what are you doing? So we're still on the same day, so I can't yes. use my thunder wave. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. I will use my bonus action, which is a second win, so I get 1d10 plus 4 heal once per day. Okay. Sure, you're healed up a little. Why not? So I take this, mm -hmm. and I get it. Ooh, yeah. Three. Plus uh, four, I so I get a plus seven. Just, yeah, add that back heal. in. Sure. Yep, you're healed up a little so bit. So <laughs> I'm back to over half of what my life That's was. That's good. And then I, um, did I have my long sword or not? Uh, did I need to summon it? You can summon it. Well, you can't summon it now because no. you just used your bonus action. I will use my axe and surge, which I get one action, extra action per day. Sure. To summon my long sword. Sure. And then I why take not? my long sword. An attack. An Roll attack. for an attack. Sure, why not? <laughs> Can I, I can I see if I do hear this? A roll a perception I, check. I, I disadvantage cuz you are asleep. Yes, what's some good advice? 14 plus, plus 5 you 19. Hit. For sure you hit. Then Unless it's a uh, 1d8 plus 2. 3 plus 2, so 5. 5 points of damage to you. Can I H? Come over? Uh you are waking up and walking over. H it's your turn. <laughs> uh where are you at hit point wise? You don't know. Oh, I you don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, She's looking so a little black and you're, blue. You're walking over. Stop, uh, stop, stop. I just go, she attacked me when I was looking out the window because she wanted granola out of my chest. I was hungry. You get that right. I'm going to cast Entangle on the area. Okay. Um, um, you can hit both of them with that for yeah, sure. Yeah, weeds and vines sprout out of the wood of the ship and grasp you. Uh, both of you make a strength Ooh. saving throw. Against 15, right? Uh, no, against 13. 13. Not, not okay, good. saving throw. Help him, Noel. Is it saving really throw so four, right? I yeah. I four. barely know these things. You're. I put him next to you because you're good at this. I'm not. I, I oh, play I, a lot. I guess, know so I got a 22. Shit. All right. Well, well, fired. Uh, he's the, got this. He knows these things. Okay, okay. so the, gra- the vines, uh, <laughs> magical vines come up from the floor and wrap around your feet. You both are like, what the fuck? And you step out of it. You're not entangled, but the, the ground around you is difficult. It's difficult yeah. to move on. You can't yeah. really move forward or backwards totally too much. It's just awkward and confusing to you. The, the heat of the fight dies down a yeah. little bit because you are distracted. What would you like to do now? It is your turn. I want to tell you, I was just trying to snuggle up next to you. You and you were really mean to me. Okay. <laughs> you put your hand in my chest. Some people consider that flirting. <laughs> I'm I'm very it's sensitive. Been a long time. I'm okay. very sensitive about having fingers in my cavities without warning. That's fair. That's fair. Well, I apologize for attacking you four times. Yeah, and <laughs> almost killing me. Yeah. Because some people, at least when I was blonde, would have been like, oh, that's awesome. But you're like, no, I want to kill you. Well, I was fine with the, f- I, I did sort of a flirty thing. I thought you were making oh. a big move. And then you did this like shock move on me. Wow. And it really hurt my feelings and literally hurt my body. <laughs> you, you fucking electrocuted me. Cause I wouldn't I mean- give you my chest granola. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the right here. I honestly feel I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm used to like getting, I don't, when I was Goldilocks, when I was blonde, it was just easier. I don't know. I was right all the time. Okay. I, I'm not going to argue with your perception of how your life has changed since this hair color thing <laughs> yeah, happened. It's been a deal. But I'm just going to go ahead and say that I don't feel like this is a hair color issue. And this is, but let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Fine. Because I don't want, I don't want any extra, it's been a crazy day. We're all worked up, and we're all trying to find love. Okay. As you part, everyone very, very eventually finds their way to a bed or something. I go into and the sleeps. lovers, and I go, I wanna... can somebody fucking heal me? You fall asleep, go gaining asleep. all of your hit points back I wanna, again. I want to spoon the beast. And yeah. all your spells. I want to spoon the beast as, as we fall asleep. Okay, the beast does not notice. Uh, he feels a warm arm on him and Spooning feels nice. All <laughs> nice. Two parts. When you, uh, you guys have uh, a nice slumber through the night. The 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 rocking sea kind of lulls you into uh, a nice calm rest. Uh, all hit points and spells are regained. You're back to normal again, and you sleep for about six or seven hours and are jolted awake. Oh, like Suddenly, as the Jolly Roger slams into something, one of the Lost Boys. The Let's say, for the sake of brevity, you guys took turns. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> all right. You run to the deck to you run to the deck to investigate and see that you've actually run aground on a sandy beach. Oh, that was nice. Clouds have moved in overhead. It's an overcast day, making. Um, everything a little bit difficult to, uh, uh, not difficult to see, but um, just casting a gray hue on everything. You are definitely on an island. The beast runs up and says, I, I cannot believe our good fortune. We're here. This, this is Pleasure Island. He rolls out a rope ladder and begins climbing down to the beach excitedly. It, it's right up here. Our, our singles party headquarters. This is where we were going to do the all night mixer, the limbo party. Oh, it would have been so fun. The fire walk. Oh, it, it, inside there is this amazing hot coal path to prove you're uh, uh, really in love. A, a couple has to walk across the hot coals and kiss in the set. It's very romantic. Come, come. And he starts dashing I up the beast. Roll a perception check on in, the insight. island. Oh, perception. Go or for it. Either one. Go for it. Insight? Yeah. Perception. Yeah, this is good. Insight. Perception. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, that's a 14. Uh, okay, uh, as far as you can see, there is a tree line up at the top of the, the dunes and nothing much beyond it. 
I'd like to roll. So I'm sorry. Is insight reading into his actions? Yes. Okay. I'd like to roll insight on him. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Okay. This guy's in serious denial. Seven plus two. Nine. Yeah. He he <laughs> seems genuinely excited to be here, and uh, you haven't seen him smile like this since he found out his wife was cheating on him and dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome to eight hours ago. <laughs> yeah. to Sea Island. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's darting across the beach. What do you guys want to do? Uh, follow him. Okay, Hatter climbs down uh, the yeah. rope ladder and starts moving across the sand. I'm going to untie guys... the Lost Boys, oh, yeah. where I assume that they were tied up or something, and be like, <laughs> you take this boat, go back to your clubhouse, or go find some parents or something. It's not us. You guys have to... Have to fend for yourselves. Wait, okay? so you're giving them the ship uh, they try back to kill to... us with the ship. They kill a lot of and people. And how are with we the getting ship? off of this? Real Maybe dirty. Don't untie them? I already did. Oh, I already oh, did. Oh, I the ship is ours! Wait, can we, wait, uh, uh, there are other, other ships on this island. Take are there yes. other ships on this island? Uh, we can't. Children, if you take this ship back to your Neverland. <laughs> Oh God! I will find you and beat you with my scepter, and I will be your mommy. She's the mommy. I feel like we're giving them mixed messages. Well, I'm just saying, how are how are we going to get away from? This I island without the ship. Here, the smart, the that smart one, Curly, here. steps forward and says, I told you says, I don't trust oh, you. We, we don't really know wh- what you want us to do, but why don't we just sit here with the ship until you come back? Okay. For now, I right? <laughs> <laughs> he smiles at you. He loves it. <laughs> we, what if they take the ship? We're trapped on Pleasure Island. It'll be awesome. It's not awesome. Uh, the beast has now disappeared into the tree line. I track him. Uh, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, when I, I was falling, how closely was I following? Is this, you're, uh, is you've this still a natural got... thing that happens in a game this long, or no. are we getting drunk? What's happening? <laughs> um, okay, so Hatter's the only yes, one who it, yes. still sees him sort of disappearing into right. the. Okay, so course. I see the Hatter disappearing, and I follow him. I'm okay. very fast, so I, I head off, but I don't follow with the group. I head, I head off to the side. I want to watch. You're flanking. I'm flanking. Okay, so you go into the the tree line. It's very dense brush. Uh, it's jungly. It's hard to make your way through. But you, you you're you're fast, and you you cut through the the underbrush as fast as you can. Hatter is still following Beast. You know what? Roll a survival check, Hatter. Use one of these cool wormwood. Sure. Dice. Now, that I, now that I those just are not found wormwood them. dice. Those are those are Travis's <laughs> dice. These, oh, these are Travis's dice. <laughs> yes. I have Travis's oh, dice. Yes. Nice. Then it's gonna. This is gonna be terrible, go isn't it? it? Okay. Go for it. In you. 15. Oh, what was, what was sure, sure. Survival, you, you got him. Yeah, so you, yeah. you expertly track him as you go through the, the jungle, following his every turn. Uh, you guys all following? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, but everyone's all following. You make your way through I'm the... I'm going to tie the Lost Boys to trees. So you're going to untie them and then tie them to something else? Yeah. You're sending confusing I'm gonna, messages I'm right now. So you get them, them off trees. the ship, Yeah. tie them to trees. Don't have yes. <laughs> They're very weak from exhaustion. They yep. just let it happen. Yeah. They um, look, I can do whatever. Okay, so yeah. everyone yeah. besides Wendy follow. is following uh, then I follow. the beast. And it takes a while to tie seven boys yeah. to yeah. trees. Yeah. Wendy is for sure lost. <laughs> <laughs> so you can use survival to try to tra- track good. their uh, their yeah. footprints. That's I only four. got a nine for survival. Okay, so you you think you found a, a couple footprints? And uh, a broken twig, oh. and you're following it. I'm following. You don't know if you're going in the right way. I'm in touch with nature. Um, okay, so the rest of you are following the beast. He's saying, yeah, right up this way. Keep up, keep up. Up ahead, um, the jungle has grown very dense. It's dark in here, almost like nightfall, because uh, there's no sun overhead. Um, and you're drawn to the dim red glow of a building. It's not lit by torches or anything like that. The, this red glow comes from inside the building and shines faintly through the walls, the cracks, the windows. Everything is, just has this red, red glowing hue to it. You're also met with a powerful, pungent odor, the strong, warm scents of candy. Chocolate, vanilla, ginger and apple, mm-hmm. caramel and sugar, nougat, even custard. And then as you draw closer, you see why. This building is actually a massive gingerbread house. Mm-hmm. The beast explains, oh, we inherited the house from Hansel, may he rest in peace, and Gretel's witch. <laughs> she donated it to the company after we found her a husband. Nice guy named Gary. Their wedding was really sweet. Anyway, we'll find help inside. My people are in there. Um, uh, um, 
as uh, as you get closer, an arrow whizzes by Peter Pan's head. Another arrow shoots by the scarecrow's head uh, and impacts the tree next to the uh, next to the queen. The beast calls up ahead. Ho ho! No no no! Hold your fire! These are friends. He turns to you all and says, "You know what? Wait here at the door. Let me go inside and make sure that nothing." Uh, dangerous happens. They weren't expecting us until late today, so they're probably on the edge. We have new security that we've hired. Let me just go in and, and make sure everything's all right. And he disappears into a large wooden door, slams it behind him. What would you like to do? Can I roll a perception check on Beast? Sure, insight? Go insight. for it. <clears throat> insight check on Beast. I have a 20. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. He, uh, the Beast is, uh, he's got fur, but weirdly, he's sweating. Sweat is pouring <laughs> off of his like eyebrows, to... and he just seems really nervous about something. I would like to cast Detect Thoughts okay. on the Beast. Sure, as he's talking, you cast Detect Thoughts. That is a nat 20. Uh, I think it's your spell DC. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which is 14, and right? It doesn't actually do that, but and you know he, what? I did roll a nat 20, so he, I feel like that should count for something. He rolled an 18, so uh, his pupils mm. dilate a little, but he uh, he, shaked off, he, he shakes thoughts, off the... He doesn't get a saving throw for Detect Thoughts. No, he oh, you're right. No, you're right. We both did this wrong. You're right, yes. You literary. can definitely sense his surface thoughts. And his surface thoughts are, I've got to go, I've got to get inside and talk to Jack right away. I would like to probe deeper. Okay, and if we've rolled against that and resolved the roll, you are not able to probe any deeper than that. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys? <clears throat> Guys? Oh, she's oh, still alive. Uh, roll another survival Yay. check. Yeah. Oh, nat 20. Okay. Oh, wow. You, wow. weirdly, wow. you come up around the back of this building, um, <laughs> and you can smell, you, you're drawn, you're drawn the to, the, to the nougat and caramel smell, mm -hmm. and you're there. You can yeah. see your friends around the side of the building. You make your way up to them and are, are rejoined. I'd like to roll, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, I'm here. Oh, uh, I'd like to roll perception on where the arrows are coming from, where? There are, okay, so the, the gingerbread house is mostly a one-story uh, building. It's very large. Candy adorns the wall. There's um, lollipops and uh, beautiful trickling chocolate that has hardened over the side. Uh, there are two turrets um, that have little slits for uh, archers to peek through on, on both sides of the house. They seemed to have come from those little slits, but you can't really see who's in there peeking around. Can I roll a perception check as I come around the back? Sure. What do you want to look at? Um, I think I'm just looking to see if I notice anything else uh, interesting about this place. I uh, uh, got a 17. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably, as I'm coming around, I'm trying to see like what this house is, if it's, because I'm not sure if my friends are here yet or not. Um, okay, like, you see, uh, you don't see any, any other people around other than them, but weirdly there's a, a discarded bag in the, in the forest, and you open the bag and find something in it. You find everything. Sorry. I find everything. There you go. Um, it's weird. It's, uh, it's a small piece of fabric. Yes, I do find this thing. Yes, you do. Yes, I um, do. I okay, uh, a moment or two goes by. The beast still hasn't come back. From inside, I, yes, oh. Hatter. I, I, I was probably, because I was following him closest. Yes. Maybe? Yes. Yeah, sure. Can I go up the door and lick the door? Absolutely. You lick the door and find that it is a dark chocolate and cherry. Delicious. <gasps> and it is I come running wonderful. Up. Delicious. Do you guys want to go in? Let's go in. Wendy, are there any windows? Are the children sufficiently There are windows. They are, I leash them, yes. They are sh sugar glass windows. There, there are two or three of them around the so if we side break of the them, building. We won't get cut. Wait, let me. Sh I just, in, in, I just found this thing. Uh, from inside, from inside the the uh, gingerbread house, you hear a female scream and male <gasps> laughter. Also, someone cursing. In Italian. Hate, hate all those sounds. All three of those sounds. I hate oh them. Those are the worst. I smash the okay. window. Come around, come around to the side. Come around to the You're side. You're gonna smash the, the window. I, I Wait, hear I a sound and I go you. inside. I still smash it partly at least. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll a uh, roll. Just roll. I just jump. 
That is a six. Okay, I don't know so what I'm for. Wendy grabs your arm and just your your <laughs> strike goes errant and just hits the and gingerbread kind of, and okay. knocks off come a on, chunk of on, gingerbread. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, come, come on, on, come on. Okay, and hey. I, I, I take this thing out of my bag and slap it against the wall. Okay, what is so it? What? it's a piece of fabric, <gasps> what, six feet wide or mm-hmm. something like that? Whoa. The piece of fabric uh, <laughs> adheres to the side of the gingerbread house and all of a sudden, the gingerbread kind of melts away, revealing a hole six feet in uh, diameter. Ten feet deep. Ten. Well, it's oh, it's through the gingerbread, okay. which yeah. is about six inches oh, okay. uh, wall. So there is now a hole into this building that you can look. It's dim inside, but glowing red. Would you like to go in, peer in? What would you like to do? Come on. You're yes, going in. Go in. I'm, go in. I'm clearly not one for waiting too long. Lady was screaming. Let's go. Um, I, uh, I grab the Queen of Hearts' hand and we rush in. I, through the door. I, I like the, it very the much. The hole. I okay. like it very much. Gold. I like the candy. Wow. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is what um, you can do with all of your kids' legs. Oh, <laughs> So you do not go in through the front door. Instead, the you're going to come You're going to come over here. Right. Hell yeah. Right. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Great. Let's break this building. Mm. Oh, oh, my goodness gracious. Um, all right, there's a hole here, and you guys are going in. Who's I, going first? I took a picture of you just because I knew. I, I saw I how proud you were of this. <laughs> uh, who does? Wendy. Is Wendy's going like, first. Yeah. That's Wendy. We're going to put you right there. Uh, who's next? Hatter and, the, Hatter Hatter and the Queen. Yes, Hatter and the Queen, holding um, hands. Holding hands, queen. not letting go. There's the Queen. Yes, um, who else? I run in, but I grab off a piece of dark chocolate before sure. I, you on the way in, in order to oh, get it. Yeah, there it is. You found it. Yeah. We're going to say that you go over here. I don't need a, a scarecrow. And get it. Yes. Uh, scarecrow and Pete. I'm, I'm going to go in, but I'm going to disguise myself as some gumdrops. Use, gonna I'm going to use this guy's self okay. to look like candy I'm, and gumdrops I'm you clarified. and chocolate. Okay. I'm going to say that this canes. is Peter Pan. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm amazing. You look like gumdrops. Yeah. <laughs> I look kind of flattened against a wall. Okay. I, I would right. like to... You're over here with a bunch of candy. I'm, I'm not going to enter through the hole. I'm going to come around, I'm gonna come around the side and I'm going to use my spider pill what? to crawl up the wall what? and nice. uh, try to break one of the windows so that I can come in from a different angle. All right, you roll a strength check. His spider, spider pill, pill gives him spider climb, so he's walking up the side of the of the wall just oh, like Spider-Man shit. would. He gets to a sugar glass window over I got a five plus two. There. You're knocking on it. It takes some time. You're up there working on it. I'll just put you up there for now. Oh, my God. Um, so all cool. right. As you walk in... Uh, where am I? The main ha- hall is dimly lit, shadows streaking across the walls, making it hard to identify much. Um, as you get closer, you see the source of the light, a large 20-foot-long track uh, in, the, in, uh, in the center of the room, uh, red with glowing, blistering embers. It is the hot coal path. Warmth emanates across the room. On the, op- uh, on the opposite side of the room, over here, these guys right here, are ice sculptures. Three ice sculptures. Um, let's see here, who's closest? Uh, Goldilocks, just make a quick perception check. Yeah, I roll a uh, 14 plus anything. That's fine, that'll do it. Yep. Their faces are in <laughs> agony. <laughs> Their faces are in agony, but they have been positioned together in a way that makes them look like they are locked in romantic poses. Like the ice sculptures, fuck! <laughs> then you see four more ice sculptures, or No, they're not complete. Glowing with purple magical energy, you see that they are actually living human beings in various stages of being frozen. You recognize the frozen face of Robin Hood, weak and exhausted Baba Yaga, and there's Geppetto, his lower half frozen solid. Stepping out from the back room is a large hulking blue creature. This is him right here. Um, with icy eyes and icicles hanging off his hands. Uh, He's laughing to himself. He opens his mouth and projects ice breath onto Baba Yaga. She screams in agony. You also see, uh, lit by the glowing embers, the beast standing casually behind the fiery coal pathway. He's holding something. It's It's a face. He is roasting the severed head of Captain Hook over the intense heat of the coals. He calmly takes a bite out of it, like an apple. Come on, man. 
He's muttering to himself. Not cool. (laughs) Never laughed at my jokes. Always embarrassed me. And now this. He looks up at you and sees you, because you are in plain sight. (laughs) We did just belt through the wall. And says, oh, hello. Oops. You've caught me. Hi. (laughs) Yes. Uh, This whole thing has been my doing. Beauty filed for divorce a while ago, leaving me no choice but to send her to the bottom of the sea. And now to learn that she was cheating on me with Hook, it just, it really, it proves me right. On behalf of the Storybook Love Cruise Line, I formally apologize for sinking your ship. Sorry. But you see, you paid for a service and I've given you one. You all wanted true love. Unfortunately, as we've learned, true love is a lie. After the ooey gooey part ends, all you're left left with is pain and misery. So I'm just cutting out the middleman. Singles cruises are for pathetic, stupid people (laughs) who all wind up sad and alone. And I refuse to be a part of the lie any longer, along with my friend Jack Frost over there. We've started a new business, changing you ugly lovebirds into beautiful statues. My wife turned my heart to ice, and now I will do the same to every lover I meet. And go ahead and roll for initiative as he roars at you furiously. As he does that, I do look at my new friends and and I say to them, I don't know what exactly he's talking about, but I have to admit that I've fantasized about each one of you. So I know that love still exists in some way. Goldilocks says, homegirl, that's not love, that's something else, but (laughs) please roll. I I do look very delicious as some candy in the corner. Okay, roll for initiative, what you got? Uh, No, L. I have a 15. Okay. Uh, Yes, Mal? Big ol' five. Um, Okay. Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, Uh, and? Dirty 20. Ooh, yes. Um, and Hatter. Dirty 18. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna use Travis's dice from now on. This is Beast oh, here? That is Beast it's far away, there. isn't he? Um, That's Beast on the other side of the coals? <laughs> yes. Okay. That's and, Jack Frost Jack over Frost. there. And is there any, okay. That's all you can see right now, okay. it's pretty dark. Okay, uh, shit, where's my, where's my Beast shit? Where is he? Here he is, okay. All right, um, Beast, Beast is just gonna roar at you guys. Um, <laughs> He is not going to move. He's going to hold his attack until someone gets closer. Um, uh, okay, top of the round. Scarecrow and Queen of Hearts, who wants to go first? Um, I defer to the lady. Hey, um, well, I, 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 so I say that thing that I said, and then I look at Beast and I say, that's all right. I fantasized about every single one of these people, and I am not leaving this island until I find my king. And I rage. And yes. I, uh, and I head, and I, with scepter in hand, my knuckles glowing white with rage as I grip it with all of my force. I uh, definitely move towards him as much as I can. I, I uh, that's thirty, and. I don't actually have dash, but could I use like my action to move double speed? Uh, sure, you can get closer to him, okay. but you won't be able to do it. That is fine. So you get right up. Uh, do you want to go around the coals? No, right, the through coals? Them, right, yeah. through <laughs> right through them, right through them. Right through them. Yeah, I want to get, oh, I'm gonna get right, right, right up do to it. the coals. Yes, I'm oh, can take it. Um, so you're going to, you know what, roll a dexterity save. Okay. Mama. Ooh, I have advantage on on deck saves if, if I can see it, which I think I can. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty cool. Oh yay! Okay, so seventeen. Okay, good. So you take. Uh, are you resistant to anything? I do have resistance, but not to fire. Fire. Okay, so you take four points. No, you get take two points of fire damage okay. as you start to run into the coals. Um, you are within range. He attacks you um, <laughs> with his uh, with his. Sp- Spear. He's gonna throw a spear at you. He actually. Okay. Yes. Okay. No. Um, he only rolled a seven. Ah. So his spear flies away from him and and clatters across the stone ground. 
Um, Into a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Scarecrow, it's your turn. Okay, so here's a question. So I wanted to come in the side because I wanted the element surprise, but now I'm first to go. So is there a way oh. to hold until like the ice boy has uh, his back completely turned to me, or can I? His can back I... is to you right now. He's not looking out the window. <clears throat> so does that give me an advantage? Uh, well, he won't see you. He may hear you as you crash through the. The window. That makes sense. But um, <laughs> but you won't be able to do anything from outside. Right. Oh, I'm still outside. At you're this point. still. You're trying to get in. You tried on the last roll and it didn't work. So do I have room for an action and an attack? I'd like to try to break the glass, or is that considered an attack? Uh, you can use your action to break the glass. Sure. Uh, okay. So I'll try to break the glass. Okay. Go for it. Uh, all right. So. Oh shit. To four. <laughs> uh, you rolled a four? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, take another attack, because you get a bonus action as Monk, right? But is that that's for an attack. Is that for... You're hitting it with oh. your hand. Yeah. Eight plus two. Okay, yeah. You hit it. It's glass. Yes. You roll for damage. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, three plus uh, two. Five. Okay. So one pain shatters. You're trying to start wiggle your way in, and you get about halfway in. So here's, I, I'm going to use one of my darts on Ice Guy from the outside. Okay. So oh I'll, wait, those were your actions. Oh, okay. So that was that was my confusion. Oh, I thought, sorry. I thought action and attack were different. Uh, action can be uh, either attacking or doing something uh, significant, like trying to break a window. Mm. But you need to get in there, so you did good. Then, you have you then, have your then, straw points that you can use if you really yeah, wanted to. Yeah, but I'm not, not going to be able to do much from outside. So you know what I'll do? Uh, while, for the rest of my turn, I'll just move one block over out of the site so you can't attack. So okay, I'm, I'm, so you're you're staying outside so just So the, the just window the is range. slightly broken, but I'm going to move slightly over yeah. so okay. that I'm not. So Jack Frost turns around and hears <laughs> something but doesn't see you. All right, great. Um, that was your turn. Second turn is, is Jack Frost. He does not uh, see Scarecrow, so instead, he's going to move uh, right past um, Peter Pan, who is this this pack of smarties, <laughs> not noticing him, <laughs> and he's going to attack with his ice breath against uh, you two. Shit, shit, shit. Um, okay, Frost breath. Yeah. Um, two. Wendy and oh. Mad Hatter. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm up by the yeah. piece on the coals. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, we were holding hands. Okay, uh, make, a, so make, so make a dexterity, okay. dexterity saving throw. When you rage, I understand. Yes. Uh, 18. 18. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, you both dodge out of most of the, the Frosty Blast's uh, range. Uh. You only take two points of damage, and you feel a chill come across you as, uh, as ice sort of coats your eyebrows and makes you all shivery. Um, <laughs> oh, that's, that's the worst you guys. <laughs> that, is his, that is his action um, and his movement, and he will, that's it for him. Next is three. Peter Pan, what would you like to do? Um, how far away am I from Mr. Beast over there? Far. Um, far away, how far? Like though? 50, 40, 50 feet. Okay. Uh, is it 40 or 50? This is important. Okay. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. 55? Well, fuck. It's a big ass room. That is a big ass room. Uh, I am going to use my jump spell to go, I think, 48 feet. 48 feet? Oh, because it's your... With a 10 foot uh, head start, I'm gonna use it to jump okay, so you're across gonna... the room. Okay. So, as soon as this um, thing of gumdrop starts moving, oh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it right. jumps across, and I think um, disguise self is concentration. <laughs> yeah, it is. So you that. lose concentration, and in midair, it turns into a sort of flying Peter Pan. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's flying. He does a cool spin move, and he lands right here next to the beast. Um, nice. So nice. I did that, and now I'm here, and that's all cool and good. Sure. Um. I have like an action left, yeah? Uh, no, that was your that was action, action and your movement. Yeah. You have a bonus action. Right, right. Okay. I don't know so what you can do as bonus. Um, 
I'm unfamiliar with playing a bard, so it's all new to me. Uh, bonus actions are usually heal healing things for bards. You can inspire someone. someone. You can inspire someone, and the only, the only person the close to you is, is the Queen here, of yeah. Hearts. Oh, you can inspire her. I, I will use my uh, bardic inspiration to give the Queen of Hearts um, an extra 1d6 to another check. All right. Check. So Peter looks over at you with fire burning in his sort of handsome, small mm. man eyes, oh. and he so just small. looks so, <laughs> so hot and sexy that the queen kind of shudders and swoons and gets an extra d6 to her next <laughs> roll. The next, uh, next up is the beast. Oh boy. Um, well, and this he's, will go well. And he's going to turn to you, Peter, and take his first attack, rolled a natural one. He bites at you, but you're so small and fast oh that he just kind of misses. And bites his cheek yep. by accident, but it hurts. Rolls again it with his- 45 with damage, his he's dead! He takes his claw at you, rolls a seven, and it kind of oh takes up a, ch a chuff of, of hot coals, ah, and he misses you. And that is his, his turn. Uh, he's going to move, though. Um, he's going to move. No, he's not scared of you fuckers. Yeah. Uh, he's not going to move at all. He's just going to yeah. stay there and yeah, roar at you. Roar! That's his move, and that's the beast. Next is Goldilocks. I'm going to ask Wendy, uh, what is the damage of your Vorpal, Amy Vorpal sword? <laughs> you want it? I can't really use swords. Yeah, can I have Toss her? It to you. Have you I... had a long sword, hey! no? I do, but I can oh, use that. If normal? I get a different one, I can use a second sword. Sure, too. it's a short sword, we'll say. Hey, so, um, yeah. what was your initiative roll? 18. It's a Shit, I skipped you. Okay. Oh, we'll, you we'll come back to me. Hey, okay. Sam, question hey, just as a friend. person, not as a character. Can I have yeah. the Skittles? Yes, you can. Cool. I'm gonna have That's also, I had Halloween that candy. Grab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sure, go ahead. Yes. Yes. I can't imagine it now that those are. <laughs> 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 you ruined everything. You've broken the world. <laughs> Should have shared your gore. Um, okay, <laughs> who's going? Uh, so you're asking for a sword? Is that what's going on? Yeah, so <laughs> Wendy says I may have the Vorpal sword. I toss the Amy Vorpal sword to you. Okay, what does the Amy Vorpal sword say? Do you say anything? I say. Um, what does the Amy Vorpal sword yeah. say? What do you say? Oh, I receive it. Oh. Oh and wow! Hey, not as the queen. Not as the queen. Not as the queen. I say, oh man, I yeah, new friend, man. Kind of shafted by one, but you know, you get a new one. That's life, man. <laughs> I don't know my favorite words. Sam, Borkel, so you seem so friendly. Yeah, yeah, damn you too. I'll stab the <laughs> shit out of people with you. Thanks. <laughs> this is how Goldilocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, you got you got a long sword and a short sword. Now you can do your dual wielding. So I move towards Jack Frost. Okay. Let's fuck this bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then I use my long sword attack, but one-handed with the long swords, that sure. I can use the Vorpal sword on the other I'm hand. I'm gonna have to say that you use the bonus action to catch that sword, okay. so you get one attack this round, you'll get two <gasps> next next round. Okay, so then I can only do one attack? One attack this round, and you're holding two swords, so it is a one-handed attack. So just a one hand, not yes. the two. Yes. Just a one hand. You do have thing. some sort of bonus surgy thing, I think. But yeah, you have an action surge. I can have an action surge where I get one extra action per yeah, day. Yeah, so you could have two two hits if you want. So I'll do that where I use the action. I'll use the action surge. Action so. surge against Jack Frost. Roll twice. Yeah, so I'll roll twice. So one. this one's for the long sword. OK. It's a 13 plus 5. Okay, you definitely 18. hit. Nice. You definitely hit. And now we use, please be lucky. Five plus two, seven. You can use luck to re-roll that, right? Aren't you lucky? I can. Yeah, go ahead. Good. That's a pretty good roll. We'll keep that. Wait, what did seven. you say? Five. Oh wait, that's it's a, a that's a, a, that a damage. That's damage. damage. Okay, damage. seven points. Great, thank you. Yeah, seven points damage. And now, what's the Vorpal Sword damage Another again? Another d twenty. Yeah, I don't I don't know the stats of the purple sword, the but it's a standard sort, oh, short sword. So we'll check it's with it's it. like a D it's a D eight plus two. So D six, but we'll D six. We'll say D six. Fifteen plus Great, you hit for sure. Hit. And then a D a D eight. D six plus two. Yeah. D six plus two. Yeah, you did. Six, six plus two, eight. eight. Max okay. D, Max D. Yeah, I, I high five my Vorpal sword. And I, and I, I just yell Max D. I just high five my Vorpal sword. Okay, uh, he he is definitely injured. He snarls and growls at you. Oh, I say, I say, we are slashing in fashion. I wink wow. at the Vorpal sword. Wow. I said, you are a piece of like chocolate. Very Vorpal own sword. Amy Vorpal sword. Okay. Amy Vorpal, your Amy Vorpal impression is so weird. And Toys R Us. I, uh, I I skipped, I skipped the hatter. Go ahead. 
Go Shall ahead, Yuri. It's your turn. <laughs> um, I am. I am going to uh, cast a, a scorching ray at uh, at Jack Frost and at the Beast. Um, scorching and ray. What's I, the range? I, it's 120 feet. Oh, Whoa. nice. Wow. And you can target I can two? Do it to three three targets. Sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Great. Um, so uh, so 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 the Beast, Jack Frost, and that Hershey's bar back there. Um, I'm you can melt target one guy twice of, if you want. Can you? I think so. You can send two two bolts oh. to one guy. Or you can oh. melt the Hershey bar. Or I can melt the Hershey bar. Oh, Jack Frost, yeah. Hershey bar. You Jack can Frost, melt the Hershey, Hershey bar. bar. Sure. Jack Frost. Uh, Jack Jack Frost gets two. The Beast gets one. Nice. Okay. I think you roll a melee attack. Uh, it's a ranged attack. It's a ranged attack. Yeah. So roll a d20. Add your. Uh, add your plus it, your your this thing. My uh, plus four. Uh, the nine. Oh. So I mean, I have to roll for each one. Uh, okay. So roll two more times. So. So the beast doesn't get hit. At, uh, the fir at the all. first one misses the beast and starts melting the chocolate. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my gosh! Awesome. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, st I'm still kind of okay with that. I'm very impressed. So, wow, uh, twelve. Okay, no, yeah, 12. And that's against the beast the, the, or no, against, against the these last two are against Jack Frost. Jack Frost, that hits Jack Frost. Nice. Roll for damage. Nice. Great. Um, and then I looked it up and I forget, and it's. <laughs> Uh, um, I might have it here somewhere. It's 2d6. Okay. Uh, three and six, nine. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a second okay. ray. As, as you fire against Jack Frost, he opens his mouth to blast you with ice, but your firebolt bolt enters his mouth <gasps> and yes. his head explodes. Whoa. What the hell? Killing him instantly. Oh. Oh. Jack Frost is dead. Um, that happened. <laughs> Where would you like to attack next? Uh, I get another attack. Well, that's that's three bolts, yeah. right? Well, the, the beast again. Okay, roll for. No, the Hershey bar. No, the beast. <laughs> the beast. Ooh. Uh, you know what? The 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 Mad Hatter would attack the Hershey bar. Great. Okay. So the Hershey bar. Uh, the Hershey bar melts, and this whole side of the wall starts to yeah. collapse no. as well. Yeah. Chickory chick chala chala. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> um, any bonus actions? Any movements? Do you want to get closer uh, to anybody? I'll, I'll move. I'll move towards the beast. Okay. I don't know how far she moves. Let's see. Here. Twenty-five. Great. Okay. Uh, that was Hatter. We also did Goldilocks moved already, right? Mm -hmm. So we're to Wendy Darling. Cool. So the beast is the only enemy in this room. That we can see. That you can see. <gasps> um, I'm gonna, I am going to uh, uh, walk as close to the beast as I can, 30 feet, or with one, with one move, 30 feet, um, and say, uh, hey buddy, I'm sure we can work this all out, and I'm gonna cast Charm Person. Okay. So he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Great, let's do it. Against your spell uh -huh. DC of? 13. It's 13? Yeah. I don't know why it's so bad. Beast. Wisdom saving throw? Mm hmm. He rolled a 13. What does that mean? He, I, he beats he, it, right? Yeah, he, he beats yeah, it. He Thank you, Amy. Yeah. He shakes off no, the charm. It. it does not work. Okay. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. That's okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah. He gets advantage anyway because we're fighting against him. Uh, All right. Well, I gave it a shot. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah. I guess. Can I make a perception check too? To uh, sure. As your bonus action, why not? Uh, okay. Yeah. You're looking around. Roll a perception check. Uh, that's a, a twenty-one. Okay. You definitely see lurking in the shadows back here oh. a large, <laughs> large a guy. Shrek? Oh He's no. Sort of, oh, oh no, Shrek has come. He's uh, the camera can't see, but there's a big guy, a big green guy over there lurking in the chocolate. Okay. Oh. Can I warn my friends, or am yeah, I? Yeah, sure. Of, okay. Go ahead. I don't um, care. Yeah, yeah. In the corner. Great. With there's the four, chocolate, big four, and green. There's, four, there's four, four corners with chocolate. chocolate. Like, there's Thanks four for chocolate telling corners. me about the chocolate. Nobody knows where he is. All right. <laughs> in the north, and okay. no. Okay, Wendy's not very good at communication. In the candy. Uh, in, in, okay. in the candy. Thank you for finally uh, admitting Jack that. Is oh gone. my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, from out of nowhere, this this crazy character comes in, <gasps> and you hear you hear a. Oh, oh my God! You, you get the sense that this guy usually plays pipes to to do things to people, and he's going to target the queen. No! Uh, and he's going to cast. He's going to cast. Um, where is it? Where is it? 
Where is it? Is uh, he small? Is he a tiny man? Yeah, he is. Uh, he is a half elf. Yeah. Oh, oh how no! Seduce him! Seduce him! No. Um, he's gonna cast Crown of Madness against you. <gasps> oh, uh, you have to roll a save. What kind oh, of save? So it's a wisdom right? save, right? Wisdom. I think it's wisdom. Isn't my best trait? So, <gasps> come on, baby, be good to me. <laughs> Awesome. Yes. Okay, 18 with nice. no modifier. Okay, you feel the urge to hit one of your own friends. And oh, in a moment, Queenie. you shake the urge off, and you're back focused yes. on the beast. It does not work. Uh, as, a, as a bonus action, the, uh, the Pied Piper plays a jaunty little ditty, which makes the beast oh so happy and inspired. <gasps> Um, okay, that is his turn. Let me roll for the troll. Okay, the troll will be uh, in the order <gasps> next. Okay, great. Um, so that is the top of the round. Who is first? Scarecrow and have a cake, troll. Queen of Hearts. <laughs> you guys are up. I have a cake. As always, I defer. Okay, awesome. Uh, so what is the what is my perception? Oh, who cares? I'm raging, so I don't care what. Great. He's. Uh, I I don't care what anyone's doing to the beast. I am r running right up to him and smacking him with my scepter twice. Um, in my frenzy. Um, I'm Roll for attack, okay, twice. Okay, I'm also recklessly attacking, which sure means you are. next time he can have advantage on me, but right okay. now I also get advantage on him. Um, so does a an 18 hit. Uh, an 18 hits, yes. And does a, oh, and then higher than that, 21 Yes, hit. that okay. hits. Perfect, then I shall do... Uh, that is 12 plus another 12 damage, Shit. 24 damage on that. I, and uh, so, yeah, so I run across the coals and um, I, I smack him once right in the rib cage. And I, as I spin around, I smack him right in the shoulder and I yell, Give me love! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the beast is stunned by this crazy mad woman who just dashed through fiery coals to hit him twice. <laughs> He's super pissed off. He snarls at you. <sighs> Scarecrow, it's your turn. Nice. Okay, uh, I have this opening in the window, so I just want to open the window. Sure, you can open the window. And then uh, I'd like to drop down and uh, and use my 40 uh, feet of movement to move to the center of the room. <laughs> you can do okay, it. It takes 10 feet to get down, and then we'll say you get to about, about there. Great, and then I have... Um, I think my darts range, is it says 20, 60? What does that mean? Oh, you can throw it 20 feet, no problem. If you throw it 60 feet, you have to roll with disadvantage to hit. Oh, shit. So you can hit him, but you got to roll with so disadvantage. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Oh, yeah, you can just, you can, we'll say you can just barely Why not? I'll huck, I'll huck a fucking dart at this yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> um, so roll twice, guy. take the lower of the two. With my d20? Yes. Okay. A two. Oh boy. Oh. And a 15, so I'll take the uh, two. So four. In, the, <laughs> the dart sails up into the air and falls right about here. <laughs> Just kind of shy. Great. Your arms are, are not made of muscle, they are straw. They can't throw very hard. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I could do? No, you have no. bonus, any bonus y type action y or only if, special only if move? I'm, only if I'm close. Have to attack you, crit martial arts. Let me attack you. Only damage for quick attack missiles. Not much. Um, how far? I, it doesn't say how far I can menace. How uh, is the range? Menace would be an action, not a bonus action. I, I right. believe that makes sense. So okay, I just go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Window was a super bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> My heart was in the right place. Wish I'd been more helpful. <laughs> Window ha was a bad choice. Hatter, you're up. Hatter, you're up. Oh, you can also use an item, by the way. If you need it, I don't know what else you have, but you could. Suspenders. Uh, really. <laughs> you flick your suspenders. Hatter, you're up. So sure. All right. Okay. Then I, in that case, I'll take a nibble of one of my pieces of granola from a chest. <laughs> Great. Oh, <that's> right. <laughs> yeah, it's so that nutritious. Exactly. Wow. A nice little right. snack. <laughs> um, I am going to uh, cast Tasha's hideous. It just Ooh, laughter sure. at Man. the beast. Probably need to get you just are a little doing bit closer. it. You are really Is it 60 doing or 30? It. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. You get it close enough to do it. You're fine. Go ahead. Okay. Versus a wisdom uh, saving throw. What's your spellcasting ability? It's, it's 13, I think. 13, yes. 
He rolled a seven. He yeah, he does the not. Beast is sucks. Yes. Uh, he looks at this strange, funny little man wearing a funny little hat. It happens all the time. And he can't help it. He's overcome with the giggles. Oh my gosh. Oh God. <laughs> he starts laughing and he cannot stop. I'm looking up Tasha's hideous laughter right now to find out what happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a range of 30 feet, so you had to come a little closer for oh, that. Okay. It's okay, you did it. Um, you're concentrating on it. He's just roiling with laughter, uh, slapping his knees, and he, f he falls prone and is unable to oh, stand up. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. nice. Hilarious. In my rage, I look at you, and my eyes are just hearts. Oh. <laughs> Heart binoculars. Heart binoculars. Wow. Yeah, Bledoinga, Bledoinga. 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 Uh, OK, that was the Hatter. We're down to, Jack Frost is dead, Peter Pan. I am going, this will make it easier now that he is prone, so I imagine I get some sort of advantage or he gets a disadvantage. I want to leap forward and uh, pour my oh. filter of love yes. okay, go down ahead. his throat. Oh, wow. Filter of love? That's what you have? I have wow. that. You're, you're going to pour your filter of love down the beast's throat? Yes, while staring into his eyes. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. What is gosh. this? Did I write down the spell, DC? After the... drinking this, you, meaning the person who partakes of the beverage, become charmed by the first person you see for one hour. If they are a species and gender you are attracted to, you regard it as true love. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. I, my actual. You just use love. Just, guys, yeah. you love on love just on love. love. Uh, Ooh, is there... Love wins, guys. Stacks on stacks. It just oh, works. It just works. The spell just works. I was prepared it to do a, um, acrobatics check, check or anything, but since he is prone, okay. you made this choice. Uh, the beast is confused. He's laughing hysterically, so his <laughs> mouth is open. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a, a thick, viscous liquid, oh. liquid being poured down his gullet. He looks at you with strange eyes. Ugh, he doesn't like the taste. He snarls at you and growls and turns around to the queen <laughs> and smiles at you. <laughs> I have so many emotions right now. <laughs> and starts not pur purring at you, and you he's not wearing any clothing. You can see vis oh, visibly. Wait, how long has he not been wearing any clothing? Oh, always. He's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, he's wearing a pink leisure suit. He's wearing a pink leisure suit. Underneath his pink leisure suit, you see a little bulge forming uh, on, on his uh, like on his nethers. Yeah, I know. You, you never uh, know. He is charmed, and now and he's in love with you. Away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and bitch. you still have your bardic inspiration from me, if I'm I not sure mistaken, do, so sure have do. at it. Uh, okay, it is now the beast's turn, even though he fucking loves you. He, he he's used gonna, his boner action already, though. Boner action! <laughs> yeah. uh, he's going to try to stop laughing. <laughs> He definitely stops laughing. Uh, the feeling of love overcomes him, and he shakes off the laughter. He uses Maybe half his action to stand up, <laughs> oh, I know. and he takes he laughing. takes his giant uh, uh, claws yeah. and takes yeah, a big sweeping you. swing, not at you, but turning around and oh. sweeping and to attack Peter Pan no. right there. I would there. do anything for love. Yes. But I won't do that. But I won't do that. Yes, he rolls a one. He misses. Wow. <laughs> He's very confused right now. He tries to bite you. Oh, yes. He rolls a 20. He definitely oh, bites no. you. Vicious teeth okay. sink into you. Oh, Buy me no. dinner first. Um, okay, you take, uh, okay, hold on. You take six points of bite damage. That's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll absorb that. <laughs> it's worth it for true love. Um, and he is super pissed oh, off. What but have in you love. Done? Yes. I know that's just Queen, indicative of the it's beast. It's your time. <laughs> this is your moment. Go for it. Uh, he sort of stands uh, in a way that is protecting the Queen of Hearts with his back to her, and he says, "Don't worry. You'll be safe behind me." Uh, next up is the troll. I'm still oh. raging. Right? No. Beast. <laughs> No, it's Goldilocks. Goldilocks is next. Yay! Go ahead, Goldie. Well, first I call out to Wendy and say, hey, if you turn into a bird, you should pick me up 
and drop me off somewhere close to people where I can use my thunder waves. <laughs> Just walk. <laughs> Bye. It's not that far. I'll get there, but I only have 30 steps. Just saying, if the if the people in whatever corner, because you couldn't specify, if you happen to remember which corner they are, feel free to pick me up and drop me off near one of those corners. Anyway, and then I take my movement. So you're gonna take your movement. As you go, <laughs> as you go, you see one of the ice sculptures. Uh, Geppetto is desperately trying to break out of his ice, oh, and he's trying to talk yeah. to you in his thick Italian accent. Yes, to go into a yes. Hey, don't you, don't you see? He, he just wants a love. Oh. He just wants a love. <laughs> okay, that's all he says as oh. you walk by him. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Um, as Goldilocks says, I really loved playing Mario as a kid, so you are just adorable, Geppetto. Oh, yeah. Geppetto. Um, is there, a, just speaking, is there anything I can do to help you out of your uh, uh, misery? I <laughs> like how you're having a calm, I, casual conversation. Hey, can I help you? Hey. Don't worry about oh, me. Here. Just soothe the beast. Okay. With love. With love. Awesome. I'll use my very high, yeah, low charisma. We'll charm the beast. Don't you worry, Geppetto. Okay. So I, so that's as far as I go, right? Uh, far. you can get a little further. Yeah, the closest I could possibly sure. get. Great. <laughs> the heat from the coals is starting to burn your face. The savage beast. And I then am ready. Um, this can only be used if I'm close or not. That is a touch attack. Yeah. Yeah. What? So I'll use my. Uh, Crossbow and uh, aim towards the beast. Okay, go ahead, roll an attack. 15 plus four, 19. You definitely hit, roll for damage. Awesome, we'll use the precious D. Let's do well. Yes. Three. Plus something, <laughs> two, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Plus yeah. Great, awesome. Yeah, great. That's some damage. Ah! Your crossbow bolt buries itself into his thigh. He writhes in pain, but he still loves you. <laughs> um, next up is Wendy Darling. Oh, really? Yep. Nice. nice. Um, okay, I'm I'm pissed off, tired of not doing anything. So I am going to uh, uh, raise my arms and conjure a flaming spe sphere directly on the troll, which apparently no one else can see. Great. Um, so I think I can do it because it's got a range of 60 feet and it looks like he's about 60 feet away. Okay. Um, he has to make a dexterity saving throw. Let me see what he does. This guy's dead. Oh, this guy's huge. Uh, his saving throw is a two. He does not resist oh, it at all. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fire good. Uh, hell yeah. Got a 12. Okay. That was max damage. Sure. Nice. And so yeah, he takes 12 fire damage. Okay. And it's basically just burning there. So, uh, if he so the fire move. starts to melt the candy piles around oh, him. Yes. And he starts to slowly sink into oh, the candy oh floor. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. It's a five job, foot in diameter sphere, yeah. by he the way. Considered, yes. He's considered uh, grappled here oh, by, cool. by the chocolate. Oh, the melted chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> it's a oh. bright light in a 20 foot radius, by the way. Okay. So, if there's anyone else hiding around there, they're Grapple. revealed. Oh, 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 you didn't even find out if I was nice or not. <laughs> yeah, what if you wait, can we perception? There are no nice people. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh my god. He seems to have blood nice all over him. Is it? Oh. It's probably okay. Six. I'm gonna run over here because um, Peter, you took a hit. I'm just gonna yell. You okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Ooh, I'm worried. He's, he's too proud. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. Die would be an awfully big adventure. She's still worried about you, bro. I have to cure wounds. You uh, don't have to go there yet. I have a cure wound spell. The Pied Piper is up. The Pied Piper. I'll die, but I'll be sexy. Oh, right, the Pied Piper. The Pied Piper, the Pied Piper oh, yeah. starts playing his stupid okay. fucking flute. Fuck that guy. Hit him. That's my thing. Uh, and he's going to try to charm you. You had her. Um, no. Good luck. We, uh, yes, uh, his DC is 13. Just make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, says the warp also. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, four. Yeah, okay. You suddenly have this 
uh, oh my God. unbreakable desire oh no. to do harm oh to the no. closest ally near oh you. No. 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 You turn to the scarecrow. Oh, no. scarecrow. No. Fire in your eyes. And I'm you. Like, hey, dude, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty you, crazy we're in this big fight, right? At least we have each other. <laughs> um, you are so stupid. Yeah. No. no. Um, uh -oh. and, the, and the Pied Piper is going to give a little healing to his friend the Beast. Um, okay, uh, that's the Piper's turn. Troll is going to try to break the grapple. He succeeds, bursts out of the that's chocolate. Kind of that's, kind of that's his action. Does he end his turn there? Yeah, uh, yeah. he, he just kind of moves there. He takes more damage. Covered in delicious chocolate. He takes four damage. Okay, Burning great. chocolate. Mm. Yeah, well, there's just there's, the flaming sphere is still present in this situation. Next round, Scarecrow and the Queen of Hearts are up. <laughs> right at the top of the round, Scarecrow, you're close to Geppetto also. Geppetto is desperately, don't you see? He just needs a love. <laughs> I, I have. Uh, the blood vision has taken over. I'm so <laughs> furious at the Mad Hatter yeah. for this verbal insult. Right to the quick, but a part of me knows I have learned from attacking a friend, getting a physical altercation with a friend. Oh, I'm just a friend now. And so, <laughs> absolutely, I'm focused on the Queen of Hearts at this point. Because totally she, she hasn't tried to steal anything out of my body. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I. Again. Queen of Hearts is getting it. <laughs> so, I I am going to. No, I, there's no way for me to know how long uh, the Pied Pepper's effects are going to last on No, them. you have no idea what's going on. Okay. You just saw the Mad Hatter turn at you and smile. Yell, you are stupid. Um, so <laughs> Goldilocks takes a second to yell to Scarecrow, hey, I don't believe in love anymore, but I know you're not stupid. <gasps> I'm like, oh, I on. know you're smart. That's nice. You're, you're still in the doghouse as far as I'm concerned, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I think I'm going to keep more people from being put under this spell. I'm going to use uh, menacing against the Pied Piper. Okay, go for it. Okay. Uh, yes, roll, and he's going to roll. Great. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> So, uh, 20. Poof. He rolled an 18. Ooh. He is scared of you. <laughs> Very scared. He sees a weird straw man with granola dribbling out of his chest. That is basically your yeah. purpose in life. You just yeah. fulfilled your purpose in life. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you rip your head no, apart? This time, this time, I, this time I, I open my mouth like a, <laughs> oh, like no. a snake. My, my jaw pops down, oh. and the worst wettest straw from the inside of me rolls out like awful gray spaghetti onto oh. the ground. You are, you are a Guillermo del, del Toro <laughs> character. <laughs> he's, he's watching this happen, playing his flute, and his jaw just drops, his flute drops. He's so con confused. The, the eyes of the Hatter dis, uh, flash back to, to life. He is fine again. Nice. The Hatter You're turns. not stupid, I love you. You're the smartest person I know. <laughs> hey, calm down now. <laughs> All right. Uh, so he is frightened Besides of you. Yeah, now. suppose it didn't or go where they, did, they meant. Intimidated by you. Dude, this menacing shit is okay. the tits. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Um, so okay, that's Scarecrow, a Queen of Hearts. I'm going to. Um, I'm. I see the beast attacking my friend Peter, and I. And I also know that I might have a little bit of power, but I'm still angry. So I. I shake him and I say, Hey, you. Get over here! And I um, very <laughs> angrily grapple him, and I try to just grab him, and I, I, uh, I yeah, I'm gonna grapple him. I don't know if he would even resist, but we'll he's see. Not, he's not resisting. Okay. He, let, he lets it happen. Okay, then it's I also... It's in this weird hug, and he's... Yes, it's just as awkward as it was with the scarecrow. Sure. Like, my legs are not where they need to be, and, and I restrain him as well, so he's also restrained. He gives him. into it, and he's hu hugging you back with a very loving, caring okay. hug. Okay, and I do the thing that I feel is right, and I try to find a, a spot on his enormous mouth, lip, to kiss. Oh. You're going up for a kiss. Oh. Uh, You're going in for 
a kiss? But an angry, rageful kiss. <laughs> okay, that's that's the best kind. Yeah. Okay, let's. Is that the best kind? <laughs> let, let's let's. What have your relationships been like? Roll, roll. Let's see here. Right? He it's he's shaking. There's a lot going on. Let's just say that this is what kind of a check is this? <laughs> a kiss check. Yeah. Um, how about? Yeah, this is the beast. How about an animal handling check? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, this is a, that makes sense. This is a straight. This is a zero modifier for me, and it's a eleven. Okay, um, he's not resisting. Okay. So really, this is just so maybe that you I can just, find his mouth. Maybe I hit him on, on his fang or something. So you like you kind of climb up on him a little. He's like he's ten feet tall. So you climb up on him with your rage strength going, your bulging biceps. You use his fur to pull up and you kiss him on the lips. He's confused, he withdraws for a second, but then you can feel his body relaxing and giving into it and he kisses you back, his black tongue sliding oh. into your mouth. No! Dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he, is, he is really going at it with you. Are you are, so many questions. You can you know. smell <laughs> rotten meat <laughs> on his, uh, and, and you can kind of see oh some God. of Captain Hook's hair <laughs> right here at the corner of his mouth. I, I take this moment to shout out and I say, hey, hey, uh, Geppetto said he just wants love. Uh -huh. <laughs> Saying, copy that! <laughs> I'm taking it for the team! We get that? Um, you don't want to do it. <laughs> you, uh, do you kiss him back? Are you in I it? Mean, I just no, no, no. I mean, are you are you with, I mean, are you I, I resisting? Am, or are you are you just I, I, in it? I am letting. This was the goal. Like it's going better it's slash great. worse than I thought. But it, the main thing is to turn his attention away from my friends and onto me, who I am. I, I'm very confident he won't hurt. So yeah, I, I am letting it very yeah, much. Yeah. So, yes, I, so, so yes, I, I the kiss. Ki the kiss continues for an uncomfortable amount of time. It I, I do what I think I should and kind of like grope it, like his you tummy. His ass? Okay. Oh, well, I, I don't know if I can reach around <laughs> his entire. His tummy's good. Yeah, he's got, he's got, like got rippling 12 pack abs. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's and he's flexing for you because he really likes you. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> he, he's getting more into it. You're getting more right. into it. He's weirdly, like weirdly, totally it, it yeah, looks yeah, romantic, yeah. lit by the the coal light, the red coal light. Uh -huh. There's dripping chocolate on the walls oh. behind you. Okay. Um, there's a piper playing weird dissonant music. <laughs> it's the weirdest romantic. It's basically, the most romantic thing we've ever seen. Yes, heard. and so in romantic. the corner, a half frozen Geppetto is saying, "Yes, yes, <laughs> yes." <laughs> uh, the the coal and the fire flare with a burst of fire that fills the room with light for a second and the beast drops to one knee, startled and stunned. He says, no, no, yes, yes, and he goes in for another kiss. Um, he looks panicky, his skin is growing paler, he, his, his uh, shoulders are slumping, he's growing weaker as he kisses you and weaker and finally he collapses on the ground the troll, confused, turns oh, and goes to just eat some chocolate. Oh. <laughs> what uh, whatever what magic that? was controlling him, the spell has been broken. The Pied Piper is looking around like, oh shit, please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm really weak. <laughs> um, and the beast is writhing in pain on the floor. He's alive, but in bad shape. Is, is he still a beast or is he a human? He's, a, he's still a beast, okay. um, but he's, he's just kind of curled up in a fetal position. Position. No one ever wants to have sex with me! <laughs> I, ruin, I, never... I ruin everything! Oh. And then I call out to her and say, hey, remember how previously you only wanted tiny men? I feel like you've made a character de this is development. A this is an arc for you. I go, yeah. I'm six foot six, but I'm into fucking you. <laughs> from, from the entrance of the room, oh a woman God. appears, a beautiful woman in a dress also holding two swords because that's all I have. <laughs> um, she says, well, you did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you found true love, beauty. another awesome. successful cruise. <laughs> Uh, it is beauty, uh, oh all God. smiles, totally normal. Uh, as she talks, Beast springs back to life and dusts himself off. Sorry, oh, knocks you that. over. <laughs> um, he 
shakes he shakes your hand, uh, Queen, and says, uh, "I had a feeling. I knew it would be you. I, I always have a feeling, don't I, Beast? I mean, Beauty. Um, you should be <laughs> proud, excited. Enjoy this moment and the many more ha ahead of you. For if one thing cannot be killed, it is the immense and unrelenting force of the heart." Romance makes us do crazy things like sabotaging your own cruise line, but it also makes us sane. Remember this day whenever your queenly heart grows lonely, or whenever your brain makes you doubt your worth, or when the hat on your head feels too heavy to lift, or when you, when you stop believing in fairy tales, or when you feel that life just simply isn't right. Sorry, you both. I'm going to try to forget this day. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that in the end, no matter what we do, true love always prevails. And uh, this is where I ran out of time to write it, so <laughs> everyone stands back up. It was all a dream! I don't know, that's the end! <laughs> How much? How much for the hat? <laughs> my 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 skater themed <laughs> your, scarecrow hat. Your hat. I want. I want your hat. I'll just fresh up, like uh, swap you for whatever you got. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I will do anything for that hat. I can't <laughs> believe I did all this fighting and didn't get even get fingered. I just got. <laughs> cap. I just I will, got finger you, I will finger you for that hat. Done! Done! <laughs> Hot deal! Use, the, use, use your mage hand. Um, I will use my mage hand. Please do. It's the bonus episode. Oh, yeah, the bonus um, episode. Can I do a dexterity roll sure, to jack man. him off? <laughs> Why not? You don't need to. Roll it's got to be tweeting, right? Five. Oh, it takes forever. It's dry. Yeah, you are bright red, 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 red tomorrow. That, yeah, five it's straw. Like it's nothing but straw. The straw oh, just. Wait. <laughs> wait, there has to be like a subculture subreddit like, for that. You like, know what the hatters into that? The hatters into that. Oh, oh boy. Um, straw I'm dog. Poor. It's straw dog. Oh, like. oh, wow. And I'm on like, that note, we conclude our <laughs> love story. Thank you all for playing and being. Good story, Sam. Thank you for giving yourself to the world. Right. Tell, tell me this. Do, do you think Peter and Wendy are gonna get back together? Oh, are they? Oh god. I, I hope I, not. I'm just over here trying to like like act up how wounded I am in hopes that she will come over and oh. use her healing touch on me. Yeah, I think I fucking fall for it. And I go and cradle oh. your head and I'm like, you idiot, you oh. fucking idiot. Oh. And I it was heal, all I heal for you. True love. Oh. <laughs> the scarecrow and the hatter the end up together. Still in love with yeah. the Queen of Hearts. I, I heal you and I heal you and I'm like, can we please get out of this horrible place? <laughs> I gotta yeah. say, as somebody who's been in, go collect the kids. in relationships that are like a vicious cycle, these two should not. This is. <laughs> this I is think broken. that it's true no, love. I do believe in love. I do. I do. I do. I'm a rotary for you. I'm a rotary for you. Goldie takes a drink. You deserve love. You yes. beautiful girl. You are. Well, thank you so much for saying that. I think am I is the is Beauty and the Beast are they still a thing or is it? For the next fifty-five minutes, they uh, he loves her. He loves the next oh, oh, I'm sorry. Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're still together. They're, still they're married. married. But I feel like this is a, this is a ploy for Polly Emery right there. Mm -hmm. Sure. You could join a threesome yes, with Beauty and the Beast. Yes, I, oh, I was only looking for a king, but if I got a second queen. You could get a couple situation. Oh, sure. I'm in. I'm in. Beauty's into wow. that. Why not? It's, it's, beauty, it's Beauty and the Beast and the Me. <laughs> I like that story. My favorite story. Um, all right. Well, thank you guys for coming tonight and playing this very weird game. Thank you all for watching. Thanks to our sponsors, whoever it was. Star Wars Battlefield yeah. 9. Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> Battlefront 2. Play it tomorrow, probably. Buy it with your money. Is Buy it with your money. Thank yeah. you for Matt. that sponsor. Luke? What? No. What? Guys, I drank so much apple juice. How am I getting home? <laughs> um, that's it. Go, go love each other and uh, you go, go uh, jack off a straw guy tonight, everybody. <laughs> Guys, if we've learned anything, go jack off a straw guy. Hey, kids. Good night. Bye bye. bye.